Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Ah, welcome back to Joy Maker. How are you doing? <laughs> right. <clears throat> when do vampires like horse racing? When it's neck and neck. <laughs> what do snowmen wear on their heads? Ice caps. Send in your dreadful cracker and Christmas related jokes and puns. To me. Would you? Well, no, it's just a cracker joke, though, isn't it? It doesn't need to be Christmas related. Just a bad joke, really. We've had some good ones. We've had some terrible ones. Um, would you like to see our text number? It's this. It's 60777. Stike your text with the word day in the studio. There it is. Your name, where you're from. Ah, basically. Hello. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be joined by lovely Deb Rudge in an hour's time. She's got some gorgeous kits. I have to say, Ross, um, the two o'clock kit is looking beautiful, isn't it? Mm. 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 Got some gorgeous wire. Beautiful gemstones. We have, I I've heard it on the grapevine, Ross. We might have some mystic coated uh, crackle quartz. Three o'clock, it's your one to own. 3.45. Honestly, it is going to be amazing. It's going to be a sellout. Um, you got me deselected, Levy. So, Mystic Coated Clear Quartz, did you say? Mystic Coated. Oh, my word. Mystic Coated Rose Quartz as well. <gasps> Both of them coming up. It's going to be amazing. They're brand new. They've only literally just arrived in the country. So, so we're getting them quickly kind of um, pushed through. And we'll bring those to air kind of in the three o'clock hour. So we've got tons and tons and tons to get through. Look at this little tea bar of beautifulness. I've got some gorgeous magnetic clasps as well. We bought you a big pack of them this morning on the morning show. I've got um, 
a lovely pack of um, eight of these, or is it six? I think it's eight um, uh, coming up as well. Beautiful little earring findings. Honestly, we've got something for absolutely everyone today. It's going to be just brilliant. Okay, should we get going? Yes. Okay, perfect. Have you got me deselected, Ross? Yeah. But you sounded like he was talking from the bottom of a well. Adam is on cameras. Hello, Adam. Are you working Christmas Day, I understand? I am indeed, yeah. Well, that's going to be exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Christmas Day is always a brilliant, brilliant day to be, uh, to be here at Jewelry Maker. <sighs> hmm? Are you here? Uh, not this Christmas Day, no. I did a couple of Christmases ago. Loved it. It was great fun. can't remember who I guess. I think it was Mark Smith I think I was with. He loves doing a Christmas Day, doesn't he? I absolutely loves it. Here we go. So, uh, beautiful um, yellow gold plated ball uh, top head pins. These are absolutely gorgeous. Lovely um, uh, length on these. Really, really nice, actually. Um, they're not the uh, the kind of the really, really little kind of mini ones that we do. But they're not, but, but, but they, I have to say, they're a little bit longer than some of the ones that we do. They're really, really nice length. Um, so, we're going to be getting a lovely pack of 10 of these. They're 50 mil in length. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, gorgeous. So it's 0.6 millimetre gauge uh, wire you're going to be getting here. And they all yellow gold plated sterling silver. So really high quality um, um, uh, findings that you're going to be getting here. All yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver. So price point wise on these, they're great. Do, 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 do multi buy these. It's simple and easy to do that. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. We're going to be starting off with an under £10 section, just to let you know, uh, in this hour, um, um, uh, as much as we can. Is it the whole hour? Or is it just like half an hour? The whole first hour is everything under £10. Is there enough left in the business to be able to do this, Ross? Considering we had an under £10 day on Monday, why do I get the feeling that Ross is actually going to be taking things under £10 that shouldn't be going under £10? Yeah, yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. Bending the rules. Bending the rules one at a time. Three ninety-five for your yellow gold plated sterling silver ball top headpins. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Three ninety-five. Get those terrible Christmas jokes and puns and cracker jokes sent in. Oh, tell you what, we've had some absolute corkers today. We've had some absolute brilliant ones. Uh, some, a lot of which we can't read out, but um, they're quite funny though. They're, well, well, they're very funny. They're hilarious. The way in a manger one was brilliant, wasn't it? Uh, how did Mary and Joseph know that Jesus was going to be seven pounds six ounces or whatever it was um, because they had a way in a manger? That's bad, isn't it? Oh, Ross, just just having a little giggle there to himself. It, did, it took him a second, that's why it took him a second to get it. He has been ill. He has been ill. You want some pretty strong painkillers and stuff like that at the minute. Although, can I say, your time off has actually made your hair bigger. <laughs> your hair's grown and your beard has grown. One pro to being incredibly ill is actually you look more lion-like. Yeah. His mane, his mane is, is very there today. Hello, Dan. Hello. You're right there, lovely. Yeah, fantastic. So well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right, OK. <laughs> Let's do... Oh, dear. Oh, gosh, it's a bit of a mess in this one. Hey, Dan, what have you done in this? Dear me, it's been a mess. Oh, dear, he's been, been, been throwing things around in this little compartment here. Dan. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, dear me. There we go. Oh, thundering out the studio. There he goes. Uh, so, yeah, your uh, rose gold plated sterling silver head pins. These are flat top head pins. So, if you want to put these with your pearls and you don't necessarily want to see the, the ball from the head pin on the bottom of the gemstone or whatever bead it is you're going to be using, these are perfect because they've got a lovely flat top on them. So, they're going to be really, really indiscreet. You will hardly notice they're there. Um, the only way you'll see that they're there is because of this beautiful, really attractive, actually, rose gold plated sterling silver um, um, uh, kind of dot, this lovely little flat top um, um, on top. Uh, 2.95. that's for a pack of 10 of these. Um, absolutely fantastic. Again, using these to make your bubble style bracelets as well. I can't see any um, jewellery in them. I don't know where all the jewellery's gone. It's like all the Christmas decorations have kind of shoved everything else the way, haven't they? 
Yeah, they have taken over, haven't they? Anyway, uh, yeah, so £2.95 pence for your 10 um, uh, flat top rose gold plated sterling silver um, head pins. These are great stash builders. Do feel free to build your stash to kind of add to your order to kind of get these little things which are kind of stocking fillers. They're nothingy prices. Um, you know, uh, 2 95 What can you actually get for 2 95 It's less than the PMP. You're quite right, Ryan. It is less than your PMP. Senior director Ryan with the today. That's a treat. Well done. Producer Ross, Adam on cameras, and we've got, um, um, uh, well, we've got Dan on, on floor at the minute, but then we'll have Tom in a bit. Oh, no, not Tom. Who is it today? Paul Demers. Paul Demers on floor? On floor? Oh, good luck with that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully things will be here on time. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Although I love Paul Demers, I absolutely love him. He's my little ray of sunshine. You're all bub. You're all bub. You're all bub. Oh, dear me. If we were all the same, it would be a very boring place, wouldn't it? It's good that we're all different. Yellow gold plated sterling silver eye pins. You're liking your precious metal today, Ross. We should, we should. With those. Whoa, what do you mean? He's really shoving the precious metal there, isn't he? Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. OK, here we go. All the way down. Two pounds, 95 pence. Now, yeah, eye pins are great for connecting things together, making your little kind of chains, uh, making your tassels. Just gives you that ready-made um, uh, kind of end to hang things on. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just looking for a... Oh, what did the farmer get for Christmas? A calculator. Sorry. Bad, aren't they? I mean, horrendous jokes. Awful. Who's Santa's favourite singer? Elphis, Elphis Presley. Oh, dre dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. Uh, this is from an anonymous customer. What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? A Christmas quacker. <laughs> uh, What's a horse's favourite TV show? Neighbours! You've clearly got the same printout that I have, because uh, those are the top two. Yeah, those are the top. That's joke number two and three off my sheet. Yeah, so you've clicked. Don't send any more in, because it'll make me look like I haven't got any original material. I wrote all of these. I didn't really. Oh, dear me. Who makes up jokes? Do you think there's a joke making? Do you think somebody does that for a living, a joke maker? They must do. Maybe, but why are jokes so difficult to remember? I don't know why they're so difficult to remember. I don't know why. Don't know why. Don't know why. Right, go on then. What are we doing now, Ross? Yes, I've got them right here. Now, with the um, beautiful uh, guest designer Jan Dwyer's um, amazing Pearl DVD today, which I think it was maybe the second or the third time it's been on air, again, hundreds went. These are the kind of pearls I would use. Um, so on the DVD, she uses button pearls. And what are you getting here? White button pearls. They're gorgeous, aren't they? The reason why these are so great on the DVD, which we uh, had on earlier with Jan, is because they've got a lovely flat bottom on them, which means they're easily set into rings, pendants, things like that. Um, they're really, really lovely. Great if you want to glue these directly onto your shibori ribbon or into your soutache designs. Uh, I mean, you can be really quite, um, uh, you can be very, very confident that the pearl's going to stay there because it has a lovely, lovely flat bottom on there. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them, um, and and they give you a really, a really interesting shape. Much more so than a, I mean, a potato pearl's lovely, but I, I I do like my buttons. I have to say, I think they're really really lovely. I, I, I love the way they're a bit squished. Here's your price point: seven pounds and forty five pence. That's absolutely amazing. Only twenty one available. It's seven forty five. It's incredible. It, it it's a great great deal for you today. Well done. Yeah, quarter to eight. A good time that, isn't it? 7.45. What are you doing at 7.45 in the morning, guys? Here. You're on an exercise bike. You've been poorly, Ross. What are you doing on an exercise bike? <clears throat> good for you. And what, and what will you be doing at 7.45 tonight? Oh, you're not doing it ever again. <laughs> That's it. I've done my bit of exercise for the, for the year. What will you be doing at 7.45 tonight, Adam? I uh, shall be at a German market. The German market? What, in Birmingham? No, there's, there's a 
Big small one by, my, by where I live. Where's that? Uh, Quarry Bank. Quarry Bank, where's that? By Merry Hill. By Merry Hill, oh my gosh. Are you going to have some glue vine and bratwurst? Hopefully, yeah. With some sauerkraut? Oh my word, a German market. I, do you know what, I'm going to be tucking in, I think, to a Chinese takeaway tonight. Can I have a sh sh ooh, yeah, shovel a bit of Chinese takeaway down me. Ooh, yeah. I don't know, well, I like, a, I, I, I like a bit of crispy duck. And I love wonton soup, hot and sour soup. Anything hot. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know. After you've had the duck, you kind of, oh, I don't know. The duck is the one. The duck is the one. Thai. I love a Thai. All going out for a Thai meal on Monday with uh, presenter Ruth and maybe presenter Lucy if she's better. We're going to have a Thai meal. Very nice. I had a lovely time meal on, um, on Tuesday, actually. It was gorgeous. It's that, it's that time of year when you kind of you see your mates more, don't you? Star by coming up on the twist earrings. They're these ones here. <whistles> see, I can whistle now because Jan's not here. <whistles> there you go. Jan's not here, so I can whistle as much as I like. Deborah doesn't have those kind of hang-ups, does she? Oh, no, you can't whistle. But Jan's partner hates sneezing. So I said, they must be all right. He hates it when people are sneezing, so it must be, there must be great fun on a night out. You don't like people sneezing, Ross. <laughs> Remind me never to sneeze in front of Ross. I'm the world's loudest sneezer. Why do, what's wrong with sneezing, Ross? Why, does it, why do you find it so annoying? It's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> I love a good sneeze. The bigger, the better. Drive out the bad. <laughs> so these are coming up. Beautiful star by twist earrings. You could even you can put things on the bottom of these, but you don't have to. Just leave them as is. Leave them as is. I bet you're. I bet you're quite a quiet sneezer, Adam. I try to. Yeah. Mm. Showing off. Maybe. No, it's not showing off. It's about driving out the bad. Drive out the bad. Uh, yeah. Right. What are we doing now? Oh, <gasps> fluorite. This is a bit of fluorite. <laughs> uh, so, you've got your fluorite here. Oh, I like the shape on these. These look kind of melted, like ice cubes that are kind of in various stages of, of melting. They're lovely. What do you mean? What do you mean? Under what? Under a fiver? <gasps> Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Absolutely amazing. Your multicolour fluorite nuggets. They are gorgeous. Four pounds, 95. That's amazing. Do you know what? That's low enough for us. These are already under five pounds. We're going lower. We're going low, low. Buffalo. That's right. I think Ryan's the only one in here that's actually ever met Brian the Buffalo. Ross hasn't. Neither's Adam. And Dan hasn't. Brian the Buffalo. I used to love him. I used to love him, Ryan. Did you used to like him? He was all taught no trousers, though. And he uh, used to wear a lovely hat. And he's the only buffalo I know with an underbite. <laughs> we managed to find a photo of a water buffalo. We called him Brian, and he had an underbite. What was a photo of a buffalo? Now, do you think we'd allow a real buffalo in here, Ross? I mean, I know this is the wonderful world of jewelry maker, but please. Health and safety. Can you imagine a buffalo? This is a suspended floor for once. And he goes through the floor. <coughs> um, anyway, £3.25. Oh, just amazing. He's lovely, isn't it? Just gorgeous. I do love a bit of fluorite. And this will fluoresce. This will fluoresce in the um in the uh in, in in ultraviolet light so daylight or if you're if you're going to wear it uh, out to somewhere that might have ultraviolet light mm -hmm. uh gail kathy mandy collector in london's got three olwyn christine deirdre well done to you darling get those texts sent through i want your christmas puns your bad jokes your your everything bad and bad christmas gifts as well why not let's throw them all into the mix why are christmas trees so bad at knitting because they always drop their needles that's really bad. And I have to say, I've already read that one out. It's the same customer sending... You've printed off the same sheet. I know you have. Right, OK. Oh, no, that's dreadful. What happened when Santa Claus got stuck up the chimney? He felt claustrophobic. 
It's not funny at all, is it? Poor old Father Christmas. Poor thing. Stop by Twisted Earrings. I love a twisty earring. Anything that's going to um, give movement, and hear me out, give movement even when it's not moving. Um, it looks like it's moving. You know when you see, you know when you turn your tap on, but you don't turn it on fully, you're turning it on, there's just a gentle stream of water coming out, and the water twists, doesn't it? It's, it's really, it's mesmerising, isn't it? Um, this is the kind of effect that these earrings will give you and it's basically a pair of gorgeous twisty sterling silver earrings it's a sterling silver cage now I know that there's many many shops and boutiques and art galleries that you know stock um, um, jewelry from local silversmiths that would sell a pair of earrings just like this just as is obviously with the other earring as well but you know just as is that is so so sweet so designer very Scandinavian actually just with the you know, just with the metal, no gemstones, lovely clean lines, really, really pretty. They look like a double, a double helix, don't they? So if you know anyone who's a, who's a, I don't know, a, who, who's into genetics or, a, you know, is a scientist or into biology, this is super, super cool. You could actually make these and you could put little kind of beads in here and make them look like strands of DNA, couldn't you? Just, just a thought. Um, you can do whatever you like with these. You can hang something from the bottom. And the more um, you hang from the bottom of these earrings the more they will twist and the more they will turn. They're not going to turn all the way around, obviously, because of the, way, the, the clever way in which they've been made. But it, it'll just give them a bit more movement. And as they move, ever so gently, they just look like they're twisting. They're just beautiful. They're solid sterling silver. That, for a Christmas present for somebody, is going to be absolutely... I mean, it's going to be so well-received, isn't it? And do you know what? You don't have to do anything to them at all. It's a ready-made piece of jewellery. How do you fancy getting these for under £20? <gasps> what? Under £20 for the pair. Under £15 for the pair. Let's see you there. Because today, we're going to take these even lower. Under £10 for the pair. I know, they're beautiful. They've been finished off absolutely beautifully. They've been gorgeously made. It's all 95 sterling silver. Today, you're going to be getting these for under £10. Eight ninety five for the pair. How brilliant is that? It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Well done. I've got multi bidders already and maybe you're going to get a pair for yourself, pair for your sister or your best mate or whatever, whoever it's going to be for. Let me know. Uh, text in those Christmas puns, those Christmas jokes. The worse, the better. Gee whiz, I've been looking online as well at Christmas jumpers. I feel like I need to get a new one this year. Oh, have you got a Christmas jumper, Adam? Yeah, I bought one the other day. I bought one the other day in readiness for Christmas jumper day? Yes. What, what, what's yours got on it? A snowman with pom-poms on. Oh, Adam, never going to let the side down, is he, with pom-poms on there. What about you, Rai Rai? Have you got one? You've got a Stranger Things one. Have you? Oh, my gosh, I knew, I knew it. I knew it. It was always going to be, like, super cool, wasn't it, with Ryan? Ugh. What about you, Ross? Where's your Christmas jumper? What do you mean you haven't got one? You have Christmas socks. Great. You have seen the email that's been sent out. Come on, I know you've been poorly, but you need to stock up. A95 should be the top of your list, um, um, uh, Ross. Dan, have you got a lovely Christmas jumper? Yeah. Do you? What's it got on it? It's got what? Bill Murray's face. Bill Murray's face. Oh, there's nothing more beautiful than Bill Murray's face. Why does it have, oh, is it because it say Murray Christmas on? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Oh, that sounds absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Okay, what are we doing now? Dyed yellow quads. Here it is. This is a very, very yellow. They call it yellow, yellow. Right, so, Deborah's joining us in about 35 minutes. She's got a gorgeous kit coming up, actually, which has got bare copper wire. Crackled quartz and I don't know what that gemstone is, but it looks lovely. Uh, yeah, gorgeous. So dyed yellow quartz, micro faceted rounds, two mil rounds. Oh, beautiful colour, sunshine yellows. Oh, this is going to be great for um, as we head into spring. 
Oh, it's not long now, everyone. I know, I know, I know. We've still got a little while to wait. Uh, but these with your beautiful peridots, with your rose quartz, with your anything kind of um, lovely and blue as well. These are going to look absolutely beautiful. Blue! Uh, they're going to look gorgeous. So bright and intense and sunny. That is a strand of sunshine, isn't it? Has anyone experienced any sun over the last week or so? The chewing gum sky has broken a little bit and there's been a bit of a bit of sunshine through that. And oh, it feels lovely. Nice bit of sunshine, isn't it? But it has been a bit grey and a bit miserable and a bit rainy, isn't it? Oh, dear me. 6 95 though, this is going to cheer you up. Just wearing this and just looking at it every so often sometimes can really lift your mood. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely being able to bring you um, really bright, positive gemstones like this. And of course, you know, all together it's very, very bright. But if you want to put it with other gemstones, you know, it really will kind of tone it down a little bit and start to dilute it. Let me just grab that strand that's coming up in the first kit, actually. Because this is really beautiful with it. Look at this. Look at this beauty. <whistles> look at those. See, that's nice. Use it as spacer beads. Spacer beads. Look at that. That's nice. Any tips on a good movie to watch tonight? I'm going to watch a movie tonight. And I don't want it to be one that my husband wants to watch because we watched that, pro oh, that movie last night. What, what did I say it was called? Warlord or whatever it was called. It's very, I mean, it's good, but very serious, very full on and, and really quite, uh, the main character is really unlikable, um, isn't he? It's a good, great film. Though. It's a great film, but really kind of like quite gritty and just like, oh. Um, so good movies. I watched Bad Moms the other the other week. Bad Moms at Christmas. It's hilarious. It's really naughty though. It's really rude. <laughs> it was great though. Uh, well done. Uh, fantastic. Right. Oh, in at number eight, it's the blue chalcedony. Actually, this would go really well with the quartz, wouldn't it? Of quartz it will. <laughs> oh, there we go. Made fudge last night. I had to do two batches because the first batch I did, I didn't have a jam thermometer and I guessed. I guessed when it would get to 114 degrees and it wasn't long enough and it didn't set. So I had to do it last night and um, my word, you have to boil it for a long old time to get it to 114 degrees. Mince pie fudge. Mmm. You, you have a piece of it and you can literally feel your teeth dissolving. It's, it's, it's just hideous. So, like 450 grams of sugar in it. It's just... <laughs> but amazing. Well done. Blue Calcedony graduated faceted irregular nuggets. These would be lovely spaces, wouldn't they? These gorgeous dyed quartz in between the chalcedony. Sunshine and the beautiful sky blues that we're all going to be getting. Obviously, obviously in the crisp, in the crispness of winter. Oh, the dampness of winter at the minute, isn't it? Um, anyway, blue calcedony, gorgeous, gorgeous sky blues. Individually as pendants, these would be great. You're getting three, six, nine, 12, 13 on the strap. My husband's lucky number. There you are. Absolutely gorgeous. How can this go under £10, Ross? You don't think it ever has? <clears throat> so this has never been under £10. And Ross, in his infinite wisdom, has put it in this hour. Well done, Ross. What are you going to do? You're not even going to stop at 9 95 He's going to break the rules, everyone. He's not even going to stop at 9 95 He's going to absolutely smash it down. Smash it like it's ah, smash it like it's ah, smash it like it's ah. What are you doing? Let's get him gone. It's never, ever, 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 ever been to uh, b been below ten pounds before. Ross has just taken it to seven pounds and ninety-five pence. That is absolutely amazing. Well done. What a deal for you today. Lots of interest there. I'm not surprised. This is this has never, ever, ever been below ten pounds. And today, it's in an under ten pound down. We haven't stopped at nine ninety-five. We're down to seven pounds ninety-five pence. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Any one of these in a beautiful ring. It just doesn't look like a 795 gemstone, that does it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful step cutting on here, all hand faceted, all hand drilled as well. The luster you're getting from these beautiful elongated facets are just stunning, aren't they? Look at that! How gorgeous is that? Isn't that beautiful? Well done, everyone. Give us a call when you can. It's a free phone number from a BT landline 0800 644 655 or get involved on our website, jurymaker.com. It's so simple and easy to get involved. Well done. Beautiful, well done. Get me those texts, get me your worst Christmas puns jokes ever. Here we go. 
Um, mm, how does Santa keep track of all the fireplaces he's visited? He keeps a log book. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, Leslie Merseyside, Yvonne, well done to Kathy, well done to Val, well done to Mandy, Suzanne, well done to Valerie. Um, uh, lots of people coming through. I'm not surprised. It's never been below £10. And Ross hasn't stopped at 9 95 or, or 9 99 He's gone to 7 95 Absolutely fantastic. Well done. So we've got a few different text topics today. Christmas puns, Christmas jokes, Christmas crackers. Also, when is it socially acceptable to start eating cheese boards for breakfast? <laughs> what date in December? Or a pork pie? When is it socially acceptable to just start eating food directly from the fridge? Forget the plates. Pick up a turkey leg. Oh, 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 and then put, some, and put it back. When is it? No? No, not yet? Maybe it's just Christmas week. I'm going all out this year. Got to be in double figures on the dates. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be in a world of trouble, aren't you, come January? <sighs> Elasticated waistbands at the ready, you know? 7 95 well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Oh, don't even joke. I've got my elasticated waistbands at the ready. Okay. Yes. Amethyst. February's birthstone. And an all-round beauty. I think everybody's heard of amethyst. Even if you uh, don't know your genuine gemstones that well, even if you're not a huge, you wouldn't call yourself a gemstone fan, I think everybody has heard of amethyst. Adam, before Jewelry Maker, had you heard of amethyst? Yeah. One of the ones I would have known. It's one of the ones he would have known. Exactly. The one of the few ones he would have known. But he would have known it. And this is beautiful. I love the gorgeous... Um, uh, yeah, well, it does, doesn't it, Ross? Because you've got the beautiful purples on here, but then you've got a different tone at the top of the gemstone as well. It's almost like it's split down the middle. 325! Goodness me! Almost half past three. Three past... Sorry, it's a bad joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> three pounds and 25 pence that's absolutely that, that's under three pounds 50 for genuine natural amethyst you could i mean and, and do you know what you could be a new customer today get this for 325 pay your 395 pmp don't buy anything else you'll get your um you'll get your two free strands of genuine gemstones i mean i would keep on buying if i were you but you know if you don't want to buy anything else that's fine you get your two free strands of gemstones how amazing is that? We've had loads of new customers today, by the way. So, so keep that coming. If you are brand new to Jewelry Maker, start your order with us today. You'll get all these bits um, um, in time for Christmas as well. Um, you should get them by the middle of next week, actually, um, you know, which would be absolutely brilliant. Um, well done. 325 for your gorgeous amethyst small nuggets. They're just lovely, aren't they? So coming up, we've got loads, tons. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We've got all these bad boys, all these magnetic clasps. These are coming up about quarter two, so in about 15 minutes time. <whistles> Got a cup chain as well. Cup, 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 chain. Shirovsky cup chain. Hello, baby. Gorgeous. That's coming your way. Under £10. I know because it's in this hour. I know. Totally bonkers. Totally and utterly bonkers. What are we doing, Ross? Oh, this is gorgeous. Where's my... Oh, there they are. My endless love! <laughs> Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything that I want to be. Da, 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 da. You are the wind beneath my wings. Gold plated sterling silver. Oh, you don't have to sing that when you get this. Gold plated sterling silver. Eternal love pendant. My first love. Uh, so seven ninety five. Oh, dear. who sang that? Who sang eternal love? No, endless love, wasn't it? <gasps> Diana Ross and Lionel Richie, I think, wasn't it? Ma, endless love. Uh, so seven ninety five. Oh, Ryan having a go there. Well done, Ryan. Um, the eternity part comes from this beautiful figure of eight. Yeah. 
from your lovely figure of eight um, uh, um, uh, kind of enveloping that gorgeous heart. There's your heart, there's your eternal thing. And together you have an eternal love pendant could be a lovely charm that'd be nice wouldn't it but lovely as a pendant <gasps> on the favorite on the gemstone of choice on your favorite gemstone just so lovely i like the fact that it's slightly three-dimensional can i remind you as well this is all yellow gold plated silver it's not yellow gold colored brass or gold plated um uh, copper it's gold plated silver and it's 7.95 you're getting an amazing what was that gram weight two point something wasn't it two point two point six five grams of precious metal that's amazing. Well done. Cup 10 coming up in one opportunity's time. Can't believe this is going under £10. That, that is under £10. What? <whistles> I was hoping you were going to say that, Ross. I noticed these in the schedule this morning and I thought, do you know what? They, they are winner, winner, chicken dinner. Do you know where that saying comes from? Las Vegas. I think it's when he used to win, when he used to play the... The slot machines, and one of the things you could win was a chicken dinner. Win a winner chicken dinner, I think. Gareth Parsons told me that, so it might, it might, it might, might be a lie. <laughs> oh, Gareth. I'd like to say I miss him. I do. He had a terrible temper, though, didn't he? Oh, yeah, Gareth. Oh, such a terrible temper. But such a lovely guy. But, um, you know, just a really bad temper. Hey, what? He did a... <laughs> Happened to that one's got a little, it's got a bit, it's got a few crumbs on it. There we go. Okay. Uh, North Star pendant. Um, love these. Uh, can I just say, when you see stars on uh, the nativity, um, uh, when you see stars on kind of nativity based cards, um, they are this kind of shape, aren't they? It's a very traditional star rather than a five point star. You've got something here with the long, elongated point up and down and side and side, and then you've got the smaller points around the edge it's quite a traditional star shape isn't it i love the color you get here it's a lovely buttery yellow gold color isn't it so yellow gold colored base uh, metal uh, north star they are beautiful i would personally I'd, I'd stamp onto these as well i really i probably wouldn't engrave onto them but i'd definitely stamp onto them or, or maybe even use some of your texture um uh, texturing kind of um um uh, kind of um, stamps as well um five five is that the price that's amazing. Five ninety-five for six of these. That's less than a pound each. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Less than a pound each. Absolutely brilliant. Five ninety-five gets you all six of these today. Loveliest little charms. I mean, I'd consider as well hanging these in my window, um, kind of connecting them together with some lovely, uh, lovely chain, and making Christmas decorations or a little garland out of these, or even a lovely cake topper, wine glass charms, cracker charms, little, little trinkets little trinkets uh, they're gorgeous aren't they well done 5.95 gets you these today well done absolutely brilliant they're just gorgeous i love the way i love the noise they make as well when you wear them together or when you kind of jangle them together they're so 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 pretty aren't they but a very traditional star shape aren't they gorgeous well done loads of people coming through to get these if you love these you're going to absolutely love these magnetic clasps these beauties Coming up at the end of the hour. Woo! Pack of eight. All eight for under ten pound. That's amazing. Gorgeous. Well done. Cup chain coming up right now. It's a star buy. Here we go. So this is your first um, Swarovski star by of the show oh my word that is absolutely gorgeous if you were to see somebody wearing this what would you think if you were in a restaurant so you didn't know the person who was wearing it not like you know me you saw somebody wearing that what would you think because i would think what a beautiful diamond tennis bracelet a diamond tennis bracelet that has got to be one of the most ultimate that's got to be one of the ultimate pieces for any lady to have in her collection a diamond tennis bracelet but they're not flawless diamonds it's Shirovsky and it's Shirovsky plain crystal and I love the fact it's the plain crystal one rather than the AB coating because it looks like flawless diamonds also the size of this really helps as well because some of the cup chain that we do is much much larger which I do like but it's very obvious that they're Shirovskys what I love so much about this is it really could be 
it really could be a diamond tennis bracelet. You can take these apart. If I just turn it over this way, you'll see that these, sorry, Libby, that they've got little, there's a little kind of gap at the bottom there. And the uh, little rods in between the um, segments um, uh, come out. So if you want to separate these out and use these crystals individually, then you can do. If you want to use them all together, then you can do. Lovely in a ring, lovely to bezel around things as well. Um, but I do like this kind of slightly smaller, uh, smaller size. It just looks... I think it looks more expensive. I really, really do. It looks really expensive. It looks really um, uh, high end. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a beautiful quality. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Stunning. Now your price point today. Oh, wow. And can I just remind you, it's for a 50 centimeter length, 9.95 for a 50 centimeter length. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Gorgeous opportunities for you today. Well done. What a treat. Absolutely amazing. So for a 50 centimetre length of your gorgeous Swarovski cup chain, just 9.95 under a £10 note. It's amazing to think that we can do this for less than £10. I also like the idea of making little stacker rings with these. You know, as rings, they're just gorgeous. You can connect them together, get them at just the right size. Look, that looks really high end, doesn't it? I mean, why not, you know, go, go for three. Why not? Stuff it. There you go. Oh, do you know, I was looking through Tiffany's website day before yesterday. They've got some absolutely beautiful stuff. They really do. But prices that range massively from kind of a couple of hundred pounds right the way up to th tens of thousands of pounds. You know, if that was flawless diamonds, goodness knows how much that would cost. <gasps> Just beautiful though, isn't it? I love it. I would love a ring like that. And I'd much rather have Swarovski than flawless diamonds in this particular case in a ring like this, just purely because it, just purely because it, it, it you know, you wouldn't feel bad or guilty about wearing that every single day. Whereas if that was flawless diamonds, goodness me, you, 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 you'd be scared, scared to wear it, wouldn't you? Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Beautiful quality. Absolutely amazing. 9 95 for that. What a great deal. Gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Numero dos. Uh, so, I bought you the Rotocrosite deal of the day today, which is absolutely beautiful. I think these will work really beautifully with them. Um, you've got this gorgeous strand of leaves. Let's not leave these out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so, Fancy just believes. Can you believe it, Adam? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Oh, well, if you think you're going to be paying more than £10, you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Branching out with these jokes. Yes, I am. Uh, you're quite right, uh, Ryan. I know. I know. Would you believe it? Uh -huh. 6 95 Gee whiz. I, you know what? I bore myself. I bore myself. I say these jokes and I think, do you know what? You're boring yourself. So goodness knows what everyone at home's thinking. They're just thinking, oh, no. Oh, no. Not these again. Not these terrible jokes again. 6 95 Well done. Get those. Well, if you can do better than texting your Christmas jokes, good or bad. Here we go. Jane in Cornwall. Carol. I think the joke's on me. Oh, I fell and broke my leg. No, plus it for Christmas. <gasps> and not in a good way. Chain in Cornwall, that's dreadful. Oh, I hope it's not like ankle to ankle to thigh. You poor thing, what happened, Jane? What did you, did you slip? Were you doing something really energetic and adventurous like hanging your tea towel up? No, but that's serious. That's when people kind of do things like that. Like, like what was it, somebody? Somebody, somebody I know pulled the back and like slipped a disc by picking a flannel off the floor. I mean, what? It's bad, isn't it? A flannel, you know, flannel. Even the word flannel, flannel, flannel. A wet, flaccid flannel. There you are. There you go. Right, here we go. Let's do. <laughs> Oh, what? I didn't know what he said then. Fast as you like, there you go. Limited, limited, limited. Limited, like my repertoire of jokes. Or Adam's repertoire of jokes. Adam hasn't actually said any, I don't think, have you? Or maybe one. Oh, no, you said one. What's the weather report for Christmas Day? Oh, here we go. What's the weather report for Christmas Day? It's rain, dear. It's rain, dear. Ah! <laughs> £2.70. 
Sorry, did my microphone peak then? Or was that really loud? Oh, sorry, love. Sorry, guys. The raucous laughter. <laughs> oh, Adam, I love you. Uh, well done. Two pounds seventy for your gorgeous, um, for your gorgeous blue coloured dye quartz. Oh, sorry, Ryan. Sorry, everyone. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm deafening anybody today. Well, no, I'm not sorry, really. You shouldn't let me television up so loud. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. And um, what about with the gorgeous yellow dyed quartz rounds? It's like the sun in the sky, or great if you love, uh, if you're from uh, Holland? No. It is Holland. No. Sweden. Sweden. There you go. <laughs> if you love meatball, meatballs for a pound. <gasps> I love their meatballs. They're the best, aren't they? You do sit down with a meal at that shop, that furniture shop that has... And you sit down and, and, you look at your, and you look at your meal and you think, how on earth have I managed to pay just like three quid for all of this? Oh, it's good. You can go there just for lunch, you know. Do you know the, uh, do you know the cafe I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. I've never had it there. You've never eaten there? Oh, you've got to do it, Adam. It's a great day out. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure about it being a day out, actually, but you know, great to, you know. Magnetic clasps. Oh, I don't know where that came from. I'm just going to pop it there. There we go. Oh, now, uh, Kleshna has given us these, which are for jewellery. Looks like she's, it's like a limoncello glass or a sherry glass or something. Ooh, a little dibble of sherry. Not a big sherry drinker. Oh, my grandma used to love having sherry every day before, before lunch. Um, there we go. You a sherry drinker, uh, Adam? No. An aperitif drinker at all, or something after dinner, maybe a, a whiskey or a or a limit. Oh, I do like a limoncello. <sighs> limoncello is nice. It's very very nice. Uh, gold plated nine two five sterling silver bolt ring clasps. There's ten of them. There they all are. Looking beautiful. Hello, hello. Uh, for three pounds and ninety five pence, they're all precious metal. And can I just say something as well? They work. They actually work. I don't know if you've ever bought bolt ring class before and they don't actually work. They fall apart or they're just rubbish quality, but these actually do work. Um, they're not overly big and they're not overly small. It's that lovely kind of mid-size as well. They are 7 mil in size and they're great from everything to necklaces, bracelets, even charms actually. They're not too big to wear as, um, to have as a little charm carrier. If I get a strand of rounds like these bad boys here, here we go. If I clip this on, Let's say you clip that on there, you put your charm on, from the bottom, or from the side, I, sh I should say, that's just going to look like a gorgeous carrier, isn't it? Look at that, isn't that lovely, with a little loop on the bottom. The other side, you've got your little trigger, but really, you can't really see it at all, can you? Just the right size if you want to make that into a little charm carrier. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Uh, well done. And they fit in beautifully with the... Um, with the um we, you know with the whole host of the gemstones that we've got coming up today they really really do we've got some mystic coated clear quartz and mystic coated rose quartz coming up today on the mid show they're brand new they're so new in fact they're not even in the building they'll be here in a bit they'll be here in a bit oh yeah we've got the one to own the um uh, brown stripe agate ovals oh my core wowzer Oh, oosh, they are gorgeous. Look at that. Mmm. Ooh. It's like some gorgeous ice cream, isn't it? What flavour ice cream would this be? Like a, a coffee ice cream, maybe? Or a lovely, uh, I don't know, rum and raisin. Now, that's an ice cream. That's quite a retro flavour. You don't see that much anymore, do you? Mmm. That's nice. What, what do you reckon, Adam? What flavour ice cream do you reckon that would be? <laughs> mm. Gorgeous, just ice cream, just give it to me. Give it to me! Um, the what, sorry? Oh, the, here it is. Unikite, did you call it? Unikite. So we've got a guy who's, um, yeah, potato potato, I think, really, isn't it? You can say whatever you want. Can you imagine a unikite, sorry, a unicorn on a unicycle at university holding some unikite? Whilst flying a kite. <laughs> now, that is something I would pay good money to see. Unikite's an amazing gem. Look at this. So it's green and pink at the same time. 
Actually, that would go to really beautifully with today's deal of the day, the gorgeous um, Rhodochrosite. Because uh, it's got the similar kind of, um, uh, kind of um, wild Alaskan salmon colours coming out of there. The gorgeous kind of reddy pinks coming out of there. It's just lovely, isn't it? They're all the same size. They're all the same shape, which is great. They're all five to six mil thick. Now, that's interesting. That's something that we don't normally... Uh, that's something we don't normally kind of um, detail, how thick they are, actually, you know, how tall they are, but they're all roughly the same. That's really nice, actually. Great with the, great with the uh, gallery wire that we did earlier on. Fantastic with your... Um, you know, if you want to prong set these, great using the little um, uh, gem setting technique that um, guest designer Jan showed us in the nine o'clock hour this morning, if you want to watch that back on our YouTube channel. Uh, but they're really, really beautiful. It's like a mossy green, isn't it? Beautiful mossy green. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Absolutely stunning. OK, so um, we've got the magnetic clasps coming up in just a couple of seconds. That's going to be exciting. A pack of eight of them. What should we do in between now and then? We're going to go straight to it now. Okay, start by coming up right now. They're going in a ten pound. There we go. So, magnetic clasps. Um, a pack of eight of these. I really like them. I really, really like them. What I love so much about these, and I, you know, I said this this morning when we bought you some, is. They don't interrupt. Let me just get one on its own. They don't interrupt the shape of the necklace. As in, ah, that's not helping, is it? There we go. You've got your rounds there and your rounds there. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So it's not going to interrupt the shape of the piece of jewellery. With your perfect round pearls, obviously with all this beautiful new jasper that we're bringing you with, um, you know, the most amazing prizes and most of them around, whether they're faceted or unfaceted, doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm getting at is, 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 the, is the initial shape. If you made a necklace and then you put a bolt ring, uh, sorry, a, um, a lobster claw clasp on this, it interrupts the roundness of the design. These don't at all. Also, pop one at your collarbone, at either kind of collarbone, there and there. You can make a long necklace into a shorter necklace and a bracelet set. Um, which is nice, so you can make full-on interchangeable pieces just by using your magnetic clasp. Also, um, you don't have to rely on anyone to take that necklace off or bracelet off and put it back on for you as well. Um, they're really, really lovely. The only, the only thing I would say, you know, if you are going to be gifting this to somebody, um, you know, in a piece of jewellery, uh, make, make sure they don't have a pacemaker or make sure that if they do have a pacemaker, you make them aware of the fact that this is magnetic, OK? Because the magnet really is quite strong. I'll show you the magnet, actually. It is really quite large for what it for for what for the clasp it's on. Look, look at the size of that. I mean, albeit it's not very it's not very kind of thick, but it's a very it's a very very strong magnet indeed. It's really quite impressive. And also, look, I, I did this trick earlier. I didn't realise you could do this. This is really cool. There we go. Look, look, look. <laughs> Magic. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> that is gonna. Do you know what? I, I, do you know what? That is gonna wow your your nieces and nephews, your you know your kids, your grandkids. I mean, it wows me, <laughs> and, I've, and I've got the mental age of it. Yeah. So anyway, so seven ninety five. Um, that's a pound each. That's amazing, isn't it? That's absolutely brilliant. Do you know what though? It's not what you're paying. This is for the young or the young at heart. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, one of these, I'm just literally holding one of these by, by the little ring and they're all hanging off there. It's so cool. Look at that. <gasps> so strong, so cool. I love it. £5.55. What does that work out to, Ross, per 69 pence each? That's amazing, isn't it? You've gone completely bonkers for these as well. The yellow gold um, uh, coloured magnetic class you're going to be getting here. They're just amazing, aren't they? They're really, really, really beautiful. And they're, they're super strong. They're beautifully made. Ultra, ultra shiny as well. I love them with any of our round gemstones. And we're bringing you loads of agate, aren't we? You know, over the last few weeks, we bought you lots and lots of agate and lots of beautiful round gemstones, which is great. Um, you need to put the proper class with them. You could also make quite a heavy piece of jewellery and this clasp isn't going to falter, you know, which is absolutely fantastic. It's great, isn't it? Well done for 5 55 That is brilliant. It's, I mean, it's a nothing price and you're getting such a great quality. So many gemstones that we've already bought you today that these are going to work beautifully with. Keep coming through for these. I want to get your Christmas texts and your Christmas bad puns as well. Anybody out there with your bad puns, with your bad Christmas jokes? Let's have a look at this one. Um, oh, no, I've already said that one. 
I've said that one. <gasps> what has four wheels? What has four wheels and flies? A bin lorry. Oh, flies. Oh, oh that's bad, isn't it? Sorry, that's bad. How did Scrooge win the football match? The ghosts of Christmas passed. <laughs> They're horrendous, aren't they? If you can do better or worse, text in. Uh, well done, collectors in East Riding of Yorkshire, County Antrim, South Yorkshire, Warwickshire, East Riding of Yorkshire. Another one there. Well done to, um, in Wales, Yorkshire, Cleveland. Very popular in Yorkshire. Merseyside now. Another one in Yorkshire. Goodness me. Um, absolutely fantastic. Well done to everyone coming through to get these. Lots of multi bidders. By the way, you get a 30 day money back guarantee with all of this. You're going to get all of this before Christmas, which is great. One PMP of 3.95, which lasts you 14 um, hours. Uh, well, the whole day, actually, really, until midnight tonight. So if you, if it, uh, live for 14 hours a day so if you bought maybe in the eight o'clock hour then you had to go and do a few bits and you're watching now that pmp still covers you which is fantastic so you're covered by that one 395 pmp regardless of how much you order which is great um fantastic well done so you're going to get all these bits in time for christmas i think roughly deliveries in time for christmas are going to be around about the 17th of december at the minute but that might change i'll have to let you know um i can't imagine it being any later than the 17th of um december uh, yeah, it's going to be quite difficult to get your orders um, in time for Christmas after that. So get, you know, fill your boots. Get all these pieces right now. Well done. Collects in Yorkshire, Isabel in Lancashire. Well done. Gorgeous. Now, coming up, we've got Deb Rudge and the most amazing kit. I've spied some of the jewellery that she's made. Honestly, it's absolutely incredible. This is the first kit. Bare copper wire. Crackle quartz. And this absolutely superb strand of agate. All of this is coming up in your first kit. Um, we've also got the one to own at three o'clock, which is your brown stripe agate um, uh, ovals. We've also got the um, uh, coming up at 345, your mystic coated clear quartz and your mystic coated uh, rose quartz as well. Hello, Paul Demers on floor. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you going to be all right? Is, is everything going to be in its place? You look very well today. You're looking really happy. I'm always happy. Are no, you not? I am. What's going on? What's happening? Anyway, uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, we're going to be joined by lovely Deb Rudge in just a couple of seconds. Um, don't go anywhere. We've got tons and tons and tons of incredible stuff to get through. Get those texts sent through. of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? 
Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewellery Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. Buying with Jewellery Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewellerymaker.com and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Hello! Hello, how are you doing, <laughs> Chuck? You alright? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. This is Deb. How are you? And I'm very well, thank you, darling. Bright and breezy, with my dogs. Yep. All of them. They've been very quiet and very well behaved today, aren't they? Don't, don't look at this bit here, I've got gravy. From Sunday. Oh, I spilt some of my dinner just now. Did you? Mm. <laughs> it's the thing, isn't it? I just ended up wearing most of my food. Um, gorgeous. Lovely to see you, darling. Amazing kit. Oh, yeah. I picked this one up from the office, so... Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's like, oh, look at yeah. those. Beautiful wire. Gorgeous gemstones. Big statement pieces. I love that necklace on the end. I think that's gorgeous, Deb. Which one? The one, no the, white, the, the, the one with the crackle quartz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's in two parts, so that one comes off. Oh, does it? Oh, and you can either clip gosh. it in, or you can make it into a double bracelet. Oh, that's lovely. Twice. I love the big oversized jump rings that you've made. Twisting yeah. the white. It's really yeah. nice. And then the colour of this other strand here. Look at that. It's beautiful. And, it, and when you actually look at each one individually, and you've mm. got... All the pattern on there and the textures and the different it's like just swirls of color they're yeah. amazing they're just beautiful 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 mm. this kit's going to go very quickly can i just say oh um, look at that how many do we have uh, ross oh 92 it's not going to be enough 92 of this kit available um these are absolutely exquisite, aren't they? What you're looking at here is beautiful. It says it's mixed colour quartz, mm. plain, 10 mil rounds. I don't know. It, to me, it looks like a jasper. It looks like a... Yeah. looks like some of the... Oh, see, look at this. I need my glasses on because then I can get in really close. That one's really, really awesome. Look at that. They're all completely doing their own little thing, aren't they? They're gorgeous, aren't they? Really, really, really beautiful. They're 10 more rounds you're going to be getting here. Then you get these enormous gobstoppers of crackle quartz. Mm. These are incredible. They're mm. massive. Um, 16 mil rounds. Goodness me. It's a total of 700 carats you're getting here. They're beautiful as well. They're, just, they're so smooth. Yeah. And they're just, they're amazing. I think they're gorgeous. They're so shiny, aren't they? Them. Yeah. So crackly. What you do yeah. is you basically get really great quality clear quartz. Um, you heat it up to a very high temperature. You plunge it into ice cold solution. And then that gives you the internal crackle. It works for the gemstone like clear quartz, doesn't it? It, it does, It works. Yeah. You can yeah. dye it. It looks very nice when it's dyed. However, I, I think when it's that. dyed... When it's dyed, it looks Just, really synthetic, yes. which isn't a bad thing, but it does look really synthetic. What I love about this is it looks like it's, it could be naturally occurring. It yeah. looks like it ice. Looks like you've just ice. gone like yeah. that. When you get all the crackles in it. Oh, it's gorgeous stuff, isn't it? Now, the wire is a little bit special. You seem to do very well with your wire, um, mm -hmm. Deb. You get given all the good wire, don't you? I know. 
I don't know what kind I, of deal she's got with the with the kit <coughs> team. Is she has to bend their arms round their back, or maybe she just threatens them. I don't know. Yeah. I just go and growl at them. I think you do, don't you? Yeah. She's a scary woman. <laughs> she's about as scary as a bunny. She's a, she's. I'm not scared. She's so great. Um, so your wire. Now this is raw copper wire. This is beautiful stuff, isn't it? Mm, it is. It's really nice. It, it's just. Uh, bare copper and sterling silver yeah. are my favourites. That's like, you can't go wrong. 20 metres, where are you? You're there, darling. 20 metres of your point four, yeah? Four, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Four metres of your one mil, which I should think is probably that one there. You're going to be getting one and a half metres, sorry, uh, three metres of your one and a quarter mil gauge. Goodness me. And then you're getting one and a half metres of your one and a half mil gauge. You have got <laughs> 0.4, one and a half, sorry, 0.4, one, one and a half, and one and a quarter mil gauge wires here. That is incredible. How have you managed to get 0.4, one, one and a quarter, and one and a half mil gauge wires? I really don't know, but it's good, isn't it? It's absolutely because amazing. We we don't get the bigger gauges very nope. often. So nope. so to actually get it, you're lucky is, to get anything over fab. a mil. Yeah. And you've got two loads of it here. Yeah. You've got one really and a quarter good. and one and a half. Now this is raw copper. What this means is basically when we bring you the copper wire that we normally bring you, it's basically been sealed. So um, you can't necessarily patina it or heat patina it. Um, it's not going to oxidise over time because it's been sealed. It's been coated. It's maybe been plated. Mm. What's so lovely about this, it will naturally patina over time. You can obviously stop that, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, you, can nat uh, you can patina it, you can uh, rainbow, um, sorry, you can heat patina it, which will give it a lovely rainbow colour. Put it with liver of sulphur, and it'll really give it a beautiful um, um, uh, kind of um, a lovely kind of green tone, like a verdigris kind of quality. You can do all sorts with it. It looks amazing. It gives you a very different look, and it will, like I say, it naturally patinas over time, so it gives you that lovely aged kind of antique look. It's really gorgeous stuff. Um, We'll talk to Deb about what she's done with it um, in a few seconds. Your should be price for this kit is £39.70. Now, I know that, I mean, that strand of gemstones there, I'd pay, I'd pay at least 15 quid for that, mm -hmm. probably even more. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably pay another <clears throat> 10, 12 pounds for this strand. The white, I mean, you're looking at a brilliant price already for this kit. I don't know how to prepare you for this. I just heard. Yeah. This is going <coughs> seriously low. It is a huge, huge price crash. I've only got 90 odd of this kit available. You need to be there now. I've already got some people who've checked out, already got people who are coming through to get it, which is great. You need to be there now, okay? You need to be there now, because we're not taking 10 pounds off. We're not even taking 15 pounds off this price. You are not, it is honestly, it's unbelievable. Do you want to get this kit for under 20 quid? No. Oh! <laughs> I want to get three for under 20, please. <laughs> You're getting That's... it for under 20 pounds. Honestly, that is one of I the best price kits that. I've seen in the last six months. I'm 92 shocked. opportunities, they are flying out the door. You've got to come through and get this. The colours work beautifully together. The more mm. this naturally oxidises, the more it's going to go with this strand here, because, of course, the blues are, are, you know, are what's going to come out of it. Just talk us through what you can do with your raw copper wire to kind of get those different colours and qualities out of it, Okay, Deb. so um, you can get mm. a liver of sulphur, yeah. which smell, or you can use boiled eggs. Mm. Um, if you want to. So pop it in like a plastic box with a boiled egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and what happens to the wire? What, um, what then the wire it will, it goes through stages. Mm, so yes. it, it um, turns from, from the, sh the copper yeah. through to a brownie sort of tone yeah. and um, it gets darker and darker. So you can get a really rich dark black tone with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, if you want to, you can polish it back in yeah. certain areas yeah. so that you get textures coming through. Um, the other thing you can do with it is is to actually heat it. Mm. So if you, um, I sometimes use a really sort of low tech method and heat it um, over the gas hob and just gently 
He, the, um, and the rainbow colours that come out of it are will just come out, yeah. incredible. So you don't even need special tools. In the past, we've had things like Renaissance wax, yeah, um, and that um, will seal uh, it. which helps to seal that kind of natural oxal uh, that oxalisation, whether it's natural or whether you've applied yeah. that beautiful patina. Um, we've had the green verdigris kind of patina, which you can paint onto the, yeah. um, uh, which you can paint onto it as well, and it looks absolutely amazing. Can I just say, if you choose to make something that goes outside, it will naturally oxidise over time, mm -hmm. uh, and it, uh, and it will do so even quicker. You know, like your beautiful copper pieces that you you've got in um, maybe um, in your garden and over time they will go green they'll go this really awesome kind of verdigris green that's what will happen to this if it's left kind of outside in the elements and um, so entirely up to you what you want to do with this if you find that you've patinaed it too much you can just scrub it with a little um, um, uh, kind of um, wet uh, sandpaper. You, you can or, or a bit of wire wool maybe. If you just if you just clean it off with wire wool um, or you can use a cloth and some tomato sauce or something. Oh, really? Acidic. Yeah, something and it just acidic. Takes it out. Yeah, yeah. And it'll it'll clean it off and lift it. It's um, it's it's just it gives you so many options. Yeah. It's a brilliant, brilliant kit, this one. Under £20 as well. That's we started amazing. with 92 How are we doing quantity-wise? Uh, it's not, Ross. It's lovely Wayno. <laughs> Hi, Wayno. How are you doing? Hey, <laughs> he's just <laughs> loving life. There he is. <laughs> what do you want to demo for us, um, uh, Deb? Um, I thought I'd, I'd show you different elements on this. this yes, please. That'd be lovely. Because, different components. Yeah, yeah. So just look at how we did the, the jump rings because they're, they're double as well. Um, uh, the little jump rings. Yeah. Well, the big jump the, rings, the I should big say. Yeah. Jump rings, yeah, they're beautiful. The I love them. Um, and then how I connected everything up because mm. if you're making really big, chunky jump rings, lovely. The way you connect it is then slightly different. Gorgeous, yeah, please do that. Um, so, firstly, what I would say is yes. I would leave your crackled quartz on the strand until you're ready to actually work with each one individually. Okay. And I know I haven't done that now. Oh, is it so you can see the drill hole? It takes ages yeah, otherwise. I bet. Cause Cause I bet, because it's all hole. crackled and you're like, oh. you're like, oh, there it is. No. There it is. Do you no. want some help, Lavey? There it is. Do you yeah. want some help? <laughs> Have you pulled your yellow cord? It's really... Are it's... you all right, Deb? So it took me <laughs> ages because I didn't even think about it. So I was there like, oh, nice. And just now I cut the end and then I dropped the... Th <laughs> I dropped Sorry. the strand. I'm ignoring you. Are you it. all right in there, Deb? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They're on the way, don't worry. <laughs> oh, bless you. So, oh, I, I am a liability on, in life. It. Right. So it's, uh, but I'm just saying. To feel it's it. Really oh, look, oh, look, there it is. You think it is, but then you try. Well, no, it is. That is it. Oh, no, I can Shove actually see through. that. I've got, Shove... I've got it in this oh, one. I'm, I'm fine. Love. All right, I was fine. Just, just trying to help. <laughs> just trying to help. Put the gemstone down. Right. Um... <laughs> Sorry. I can't believe, though, you're getting your point four. Oh. You're one mil. Heavens. Your one and a quarter and your one and a half mil gauge raw copper wire with your two strands of gemstones for under 20 quid. It's amazing. It is awesome. I, and even actually, even yes. if you don't like bare copper wire, I'd still buy Why it. Why would you not like bare copper well, wire? I don't know. Some people might not. Oh, no. You know. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the it. The wire of wires. It is. Mm. If I couldn't have. Um, Bare copper, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, I don't know what I'd do. I just I love have it. to work permanently in sterling so silver. Oh, now I've lost it. There no, you haven't. There it is. So, <laughs> I can't get it through because there's a kink in my wire. Oh, God, heavens to it's Betsy. hard work today, isn't it? All I'm going to do is a Ooh. rosary link. It's because it's been scrunched. <laughs> Imagine being in my life, though. It's like, you, yeah. <laughs> You're right, Deb. Right, come on. You, you only get it for, I don't know, a few five hours. hours yeah. Five long hours. It's a flight to New York, <laughs> that is, love. Oh, it is all flight to New York. It? I'm, I'm going to New York and back today. <gasps> Ten hours. Oh. I'm the annoying passenger who talks the whole way to New York and back again. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> right. So, one millimetre wire goes... Yes, lovely. ...does go through the, uh, the crack quartz and then just making a nice rosary link on the end so the rosary link um i actually made the loops a reasonable size because i wanted it all to be in balance mm. so then 
come back and just take your snips, cut it through and then just turn the other end there and kink it back. So that's then your first rosary link. Lovely. So just mass produce those. And it's nice actually because it's this gauge of why you don't have to you don't have to do a little wrap. You don't need you to do, just a do a little wrap. A little open loop. So th what that means is that you're um you're able to then decide how you want to connect them up. Totally. Going, and, 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 and oh, they'll build up so that. much quicker. Sit still. Oh Thank you. that was a nice game. It it did as well, didn't it? Well what can I say? The, well, mark, the gemstones Mastery listen to of, yeah. me. <laughs> the sorcery of gem talking. Mastery. It's like dog whispering. Gem I think it was. Whispering. <gasps> yeah. I you bet know. you talk to I the gemstones, don't you? All the time. Yeah. All the time, yeah. So, um, all I did was make loads of these. And then I got onto the, the jump ring section. So, with the jump ring, I used the. Um, the 1.25 although I just made this earlier and I've made it with a chunkier one but I really like it so to do the um, the jump rings what you need to do is if you take your um, your wire actually no that's that one there is the 1.25 that we've put through this. Aha! Uh -huh. So I used the one millimetre and what you need to do with your twisty twisty jump rings is grab that one as well. So take two Lengths of an equal. I'm going to move uh -huh. those because I'm going to kick them everywhere. Otherwise, of That's an right. equal size of your one millimeter. Does it feel? Then, is it easier to work with or more tricky than 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 your plated, or is it just the same? Um, I think it's easier. Do you? Because um, it's because there's less on it, I guess. Or well, with, with it with your um, your bare copper, you haven't actually got to worry mm. about any plating. Mm. So. If you're a, a brand new beginner, mm. this is absolutely brilliant because yeah. you're not going to take, you're not going to scratch your wire, yeah, you're not yeah, going to yeah. take off That's any colour, yeah. yeah. anything like that. So you can practice mm -hmm. and practice with uh, the bare copper mm -hmm. and then make up pieces in, in either your sterling silver or your, um, your plated. Yes which is really nice gorgeous because it gives you the opportunity to test out techniques and Absolutely. check how things work fantastic um, okay so yeah where really are we good. now so all you need to do with your little twisty tool is pop the ends in so i put one of each wire in yeah and then just twist the two together uh -huh. and that holds it in at that would you point. like to use me yes please oh I'm only get, <laughs> I mean, do I don't, I don't have to, section. but I, I was kind of hoping you were going to ask me. Yeah. I, I use a, um, the key in the door at home. Ah. Or a doorknob. Yeah, yeah. I can be your doorknob. You can. There you are. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thanks. <coughs> just for this, though. Just for this. Okay. Let me... Um, let me we're only going to do a short little bit. When I'm at home, what I'll do is probably about a two-metre length of really? it, if I can. Really? Okay. Or um, that's no, not with your finger. Oh no, it will it will trap your finger. Will it? it? Oh yeah. no, I don't want to be. Oh no, Just, I don't want a lawsuit. I'm like, I know. Go. Yeah, hold it on there. Deb right. told me to put my finger in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right so here so, we go. So uh, hang on. on. Uh, Just no, yeah. You need to make sure you pull it so it's it's All tight. Right. Yes. And then because these these wires need to be straight. Okay. If they're, Baggy. What happens oh, no, is I don't want them to be baggy. They, um, well, I'm giving it a good pull. No, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. fine, cool. Just don't let go. I'm not gonna let go. So then, when you twist the wires, oh, oh no! Heavens to Betsy! Oh, he oh, oh, oh! Anyway, that's how you do it. Except make sure they're 
connected. Oh, and then there you you'll go. end up Perfect. with a nice twisted, twisty, um, twisty. Piece yeah, lovely. Of, of wire. And I, I do this quite a lot. And what it there, will do is, yeah, is reinforce and strengthen the, um, the, the wires. Yes. So it's like work hardening yes, it absolutely. as you go yeah. as okay. well. So cut it off your, your twisty tool. Okay. And then yep. what you need to do is bail making pliers. And I went into the, the um, largest size yeah. on there. Yeah. And just twist it around to uh -huh. make a nice a coil yeah lovely. basically and then if you trim it down so you take a cut at that point and the way i did them for the necklace oh gosh i know it's good isn't it you can still cut nice. it with those yeah. um with those flash cutters that's yeah, really and good it doesn't damage them or yeah, anything yeah brilliant that's great so if you're making oh, lovely. it's like so a little um what are they called? Where the the closed jump rings? The yeah. Oh. Do you know the ones I mean? The split rings the that split you use rings. on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically what we're making. Uh huh. So trim that down, and then you'll end up with um, basically a twisted sp split ring. So because I then, when I was making up my piece earlier, used. Um, a heavier gauge, mm. you obviously get a really nice um, twist, mm. but your jump rings um, are far too chunky. I'll show you ah. one. If I, if I do it as a split ring, it's too, too heavy. Just whilst you're, just whilst you're doing that, Deb, okay. I'm just going to do very quickly this um, 0.25 millimetre gauge oh, wire. Oh, nice. Look That's at that. That's amazing. That's now, beautiful. Now, you're getting, wow, 100 metres of 0.25 wow. millimetre gauge raw copper. I mean, I mean, that looks like beautiful hair, doesn't it? It's it gorgeous. does, yeah. This in... I, I, I love raw copper. And I love it particularly when people use it in the elements to make sculptural pieces, because it does yeah. patina so beautifully. Imagine making a beautiful sculptural piece or doing a lovely piece and making hair with it, making yeah. hair on a little... on, on a... On a on a on a statue or um my mum and dad have got a really lovely copper um uh, sheep um uh, which kind of um, oh, little, um, um, yes, statue nice. which lives in their garden you can make all the fleece all the kind of um the lovely curls in the wool with something like this braid it together twist it together it's gorgeous stuff isn't it it's absolutely beautiful a hundred meters in total it's 0 0.25 millimeters in gauge it's going to be the most fantastic price point i've never seen 0 0.25 millimeter gauge raw copper wire i've never ever seen it it's absolutely I gorgeous don't know stuff, if isn't I it? I have actually. No, it's it, it, it's it's so different, it's isn't it? It's so rare to actually get. Yeah. But it's <gasps> absolutely gorgeous. It's so smooth, isn't it? And again, Ooh. as you said, as a beginner, you don't have to worry about this at all. No, no it's got no kind of really plating, easy. nothing to worry about, kind of scratching off. The price, I mean, that <gasps> looks. Oh Ooh. my gosh, look at that! As a brace, I mean, just just kind of playing around with it. That's beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> you know, we've had. I love in, um, that. Oh, Ooh. oh, I need to make that. It's so um, beautiful. Ribbon cord ends. If mm. you get some big chunky ribbon cord ends and fold them over the ends, yeah, you can make yourself a bracelet Why really not? easily. The price on this is amazing. It's absolutely brilliant. And um, oh. you know, look that as a little ribbon as well as a little kind oh, of bow. I mean, beautiful. I'm literally just playing around with it, but it's it's just so different, isn't it? Making a really awesome bow to go on something. Six ninety five. It's just it's the most amazing price. You can use it as a wire, obviously. I mean, I like the look of it in this gorgeous yeah. kind of state, a statement bangle kind of look. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous. Just amazing. Use the texture. Use the fact that it feels so beautiful. It feels like hair. It's gorgeous. Come on, you have a no, also, have a, have a if you with um, that. It's really nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so silky. If you do make it into hair, then what you could do is patina it and then just take off like little sections to highlight. Oh wow, what so a lovely have idea! Black hair with um or dark brown, or so beautiful. Just flame. Yes. But oh, be careful with this because it would melt really quickly. Yes, yes, it will do. You, yeah, because it's yeah. very, very fine. Yeah. So it's only six ninety five. Fantastic. I've, I've never bought you zero point two five millimeter gauge raw copper wire um, um, on jewelry maker. I'm very, very pleased to be able to do that for you today. Well done, everyone. At six ninety five. Nice. I've got another. I've, I've got loads and loads and loads of people coming through for this. Well done, Julie, Veronica, Mary, Mary, another Mary, Susan, Sharon, Calexa, Pat, Shezzy. Well done to Sandra, Alexandra as well. Lots of multi bidders. Candy. Uh, well Ooh. done. I mean. Uh, 
your brand new to jewelry making don't worry about this being raw copper if it does if it does patina more than you want it to just get a bit of wire wool that you can get from your local hardware shop uh, and not the, fine, the really really coarse fine, fine um, grade uh, yeah the fine grade exactly yeah um I, I can't use it. It sets my teeth on edge. But, but I but, have to put um, like rubber gloves. I can't touch it. Rubber gloves sort Ooh. that out. Because yeah, I don't I like it does, touching yeah. it. But yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, use that, um, and it just and it, uh, just do it. Don't don't apply much pressure at all, and it'll just take off that patinaing. Or get your Renaissance wax, uh, which is available on our website. If it's not, then you can get it elsewhere. I'm sure, and it seals the metal. But you find that yeah. it won't oxidize. I, I would wait. If, you, if you're going to be putting something outside, if you're going to be making a piece of jewellery, I'd leave it about six months before you decide whether you want to put Renaissance wax on it. Because you or... can always clean it off yeah. to take it back to a yeah. high shine. And also you can um, you could use an acrylic type yacht varnish ah. and put a couple of layers of that on yeah, if you were... Okay if you were um, dead set on keeping it a shiny. Gorgeous. The next one I've got, I've got this one here. Is this raw copper as well? Mm. 1.2 mil. Oh gosh, so we've bought you 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 1 mil, 1 and a quarter, and 1 and a half. This is 0.1.2 That's mil. nice. Nice. That is lovely. Again, you know, these kind of structural pieces are, are just great. I mean, I've seen lots of different designs from these being brilliant um, kind of hammered uh, bangles, hammered talk style yeah. necklaces. But if you get some of your, if I grab one of those. If you get a large gemstone like this one here, there you go, and you pop it on the... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Carol! <laughs> Are you all right? There you go. <laughs> and, you get, and you get this on a, on a long piece like this. Turn a loop here, hammer the end here, so this can't yeah. come off the bottom then, and it gives you a lovely fluted yeah. kind of finish. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, this this wire is brilliant and and when you are actually working with it as well if you're hammering it um if you've got say you've got a 1.2 yeah you'd be able to actually spread the metal so that you then end up with almost um well it'd be a 2.4 width you and it will go really thin yes, as well so yes so it the, would the texture oh, and, and the way the metal will actually move mm. You know, it, it makes a real statement then. Yes, it does. Because you can go from the finer width. Yes. Um, and actually spread it so that you've then got thicker sections and textures. Yes, and absolutely. Everything in there. It's beautiful Brilliant. stuff, isn't it? I just love it. Price on this is amazing. It's three metres in total. Have a look at this. I, uh, you've got to just grab it. Oh. One ninety five. Just grab it. You've never had a go with wire before. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. Just get this. Yeah. Get this. Three meters, and, and it's one point two. Uh, sorry, one point two millimeters engaged. Don't worry. This is, excuse me, going to be too tough on your hands and too laborious on your hands. If you've really, no. really, really got dexterity issues, then you know, go for the lower. Uh, go for the lower um, uh, gauge ones. But honestly, I, I just don't think it's going to be a problem. I can just no. bend it with my hands. It's so simple and easy just to bend and just to form. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Bend it with my hands. Look at that. I can pick up a building with my bare hands. Uh, yeah. Oh, I bet Dwayne The Rock Johnson could uh, build a, pick up a building with his hands. Probably. He yeah. is so muscly. Mm. He's amazing, though. So he's filming at, at the minute for a... I, I don't know, some kind of film. And he is, um, <laughs> he's some kind of, he's in the UK. And oh. he, um, and he has this coach who's not just a coach who, who kind of trains him fitness wise, but they look at his body, they look at his body and they say, right, for the shoot tomorrow, you need to look like this. So he needs to eat something. He, he, he'll eat like two dozen peanut butter cookies to just put on a bit of, a bit of, I don't know, a bit of weight, I suppose. I don't know. And he has cheat days as well, where he'll have, um, he calls it a sushi train. His sushi train, which is like as long as a table, and he'll just eat sushi. But then, or, or pizzas, you know, you need to bulk up for tomorrow, so he eats loads of pizzas. But then he'll be unbelievably strict. But he's, he's amazing. He's just so dedicated. That can't be easy, can it, to no. do that? No, no, not at all. But he is, he... The way he looks, he is the, he is the, he is the, you know, he is the, the product, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's Amazing. the brand himself, he's the brand, isn't he? The he's brand. the brand. Right, yeah. speaking of the brand, oh, Ross, how you doing? He's back. Hey. Ross, the brand Murdoch. What are we doing now, lovely? 
Uh, oh, yes, show us how you do oh, the... Um, how to yeah. connect it up. So mm. um, once you've got your... I'm just sitting in rosary linking. Um, once you've got your, your jump rings, mm. the way I connected everything together was obviously you can connect um, rosary link to rosary link just by opening up the, the um, loop and popping the next bead on if you wanted to do it that way. But if you have chunky spacers or um, jump rings, pop some chain through, mm. um, short lengths, and then open up your loop. If you can find the right side, that one. And then just take both of those links mm -hmm. and pop it onto your rosary link. And that then connects. So that's all I did was random lengths of chain. Mm -hmm. Try and vary it so it's it's nice and almost disorganized mm. and layer it up. And then when you come to um, do the second layer, what I did was I made multiple strands and then just moved them or twisted them over, moved them around mm. just to see how they fitted best. How lovely. So it's... Um, I just think it's a lovely way of, of, of using that thicker gauge wire yeah. by twisting it and then making these big oversized jump rings. It just makes lovely it's a connectors. It's feature then, isn't it? It it's echoes really... the shape of the gem. It yeah. echoes, certainly echoes the shape as well in the gorgeous um, quartz as well, as the, um, the blue quartz. Just looks lovely. It looks really nice. A great thing to do with this really thick gauge yeah. um, raw copper wire. And it will, like I say, it will patina over time. That is going to look insanely good, that, that, that necklace. It's so lovely. And that's a great yeah. kind of thing to wear over your woolly jumpers as well. It is. Yeah, mm. it is. And it's, you'd think it'd be really heavy and uncomfortable, mm. but it isn't actually. And um, on the back, if I flip it round, let me just flip it round. So what I did on the back was I made sure you didn't have um, a, a bead clasp. sitting here. Yeah, it's got, oh, sorry, a bead. Uh, yeah, so it's got a clasp. It just hasn't got a bead right at the back um, to to sort of be uncomfortable. Yeah, to make it uncomfortable to kind of and, roll around yeah. on your neckline. Yeah. And, and don't put a bead too close to your toggle clasp, yeah. uh, the, the bar, because yeah. then you won't get it yeah. to, to fix. So yeah, just, good call. When you've got uh, gemstones this size, mm. you just need to think for a couple of different points. But That's great though, isn't it? Uh, How fantastic. Yeah. Gorgeous, lovely, um, lovely Deb. Really Thank nice. you, darling. Coming up at the end of the hour, we've got this. This is Morganite, brand new rondelles. They are stunning. 150 of this available. Ooh, nice. I have to say, that is some really good quality Morganite. That is coming your way um, in about half an hour's time. One to one at three o'clock. Is it here yet, Ross? Do we know? Oh, sorry. Is, 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 the, is the Mystic? Mystic clear quartz, mystic uh, rose quartz. Don't come here for about 3.45. One to own is this gorgeous br uh, brown stripe tag eight. That's I love nice. this. Oh, look at that one. Isn't it amazing? Super cool. That's coming up at... It's coming up at three o'clock. Beautiful, well done. So your gorgeous ovals, well done, beautiful. Okay, so I've got these round connectors here. They're sterling silver and they've been set with cubic zirconia. They are so sweet. Oh, pick one of them up. I've not seen these before. Oh, and they're connected together. Oh, I didn't know that. Are they, is that by mistake? Yes, it is by mistake. Let me pick this one up. There you go. Oh, they're very nice. They're really sweet, aren't they? They are. Again, just going back to that beautiful cup chain we bought you in the last hour, and I said, you know, it looks like a diamond tennis bracelet. You know, so does this. Mm. I mean, if you connected these together, it would look like a beautiful diamond um, um, tennis bracelet. We've just connected them. Oh, well, they've just literally connected themselves together in the, um, in the ah, little pot. That's come up uh, but you're getting five of them today. Mm. It's lovely, isn't it? And it, really you, nice. you could be, for, you would be forgiven for thinking that that is a gorgeous diamond, wouldn't you? Wow. Just beautiful. How many do you get? Ten. You get five in total. They're nine ninety-five. They're just so lovely. I definitely says be getting. Okay. Says ten. Oh, it is ten. And because on the recording it's ten. More. Oh, it is ten. Oh, well <clears> done, <throat> everyone. So you get ten of them in total. Ah. Oh, there's, one, there's one in the dish. We've not. Ah. Ah. I just thought that looks like a lot for five. <laughs> 
Is it the movement? No. Five's one of those numbers that you just see, don't you? You, can, yeah. you don't have to count it every yeah. one, two, three, four, five. You can just see it. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous. So you get ten, not five. Uh, they're really, really beautiful. And, 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 and Ooh, can I just say as well, the Kibixaconia. Yeah. Mm. And, and the Kibixaconia has been gem set as well. Yeah. It's not like it's just yeah. been pushed into a set. You know, it, 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 it's been properly gem set, which shows you how much we love our Kibixaconia and how much we cherish our Kibixaconia and how we know it's not a genuine gem. So we're not trying to say that it is, but you know, absolutely fantastic. Um, Give us, a, give us a call when you can or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. I want to get your text as well. Bad Christmas jokes. Bad Christmas puns. Cracker jokes. Ooh. All of the above. I'll give you one right now. Here we go. You've got a printout. Yeah. What athlete is the warmest in winter? A long jumper. Oh! Oh, who's Rudolph's favourite singer? Beyonce. <laughs> That's the worst joke ever, isn't it? Beyonce. Right, what are we doing now, Ross? Ross, Ross, Ross. I got him here. Silver oh. freshwater culture pearls. These are lovely. Oh, nice. They're nice colour, aren't they? They are, yeah. Dyed silver pearls. Really lovely. Can I just say as well, um, they're silver, but without being too metallic, it's quite mm. a soft kind of luster you're getting here. A bit of a blush purple kind of colour, Ross thinks. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. A bit of a lavender, a bit of lavender tone, Ross thinks there. <laughs> He's still on the very strong painkillers, just to let you know. Uh, oh, but yeah, okay. they are lovely. Can't say straight. Um, do you know when you're that ill when you're younger and you can't remember your name and you have those horrible feverish dreams and oh, gosh. Were you ever poorly like that as a child? Um, not. I used to have really strange, weird dreams. Me too. Anyway. Really weird All dreams. The, yeah. Like Salvador Dali inspired <clears throat> dreams. Like weird dreams about pressure and just kind of. Oh yeah, very odd. Yeah, I was chased by some um, like Chinese warrior with a sword in one of them. It was a recurring oh, no. dream. Oh no, that's horrible. Yeah. In my house. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, silver strange. pearls, here we go. Uh, so, yeah, um, six mil in size. They <clears> are <throat> lovely. Really delicate tone in here. They're just beautiful, aren't they? At £9.95, pence, hardly any of these available. Do add these to your order when you can. They're really lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. And, uh, and that kind of, uh, well, it's a classic pearl size, isn't it, this? And they're almost yeah, perfect nice. rounds, I have to say. I thought they were when you picked them up, yeah. I thought. Yeah, they've got a they, they've got a look of shell pearl, haven't they? They have, and it's because they're they're so smooth. Yes, and perfect looking, aren't they? Absolutely, I gorgeous. Like well done, everyone. Beautiful. Mm. Right, what are we doing now, lovely? Ethiopian <clears throat> opal. Here we go. Ethiopian opal rondelles. Oh, hello. We did some beautiful rounds earlier on today. Some Ethiopian opal rounds. Here's your gorgeous rondelles. I love the reds in here, Deb. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Opalescence is amazing, isn't this it? This section here is, yes. is incredible. It is, isn't it? It really is. Ooh. But it depends which angle, because you'll be seeing different ones, won't you? Today, yes, absolutely. Are... Oh, it is love. I like that one. That one's got lots of purple. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? This section here is quite nice as well. Yeah. What? Let's go where? I've never seen opal go <clears throat> under £10 before. 53 chances. Okay, if you want to see Ethiopian opal go under £10, I don't think it can be done. I dare you, Ross. <laughs> I double dare you. <clears throat> I triple dare you. I double dog dare you. Uh, it's going to take it under a tenner. I don't think I've ever seen Has anyone ever seen Ethiopian opal go under £10? I don't think I ever have. I oh, have now. Christmas time, mistletoe and wine, Ethiopian opal under ten pounds. Fill up your baskets and check out right now, cause we've only got fifty-three chances. La la. <laughs> nice ending. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Deb. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how was that singing compared to the Viking singing you <clears throat> went to see the other night? Oh, it was it was about the same. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Was it amazing? <laughs> it was really good. Was it? They had two stages and everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where was it held? This Viking Sheffield. event. Was it? Mm. How did you get up there? Did you drive or did you get a train? Or? Yeah, went up um, Leah 
drove. Fantastic. Oh, they're little angels. They they're came gorgeous. and collected me. Oh, they're lovely, aren't How they? How cute's that? Nine ninety five for your gorgeous Ethiopian opal. Mm. Amazing deal for you today. Well done. Gorgeous glassiness and to some of the purpley kind of jelly opals there as well, which is just lovely. I, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen Ethiopian opal go below ten pounds before. That is absolutely amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We've still got the one to one coming up in about twenty minutes' time. We're three forty five, so about an hour's time. We've got Mystic uh, rose quartz and Mystic clear quartz as well. We've got your second kit as well. There's a load yeah. coming up. It's that new. We're still waiting for it to arrive. Oh, Ross. That's Ross panicking <laughs> in the gallery there. It's so new. We're still waiting for it to arrive. Oh, no. Is it going to arrive? Is it? <clears throat> isn't it? It better do. What time do we need it for? 3.45. Oh, got a while. I could always go and get it. Go and get in my car and go and get it. I'll be like Liam, Liam Neeson. <laughs> I will find you. I will hunt you down and I will take you. Uh, there we go. So, uh, great. Great, 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 great. What's on your Christmas Ooh. list, Deborah? Lapis lazuli. I yeah. do like a bit of lapis. I love a bit of lapis. We had a really nice kit yesterday. Oh, that's nice. And that would be perfect for anyone who got that kit mm. because that was natural. Cabochons. I like that. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful little rounds. Four mil rounds of your natural lapis. Isn't that gorgeous? Such mm. a lovely size. These kind of strands... Oh, sorry, there's my gravy in the background. Sorry, I'll just <laughs> sit up a bit. Let's look, it's there. Hang on, it's there. <laughs> just feeding the dogs. <laughs> the old gravy. Oh, no. It was a lovely lunch, though. Um, uh, these kind of strands, they always seem to go very well. I think that people really see the versatility in a, in a four mil round. Don't yeah. you, Deb? Uh, it's, it's probably my favourite size gemstone. Really? Yeah. You wear a lot Four, of gems of that kind yeah. of, or a lot of sizes, that I've got, kind of. Um, three, I don't, yeah, three, four mil. Mm. I like it. I think yeah. it's, it's perfect because you can do something quite delicate with yeah. it if you just use a couple of them. Yeah. Or you can build it up and, and make something quite significant. So, yeah. and, and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so shiny as well, aren't they? They are, aren't they? They really, really are. And to I have like it them. naturally, you know, yeah. this is natural With lapis lazuli. Like. And I have to say, yeah. this is, you know, one of those gemstones. It's, it, it's more than a gemstone. It's a relic. It, it, it's taught mm -hmm. us so much about the world in which we live. It's taught us so much about ancient civilizations as well. This is a gemstone which was used as a form of currency for many, many years. And also so highly revered by the ancient Egyptians. You know, you're looking at something so unbelievably special here you know just to, to the world not just to us as a beautiful genuine gemstone mm. um price on this four pounds 95 pence i mean you you go back to ancient egypt and this gemstone was pretty much priceless in this kind of quality you know it's absolutely amazing that we can bring it to you if you're anywhere near um kind of 10 pounds you know 20 pounds let alone 4.95 it's it, it it's brilliant by all means by all means use your um use your um uh 30 day money back guarantee as well. Sorry, but, sorry, sorry, Ross, I got distracted then. What uh, was that? That was it. You know, Lapis Lazuli Light was really desirable, yes. Really expensive, yes. Only the best artists had it. Mary, Mary, of course, Mary's, um, Mary's kind of gowns were blue, weren't yes. they? <gasps> yeah. Apparently, that's why she's related to the colour blue, because it was an expensive colour to have. Was, <gasps> Ross, yeah. you are an encyclopedia of knowledge. I know lapis was what they used to dye and paint, but I hadn't made the connection between mm. Mary and, and Mary's beautiful uh, robes almost always being blue, but it was the most difficult colour to dye everything. Isn't that awesome? There you go. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Clear quartz, checkerboard cut. Rands. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Ooh, oh, no. Cool, wowza. Oh, my word. These are amazing. They're clear quartz. Clear quartz checkerboard cuts. Look at these. Sorry, Adam. Shuffling them out of the way. Oh, Be very helpful, no. am I? There's a whole... S there's your shirt in there. Look at that. That's absolutely superb. They're all checkerboard cut. Flat on the bottom. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I love these. You're getting five of these in total. They are 
gorgeous. Stop the fans, please. Da, 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 ding, da, 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 ding, da, 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 With what's his face? Richard O'Brien and um, Ed Tudor Pole. Isn't that his name as well, the other guy? Yeah, the other guy. It's amazing. What was your favourite world in uh, um, Crystal Maze? I liked medieval oh, world, Aztec, like... Aztec world. Yeah, well. that was good. Ocean, futuristic. Aztec. I don't remember that one. You don't remember Aztec? No, I remember, I remember Aztec. Ocean, yeah, futuristic. That was good. Futuristic. <gasps> don't remember. Shh, shh. Oh, it was amazing. It was a brilliant one. It was a very good one. And then medieval, wasn't it? Medieval, I think it was called, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And we were just going to see Mumsy. Do you remember that? Yes. Just, yeah. Some really rubbish, <laughs> rubbish fortune teller. Anyway, so four, uh, four yeah. ninety-five for your clear quartz. I mean, you could use this with your shibori. You can glue them onto... Glue them onto your backing fabric. You can use them with your, um, oh, goodness me, with your soutache. You, you can bezel around yeah. them with your seed beads. Use them with your serolin if you want to. They are lovely. I really like these. Well, prong set in those as well. Can you imagine a ring? Also, my my, um, my, um, my mum and dad have just come back from, they went to Amsterdam for a few days and, and, and mm. came back and they bought um, Hattie and Pippa some... Miffy things, which is really sweet. Oh, yeah. But I love Miffy, and, and they love yeah. Miffy too. And That's they also got them both a pencil. And on top of the pencil, there's a little crystal which oh, has just been yes. glued on the top. Yeah. And it's just such a simple idea, but it makes a pencil instantly appealing to a five-year-old. They're like, oh, it's got a gemstone mm. on top. Uh, so if you want to just glue these on top of pencils, why not? Go for it. Uh, right. Let's have a look at the Morganite. This is coming up in just a couple of seconds. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Gorgeous morganite coming up in just a couple of minutes. That is lovely. Such strong, strong colour on that morganite. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable strength in colour, actually. Really, really lovely. Um, tanzanite, yes. Oh, hello. 40 counts of tanzanite here. Hello there. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh. Now, that's a long strand of tanzanite, isn't it? It is, isn't it? 25 chances in the world. In the world. Can I hold that? Let me hold this out for you. Look. Uh, <clears throat> look at the length on that. It's a huge strand. 30 centimetre strand of tanzanite. I think I'm used to seeing our tanzanite in kind of 18 centimetre strands, and that's about it. Look at Adam panning along there. Good luck, Adam. You might have to stop for a coffee break. Honestly, it's so long. <laughs> look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? 40 mm. carats of tanzanite in total. <gasps> and it's all really beautiful. I wouldn't go as far to say it's definitely gem quality, but it's really great colour you're going to be yeah, getting it here. <gasps> it's a necklace. It's a necklace. It's a beautiful necklace. Oh, I'm, a, I'm the queen. Oh, look at that. With the gorgeous, um, uh, what should we call it? It's the... Um, uh, dogs. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, yes, with the dogs. Uh, no, um, with the um, magnetic clasps we did earlier oh. on. Nice. That would be absolutely perfect, wouldn't it? Or with these, oh, look at the little cubic zirconia spaces that we did. Oh, earrings. You could do little cubic zirconia mm. off the shepherd's hook and then absolutely. a tanzanite drop. Absolutely. That'd be pretty. £11.95. Pence. That's amazing. Get those texts sent through. We have any more Christmas texts in that, Ross? What? No Christmas jokes or puns? What's wrong with you? Get them sent in right now. Otherwise, I'm going to give you another joke. A bad, bad, bad joke. Hang on. What are we... Mm, Holly Davidson, we've had that. 25 days, we've had that. Bin lorry. Oh, here we go. How does Sloma get around? By riding an icicle. <laughs> Why was Cinderella no good at football? Because her coach was a pumpkin. <laughs> you going to see a panto this year, Deb? I'm not. No, I'm going to see I don't Aladdin. do stuff like that anymore because it's like Jake's off at uni and he's all grown up and it's like doesn't want to go You're to never a too panto. old to go to, to go to a panto. You're never too old. What are you going to see? Aladdin. 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 Mm -hmm. um, yeah, amazing. Can't wait to see that. Chipping Ooh. Norton Theatre. Very excited about that. Oh. Right, what are we doing now, love? Oh, Snowflake Obsidian. I think this is a strand we had the other day. Yeah, it is. I love this strand. It's like got a semi-matte. I was going to say, is it satin? Yeah, it looks kind of frosted yeah. almost, doesn't it? Look at this. Oh, I like that. 
it means you can see the the actual pattern of the the snowflake on there yeah with no interruptions yeah. no no um yeah, nice. Uh, you haven't got the, the gloss and the gleam on there. Yes, you don't so have the, the interference, do yeah. you, of, the, of, yeah. of, of, of what a, a highly... Look, if I show you this strand, yeah. ooh, this strand here, yeah. the luster on this is brilliant. It, I mean, uh, you do see the luster, though. You see the reflection in there much, much more than you do in yeah. here. Here, it's you know really quite matte. It's quite a... It's not frosted, but it's just a bit more matte. I love the fact it's graduated. I think it's one of the only strands of snowflake obsidian we've ever done that's been graduated. It's a long strand yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a very long strand. 44, 44 centimetres. That must be one of the longest strands of rounds we've ever done. Yeah. Very, very long indeed. Um, and it's graduated from 5 to 10 mil in size. Proper, proper graduation there. Price on this, again, it's going to be brilliant. It's under £10. It's under £10. All of them are natural. All of them are completely unique. I just love this graduation. I love the length on the strands. That's really nice. You've yeah. got gems in here suitable for every single piece of jewellery. It's completely unisex because had it been really, really high polished, yeah. I'd probably say maybe not for guys. Oh, well, it, it, it depends what your tastes are. But because it's got that semi kind of, um, as you said, as you mm. said, uh, beautifully put it a satin finish it it's completely unisex isn't it it is yeah gorgeous well yeah. done everyone it's a lot more restrained isn't it a, yes. a lot less yes sort of blingy yeah it's not trying too not hard no it's no. very comfortable yeah it's like um oh what's her face she's just divine um judy dench oh yeah she doesn't try too hard she's just uh, she knows she's good she's just herself and helen yeah. mirren yeah just national treasures, aren't they? They are. Then you get people who just try so hard. <laughs> there's no deodorant. Don't. There's no deodorant for desperation, is there? Hmm? That's what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> there's no deodorant for desperation. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's start by. It's time for the gorgeous Morganite. I'm annoying myself now, <laughs> telling myself to <laughs> shut up. Oh, dear me. What was I was singing to a song the other day, to a Christmas song, and my kids, and my kids started laughing. They said, what? I said, what are you laughing? They said, your, your voice, Mummy, your singing voice is so funny. <laughs> it's nice, isn't oh, it? That's what you need. Honesty from well, your I'm kids. I'm a lovely sing. OK. Had I not known... Let's get the scissors. Right, let's cut this strand. You are kidding me, Ross. Nips. You're kidding me. He says he doesn't do jokes. I can tell that. Oh. He's very serious. He's got his serious pants on today. Ross. <gasps> uh, let's have a little, let's play a Ooh. guess the gemstone price, shall we? Oh, no. Dan's going to hate me. You're never going to thread them back on. Well, yes, you will. Yes, you will. Oh, it's Paul Demers on floor. Oh, no. He's going to be ever so cross. So, I don't care. The colour, you have to see the colour. That is some of the strongest coloured Morganite I've ever seen in my life. Indoor feet, Paul. Come on, we're in a studio. <laughs> it's so beautiful, isn't it? The manganese inside this gemstone is what gives it its tremendously beautiful colour. Morganite is quite often a gemstone of compromise. If you have great clarity, you sometimes don't know your colour, and vice versa, you can have great colour but not much clarity. The colour on this is, I think, the best colour I've ever seen in a Morganite. It is more striking, it is more peach, it is more peach than any other Morganite I've ever seen. It is just, it's just, it is beyond belief. This, when we first started sourcing Morganite on Jewelry Maker, I'll be honest with you, it looked nothing like this. It was more grey. No. Much more grey. Had much more of the beryl. This is Brazilian Morganite. It's natural. Um, I'm not going to say it's from the Galilea mines. I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because um, it looks very much like Galilea mine Morganite. The colour is on another level, isn't it? it that, is. That's why I wanted yeah. to take it off the strand. Because the strand, the temporary strand is pink. But you can see it doesn't matter that it doesn't matter that that's pink because honestly that is not that is that is your true colour right there. It's it's on another level, isn't it, yeah. Deb? Yeah, 
It's very strong, really, and it's a distinctive pink as well, it is. isn't it's it? It's a peachy it's pink. Peachy pink, and oh, for and say. There you go. Do you know? I love the shape of these because they they're smoothed off, so mm. they're quite gentle yeah. in terms of again the the visual. I can imagine these being used as stamen on wirework flowers oh, or something. Ooh, you know, something like that. I think a delicate design that shows yeah. off the shape, yeah. that shows off the size. I, I mean, use them however you like. I would want to use them face on as buttons because, yeah. or make a bubble ring or something because the, you des these gemstones are Im immaculately coloured. They deserve, you have to use, you have to use the face of the gem. Can mm. I just say, 1995 is great. <laughs> When we first got Morganite in, it was kind of 60, 70, 80 yeah. quid ago. This is 20 pounds. And we're not done. Honestly, I honestly, I cannot believe what we're showing. And that is just half the strand. Here's the other half of the <laughs> strand. Have a look at this. We're at 19.95. It's absolutely tremendous. We are not done at 19 pounds 95 pence. I've got a lot of interest there from people who I think probably thought this was going to end at about 34.95, maybe 39.95, maybe as low as 29.95. But we're at 19.95 and we're not done. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Have you ever seen Morganite of this quality go to 14? Nice. 95 even better even more amazing i've got i've emptied them all out into the strands uh, sorry into the desk here it's only half the strands you've got so many i've got two uh four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty thirty two thirty four thirty six thirty eight forty there's there's about eighty on the strands and it's pristine and it's fourteen pounds mm. ninety five pence that is amazing how would you feel if I was to say to you today, fourteen ninety five is not your price? I have about 150 of these available. I want them all to go. I've got a load of these going. I've got a load of these going. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a minute to prepare yourselves, okay? Have you got the call screen there, um, uh, Ross? So um, I, I, we're gonna give you a minute, okay? You need to use that minute wisely to get on the phones. You need to use that minute wisely to put it in your basket because it's not your price today. 14.95 is absolutely superb and I know we can all appreciate that. It's unbelievable mm. quality. Never, never seen before color. Use your minute wisely, it starts now. Get on the phones now, we're gonna take it lower than 14.95. Already got people coming through, already got people putting it in their baskets. Check out when you can. It's a brand new strand today, never been bought to air before. Brand, 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 brand new. I've already got um, lots of people through. Now don't forget, coming up in about mm, 45 minutes time, I've got the multi, sorry, I've got the, I've got the mystic rose quartz, I've got the mystic clear quartz, okay? These are going to oh, go beautifully that with that. Be you lovely. know it's going to happen. I don't have them in the studio, unfortunately, to show them off to you. But you know that these are going to go with them, okay? So just please do bear that in mind. I've never seen Morganite of this kind of colour go anywhere near fourteen ninety five. Okay, 20 seconds and the graphic's going to be low. How much do you reckon we're going to take this to per carat? Where are we at the minute? We're at how much per carat? 60 pence a carat at the minute. We're at 60 pence a carat at the minute. How do you fancy paying less? A lot less. How do you fancy paying less than 50 pence a carrot? It's going to happen. Here's your incredible deal. It's amazing. Loads of you there. Check your baskets out. You need to do this now because it's going to go. I've got... Th oh, oh, the bars! The oh. bars! The bars! Oh! 11 95 <laughs> <laughs> Not the bars! Never bring the bars live! <laughs> Never bring the bars live! People think we've been taken off I air. I thought we'd got there. Yeah. <laughs> the girl with the paint easel and the uh, playing uh, noughts and crosses with the clown. Oh. 47p a carrot. 47p a carrot. Wow. For Morganite of this kind of color, of this kind I of caliber. Like that with it. Like that. Like there that. There you go. I yeah, would. do a bit of rosary linkage. Rosary link, because then with that She's sterling right. silver. Yeah. Because then you can see all the way around oh the Morganite. Oh my God, there's loads of you coming the through. Gemstone. Yeah. That's what you It'd want, isn't perfect. it? Yeah. Yeah. You are going to set yeah. them side on. That's how you want to do yeah. it. Yeah, because you can see. Yeah, you can see them from all angles. They're going to glow. Yeah. But that colour, 
is well worth looking at off the strand, isn't it? Because oh, it just definitely. shows you that you're not losing anything by taking it off the strand. It's absolutely amazing. Well done. Mm. Just the most amazing deal. Collector, Lynn, Rhea, Mandy, Collector, Sheila, Alison, Carol, Lynn, Catherine, Collector, jo oh my word, there's loads of you coming through. Well done. Just incredible. Um, we've got the one to one coming up, which of course is your brown striped agate puffy ovals. That would ovals. look really pretty with this. It would, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. I really like yeah, that idea. Yeah, really nice. <whistles> oh yeah. Well done. One to one's coming up, and hopefully in about 45 minutes we've got the mystic uh, rose quartz and the mystic clear quartz. Okay. Don't go anywhere, loads coming up in the next hour. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewellery Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage.
Sorry. Just finished off my lunch. Where's my one to own gone? Paul the Mears. Oh, he's got efficient. He went. He's gone to make tea now, has he? My one to own, lovely. Brown banded agate ovals, lovely. So welcome back. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look at that! Oh. Magicked out of thin air. You've just been. You're just very. <laughs> does have a gravy tone to it. That's my top. Thanks, love. <laughs> Uh, no messing around, thank you. This is live television. Paul Demiers! Thank oh. you. That was stern. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Stodo. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry. Oh! Mamma mia! I really hope I remember to put Hattie down for after school club today. If not, she's going to be waiting <laughs> in the playground. Sure. Oh, Polly. Oh, oh, She'll be there. With a book bag and a pump bag, all kind of like a little woolly hat and Aww. little waiting, looking for me. Sorry, she loves going to tea. Going to tea basically involves lying on a bean bag and being given sandwiches. Uh. Watching Fireman Sam whilst lying on a bean bag. <laughs> oh, I fancy yeah. going as well. <laughs> Love it. Or oh, she does craft, crafting, and does lots of cool stuff like that. Nice. She'll be fine. I th yeah, I did put her down for tea. I think I did. Oh, anyway. Uh, right, so, um, uh, brown banded agate um, uh, ovals. Yes, we bought you lots of agate recently. Um, I have to say, though, I love it because it means that we can bring you a very, very large gemstone, a big impact, and we can bring it to you for a cheap as chips price. Now, this is the ultimate strand of pendants, isn't it? It is, yeah. That is a pendant is. right there. That is a pendant, and I don't want to. I don't want to confuse my mind with any. Oh, see, and see now I've spotted another one. That one there. How much would you pay for that? As a pendant in a shop, maybe with a bezel setting of um, seed beads. Fifteen, twenty pounds, maybe just for that one there. In a ring, can you imagine that? In a yeah. ring, Deb, that's, that would look absolutely can. incredible. Mm. They're just so beautiful, aren't they? I mean, by all means, use them all in one go. You know, use them in a lovely knotted neckline piece. They'll look gorgeous. You're getting on the strand approximately two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, okay? If you wear it as a necklace, it's a big statement, okay? And you might want to make that big statement. You might not want to. If you do, then absolutely fine. That looks great, doesn't it? Just great. Really, really lovely uh, beads. Really um, striking. Loads of drama. Loads of impact. Absolutely fantastic. I, th I think I'd knot in between them. I'd use yeah, multiple strands of Eslon. Yeah, you just space them out slightly. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise they won't go around your neck properly because no. they're so big. It'll It'd be, be more a bit... flexible. Yes. Or you could, could um, put them onto, like... A coloured Eslon thread. Definitely. And let that show in little sections. Oh, definitely, which yeah. Gorgeous. With a bright kind of contrasting yeah. colour of Eslon. How many of these do we have, did you say, Ross? 50, is that it? Gee whiz, the one to own? Only for 50 of you? Should call it, should give it another name? The one, one to own. One to own if you're lucky. The one to own if you're lucky? Yeah. One to own if you're quick enough. If you're well, I tell you what, Carolyn Perth and Kim Ross, she's like a rat up a drain pipe. She's taken two already. <laughs> em in Angus, you're there as well. Well done, darling. I've got a few bidders on the phone lines as well. Fantastic. Um, 450 carats. That is a big carat weight, isn't it? That's a big old carat weight you're going to be getting there. Gorgeous, gorgeous tones. Is there something a little bit animal printy about this as well? Yeah. If you're not the kind of person who likes to wear animal print... Then this is perfect. I never thought I was until I bought a leopard print cat suit the other week. Really? That's all. I was in. like, that is. leopard print. I That's thought leopard like... print, leopard print. Oh no, I'll just, I'll just wear a leopard print scarf. Oh no. No. A cat suit. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you're gonna do it, go all out. That's what I say. I might wear it to the party. Woo! Yeah. Just turn up. And everyone's <laughs> like, who's that woman? Who's that? Who's Bet Lynch over there? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Here we go. So, yeah, 50 of these available. Jennifer, well done. She was well, darling. £21.95. pence. Can't remember how many I counted on there. Sorry. How many was I, I, it? I, it's 18. Gone out of my head no, now. With the, oh, with gee, the cats. It was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. 
It was good oh. for all of us then if everyone's forgotten. Gee whiz. <laughs> 168 each? That's amazing, isn't it? That's absolutely incredible. It's the one to one. I've got more people coming through now. That's great to see. Well done. Love these colours. Which one do you I think that one's my favourite. This I, one here. I like the one that's got the really close the one you showed earlier. That These was ones. nice. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I do like that That's one. a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. But guess what but Ross wants to do? He wants to go under 20. Oh. How much? It's going to take a fiver off. Go on, that was called a day. A day, Ross. Do it. Do it, Ross. I dare you. Here we go, all the way down. He's going to take a big chunk of money off that. Well done, Sarah Denise. Well done to you as well. More people coming through. Don't know what that voice is about. I'm really sorry. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Sorry, does it freak you out a bit, Emma? Sorry, love. Emma's got a very delicate disposition. She really has. <laughs> Little flower. Um, 16.95. That's £1.30 each. Did you work that out in your head, uh, Ross? Use a calculator. Use the adding machine. 30, who? 36 what? 34.6 carats per gemstone. <laughs> That's amazing. Awesome. Thanks, oh, right. He's blinding me with maths here, everyone. So many That's numbers. amazing. Each stone averaging over 30 carats. That's absolutely amazing. It's huge, isn't it? It's really? huge. It's absolutely yeah. gigantic. In a watch face bracelet, that's absolutely amazing. In a gorgeous ring, oh, that way round, I'd want to wear that. That way yeah, round. Yeah. God, my ridiculously long fingers. I like claws, aren't they? Mm. Uh, yeah, you've got yeah. oh, the, pianist, pianist fingers, aren't they? That's what they um, <laughs> look like uh, a goldfish. Piano player's hands. I think that's what they're called rather than. Oh, gosh, that's ever so wrong, isn't it? Janet, <laughs> the tickle is a man. <laughs> Sarah Verner. Gee whiz, it's a good job we know each other, isn't it, eh? <laughs> it's a good job we know each other. Oof. Oh, dear me. Mind you, I got a funny look yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I was with Pippi. And um, she's just so gorgeous, and I love her. And she was doing this really funny little laugh, and it was making me laugh. So I, and it was when I pretended to eat her hand, I was going, oh, no, 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 no. And, and so she was laughing. And I realised there was this woman going, who thought, I think, that I was trying to eat my child. I'm not trying to eat her, I'm just playing with her. This kind of disgusted look. <laughs> you eat your child? You How don't disgusting. know where it's been. Oh, no. Yes, I do. <laughs> that finger's been firmly up her nose for the last half an hour. <laughs> You look in your rear view mirror, she's just there looking out the window. <laughs> Learn behaviour. Uh, <laughs> right, where are we going now, lovely? <laughs> you keep promising me this, Ross, but I'm not seeing it. The old mystic coated uh, clear and rose quartz. It's got half an hour still before it's like. Yeah, well, I hope late. they're getting a chop chop on. Mm. Chop, Have you chop. seen it yet, Paul? No. Oh, Paul. He's sitting out the back there. Pearl just coated calcedony, like... that's a beauty. Pearl coated calcedony. Oh, yes, let's do that. Producing from the floor, he's thinking to himself. Oh, I like this. I love this strand. Yeah. This is a classic case of where coating works. Yeah. Sometimes coating does work, it doesn't work. You know when you see those photos of, of, um, of contouring gone wrong? Uh, it's like when I try and do contouring, it looks like I've got a. What do you call it? Six o'clock shadow. I look like <laughs> desperate Dan. <laughs> just look utterly awful. <laughs> you can't go for that kind of look, and he just looked like you've got a beard. It's, it's so bad. You, you're using a stencil. <laughs> and just like a stencil it on. stubble brush. But this is when you've got coating which actually works. And when you've got contouring that works, it looks divine, doesn't it? And um, <laughs> this is where coating really does work. It doesn't look overly, it doesn't look overly synthetic. It looks really lovely. It's called a pearl coating and I love it. It's got a slight metallic edge to it and Carl certainly yeah. will take this beautifully because of course it's got that very consistent translucency all the way through it. It's just lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Here we go, all the way down everyone. Let's take that price point down for you, give you a great deal. 9.95 under a tenner. Ross, you do realize that the under 10 pound hour was in the one o'clock hour. He's just, he's just carrying on with it, isn't he? He just doesn't <laughs> care. He just doesn't, he's just <clears> carrying <throat> on like a bull in a china shop. What star sign are you, Ross? You're a Pisces, Yay! are you really? Yeah, I'm a Pisces. You're a Pisces as well. Yeah. 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 
Me and my me and my husband are both Tauruses, and um, we and two of our best mates they're both Tauruses as well. So literally, we were sitting around the table the other night. <laughs> it's a table of balls, uh, <laughs> just like <laughs> just, <laughs> all very very stubborn, all yeah. stubborn, uh, but all very lovely. I think I don't know. I don't know what the different attributes of different star signs are. To be honest, no, I forget half of them. What are you, no. Emma? Libra. 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 It's nice. Balanced. It's quite measured, oh. quite balanced, yeah. <laughs> it's like... My I'll five year old's a Leo. She's very, in. very Leo. She's very, very Leo. Very concerned with her with her hair. And, although she looks like worse on gummish most of the time. <laughs> but very concerned with her curly hair and very, very much a Leo. And Pippa's a typical Gemini, complete split personality. Uh, Woo! Anyway, so 9 95 for your gorgeous pearl coated Cal Certainly lovely. Okie dokie. Let's do blue quartzite. Emma! Here we go, Emma. This, it, it, it's your oh. time to shine. Do we have time for this? No. Of course we do. <laughs> yes, of course Yay. we do. Oh, that was a very enthusiastic kick without warming up. You almost hit the desk. Yeah, do your lunges, for goodness sake, before you do kicks like that. <laughs> Blue quarter playing rounds. You're not on a double today, are you? You're just covering a break? Uh, yes. Oh, there you go. Uh, anyway, lovely sky blue. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Uh, four mil rounds. <laughs> These would go beautifully with the lapis four mil rounds we had in the last hour. They go really nicely with the brown stripe agate. Debraj, oh. Debraj, she's so yeah. amazing. She's so amazing. Oh. Look, that's all right, Emma. That was, that was oh. blue quartzite. It's all right, don't worry, love. Don't worry, darling. It's all right, darling. <laughs> uh, that's nice. That kind of mint choc chip kind of combo, isn't it? Yeah. What? No, it's, a, it's kind of like a greeny blue. Oh, all right then. No? <laughs> Fine, all right, it's a bluey blue, blue then. Fine, all right. Bluey blue. <laughs> like a turquoise blue. Oh, I think, I think you're getting over tired now. I'm not getting over tired. <laughs> I'm not tired! <laughs> 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 Not Are you all right in there? <laughs> <laughs> Have you fallen? <laughs> oh dear me. Right, Christmas jokes, everyone. If you haven't sent in a Christmas joke or a Christmas... What do you mean it's dried up on the messages? Don't give me that, Ross. You start texting in the show. <laughs> OK, well, what does a football team do with the, when the pitch is flooded? Bring on the subs. Uh... <laughs> I've almost oh. run out of... Uh, why does your nose get tired in winter? It runs all day. Oh! <laughs> I'll be here all week. Try the veal. <laughs> no, I'm only here till six. Thank goodness for that. I think there'd be people with pitchforks outside if I stayed any longer. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Right. Lavender Opal. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say that. This is an absolute beauty. Yes, so do I. I love Lavender Opal. This is a coated opal. Um, go beautifully with your kit in the last hour, Deb, wouldn't it? It would. Oh, look Ooh, at that. Yeah, because you've got the texture. The yeah, it does, doesn't yeah. it? It's, it's, it's got a funny texture. It's almost a texture yeah. of... Um, uh, coral. Coral. Fossil coral. It's exactly yeah. what it is, yeah. yeah. Almost like a little bit of a porous kind of texture. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It is. Lavender Opal graduated plain, eight to ten mil rounds. Um, lovely size, lovely shape. Don't you love these colours as well? Pink through to purples. It's just lovely, isn't it? Some of these are really... Ooh. Oh, look at this one as well, which is purple, and then it's got a little pink bit. It would be nice with that um, silver pearl that we had earlier. Yes. They look really pretty. That's oh, nice. yeah. Look, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Ah, oh, it's like little sweeties. They do look like sweets, don't yeah, they? Yeah, like palm of violet colour, aren't mm, they? Yes, they are. Delicious. And, Ooh, and, no. and as you said, really nice with those silver pearls we had earlier on. They yeah. work beautifully well. Um, and of course, with the magnetic clasps that we had. Oh. Or the yellow gold coloured magnetic Which... clasps that we bought you in the first hour. A uh, pack of eight of those for, I can't remember how much they were. They were just silly, silly prices. Far, no, uh, how much were they? They were £5.55. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so fantastic. Um, get, get involved when you can do. Opal's a really, really lovely gem, and I love this colour. Against the skin, it looks really lovely. It gives you a lovely, does, healthy yeah. glow, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, 
it's just really restrained and mm. it's, it is really pretty. Oh, it's nice Be just like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Mm. With the, um, the crackle quartz, though, it would oh. look amazing because the crattle... That's easy for you to say. Crattle. Cra crattle, Interesting yeah. word. <laughs> Just put extra letters in there. Uh, the, crackle, <laughs> the crackle quartz would pick up the colour from the lavender opal. Oof. Was it worth it? No. I don't know if it was. I kind of lost the will to live then. <laughs> oh, Deb, I love you. I completely uh, lost the will to live then. I started uh, thinking about other stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's only 12.95. I'd get it if I were you. Uh, Oh, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Get involved, everyone. Superb <laughs> deals for you today. <laughs> oh, dear me. That! Come on, Chucky, what are we doing now? Oh, yes! Yes, sir! Chandelier earring findings. Oh, these are really pretty. The thing I love about earrings like this, you can do a number of things with them. You can leave them as is. And as is is really lovely. Or... You can dangle things from them. Hang on, that one's a bit bent. That's better. There you go. Ooh. Because of the way that they're made, so they've got these lovely cutouts, you can hang gemstones from them, hang seed beads from them. Oh, hang on, what have I done there? <laughs> oh, no. Hang on. <coughs> well, sterling silver, so it's very pliable. <clears throat> hang on. Does that look better? No, not really. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rai Rai. Thanks, darling. <laughs> But you can hang gemstones or sea beads in them uh, from those little cutouts, can't you? Yeah. Um, um, or, Sticking you know, just leave them as is. It's a lovely little dangle you're getting from these, isn't it? They're Ooh, so sweet. Those um, uh, little spaces, connectors with the CZs in. Oh, yes, now that's a really nice idea. nicely with those. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would give yeah. you a lovely um, articulated look on the, yeah, on the bottom, on the obviously, because it would be a lovely kind of hinged movement that you get on here. But all of those little cutouts, use them. You've got the, the eyes of an owl there, haven't you? Going, yeah. Ooh. I'm just thinking it's a bit ladybird-like. Oh, it is a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. What can you see here, Adam? Uh, like a Fijian tattoo. A Fijian tattoo. That's exactly what I was just oh. thinking. Someone going, Ooh. <laughs> Look, there's his mouth. Oh, Look yes, at the bottom yes, there. Yes. He's got two little... Oh. He's got a curly moustache. And those say, are his eyes. Yeah. Like the, the soldier out the nutcracker suite. Yeah. Like a tree. Oh, gee whiz, what can you see? It's like those ink patterns, isn't it? Depending on what you see, depends <laughs> yeah. on what kind of a person you are. <laughs> I see. I don't know. Yeah, I see it. I, I see like a Fijian, yeah, warrior. Yeah. Super cool. 9.95. See whatever you like. See whatever you like. Gorgeous. Say, say what you see. I was just about to say that, Ryan. See what you see. Where's Mr. Chips? Oh, Mr. Chips. So we've discovered that Roy Castle, sorry, not Roy Castle, Roy Walker is still, is still alive, isn't he? Which is brilliant. Very excited about that. But he doesn't do catchphrase anymore. He's really relieved about that, actually, you know. He was so great, though, wasn't he, on yeah, catchphrase? Yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone else is... Is, um, Who did? Anyway. I think he went grey quite young in life. I don't think he was as old as he necessarily looked with his lovely grey hair. What, um, ha, who was it? What was it? Boy, <laughs> where did you get that name from? <laughs> Who's um, the guy from Blockbuster? Bob, oh, Bob, Bob, Bob Holness. Yeah. There you go. And Jim Bowen was off uh, Bullseye. <gasps> Jim Bowen. <gasps> He's brilliant, isn't he? And who was the guy who used to call the, call the things? Gobble do. What was his name? No, the guy who used to stand the by the what? dartboard. Twenty. One hundred and eighty. Do you not know? I don't. I can't oh, his I name. never used to watch I can't that. His name. No. Never used to watch Bullseye. She no. Is. <gasps> no. I used to love it. Multicolour <laughs> beryl plain rounds. Oh, now this, Deb, with your kit in the last hour. Yes. Yes. That is going to yes. make the opal look even brighter and the opal in itself is going to make this look really... Uh, his name was Tony. There you go. It's going to make the um, uh, beautiful barrel look uh -huh. really beautiful and pastel -y. There's some lovely bicoloured ones in here, aren't there? There's um, some really strong colours, aren't there, Yeah, actually? there are. Yeah. And you normally would expect to get just one colour going through each one of these beads. But in actual fact, there's quite a few little so bicoloured ones. Yeah. In the kind of Heliodor um, um, emerald ones, aren't there? Yeah. 
the, that lovely one little there tones. with the um, it was aquamarine and heliodor. Oh, at was the front it? As it was spinning round. Oh, yeah. how gorgeous! Yeah, they're really, really sweet. Uh, these gemstones, so beautiful in colour. Oh yes, look. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's gorgeous. How fantastic! Um, really useful size again. Eight mils. I mean, we did. We've done a big showcase today. We spent an hour in the ten o'clock hour doing a big agate showcase, and the strands that sold the quickest with the six and the eight mils. The six and the eight mils are sold quickest because I think a lot of people look at them and think, ah, oh, yes, they are unbelievably versatile. You know, I can use yeah. those in a number of different pieces, not just for a statement pendant or ring. Um, you know, I can use them in lots of different pieces. I, I yeah. agree. I mean, I love my six and eight mil rounds. Great um, for a little stretchy bracelet, but also fantastic for um, um, earrings as well. You've got a wealth of opportunities with eight mil rounds. You really do six and eight mils. Look at the size of that. Look at the colour in that gorgeous aquamarine. Fourteen pounds ninety-five pence. When we first started to get these in, which was about it's been about five years ago, maybe even over that. Maybe close to six six years ago, or even maybe even close to no, it's probably about six years ago. These were um, these gorgeous um, uh, barrels would have been closer to kind of twenty thirty pounds. Yeah. You know, and you're getting them for fourteen ninety five, which is amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Okay, I've got these connectors. Oh wow, Quebec Ciconia connectors. Now I don't know about you. Is your is your Facebook feed littered with um, lots of um, kind of jewelry brands? You might not have visited their website before, but it kind of Facebook's very good at picking up on keywords and things like that, you know, the kind of, or, or, or the kind of photos that you put on there. And if it's a lot of jewellery, then you'll find that the sponsored kind of links that you get will be, I mean, it's very clever, isn't it? It's all about algorithms, but it'll all be about, you know, jewellery. And so mine is littered with loads and loads of jewellery, whether it's, um, oh, who's that guy? Alex, uh, Alistair, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Anyway, who does the bee designs? Who does the bee design? The bee designs in jewellery. What's his name? Oh. Ad, uh, Alexander or Alistair, somebody or other. I can't remember who it is. Anyway, but I've got loads of Monica Veneda posts coming up on my, on my feed at the minute. Um, and Theo Fennell as well. You know, big, 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 big names. And um, um, beautiful uh, Lila Rose as well. This kind of design is everywhere. Look, that in a ring. I would love that in a ring, wouldn't you? Yes. With some sterling yep. silver wire. Yep. Just Perfect. on its own. That looks so designer. Yeah. Either there or even as a it midi ring down here. Midi rings are yeah. really, really in as well. So, um, so in fashion. Yeah. Um, love this kind of quality. With sterling silver wire, that would be beautiful. With twisted sterling silver wire, the same technique which Deb did earlier on today. Um, absolutely beautiful. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They are lovely, so, um, those. Really uh, generous amount of sterling silver in here. Really generous amount of sterling silver. You're getting three of these in total. Nine by 14 mil in size. Oh my gosh, Ooh. Paul Demiers. <gasps> Look at those stitch of gemstones. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hand fire, I'll show you them in a second. <gasps> oh! Um, hello, love, you're right. <laughs> Amazing price coming your way. All three of these, I mean, connected together in a little bracelet, that's going to look really sweet, isn't it? Yeah, with the little um, CZ connectors that we had, the smaller yes. ones. Because, of course, they had the Bixiconia in as well, they and had, so is yeah. these. Use them together, that's they, a really nice idea. Really, yeah, absolutely perfect together. Only, uh, personally, I would only use this with sterling silver. You know, get some sterling silver jump rings, connect them together with the little yeah. CZ connectors we had in the last hour. Um, because you got 10, didn't you, in the last hour? Yes, I can't you did. how many you got, but you got 10, 10 didn't you? Yeah. Um, they are so beautiful. Uh, it was, you yeah, know, 10 in the last yeah. half for 9.95. So all 10 of those with these as well. You can make the most beautiful bracelet. And so inexpensive to do that. Yes. And it could be something for sale in Links of London, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done to everyone coming through to get this. Um, let me just see if I can find uh, jewellery design. Alex Monroe. Alex Monroe. There yeah. you are. Just came into my head. Alex Munro, there you are. Yeah, it's the B design. Yeah, Alex Munro. Beautiful design. Is it a man? Is it is it a lady? Who's Alex Munro there? Oh gosh, I thought oh, Alex Munro was a right. man. Maybe it's a lady. I don't know. But it's beautiful. That I just love. I love these kind of designs. But they are everywhere at the minute on your Facebook feed, on yes, your Instagram feed, yeah. without even kind of thinking about it. And it's, you know, we're all um, we're all very susceptible to things like that. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um. Oh my word. 
I don't quite know what to say about these. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> Mystic clear quartz. You've never seen anything like this in your life. You can see the colour from there, look. Oh my word. That is the Aurora Borealis in a strand of gemstones. I am in love. I love the shape and the fact that they're rough. Oh, Lord. Do you know what we're going to do? Um, we're going to put them on pre-order. The price you, that you're, excuse me, going to see on the website is, 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 is not the price they're going to go to, okay? So, but they're on pre-order. So can you show us, okay, we, we're kind of umming and ahhing whether to play them this hour or hold them until the next hour. I don't know when we're going to play these, but if, if you want these, can you get these on pre-order so we know that you're interested and then we'll play them either this hour or next hour. Rose quartz. Oh my gosh, this is lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my word! Oh <laughs> goodness me! <gasps> wow! That is incredible. Like I, 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 that is that is beyond amazing, isn't it, Teb? Yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting here cool. with my mouth open. Like me too. Fish. I've never seen anything like this in my life. They're unbelievable. They're so beautiful. What would you do with them? What are your instant kind of thoughts? I would. Cool. You know, I'd like Gee to make one whiz. into a ring. Oh, definitely a ring. Yeah. You can it's see the like kind of the chisel marks on them. Can you? Oh, they're so cool. They, I love them. they are reminding me of um, a glacier because of the texture of them. Yeah. And, and the way the light is, is just like the sometimes when it's snowing. Earlier on this year, we had a bit of snow. Yeah. Back and, in March, um, we had a load of snow. Um... And when the sun was shining, there were little rainbows almost coming down through the sky. And it's reminded me of that as well. How with beautiful. With all those colours. That, Gorgeous. That is an amazing Aren't they amazing? Strand. Yeah. They're just... Yeah. They're both, both so of them. beautiful. I both don't know of how them. you choose. I couldn't. The, I, honestly, the size of these is amazing. Gorgeous quality. Ooh. That's so beautiful. They're just so beautiful. I think... Do you know what? I'm going to be showing... Do you know what? I've got, I've got big quantities of all of these. I reckon all of these can go on today's show. I don't want to play them in 15 minutes. I don't want to play them in 15 minutes because I'm thinking, Deb, of all the people like me who get oh, home three. at four o'clock yeah, yeah, from the, the doing long. the school run. Yeah. I tell you what, we're going to play these at about five o'clock, okay? I've got, I've got already people coming through on, on, on pre-orders. You're safe, you're fantastic. But I've got 250 of each one of these, okay? Honestly, these are epic. They are brand new. They arrived in the country, not even in the building. They arrived in the country this morning. Um, they arrived in the building about seven minutes ago. Okay. This morning when I came in and I asked for a big opportunity, a, a really, really big opportunity, I was told, sorry, unless something lands today. Um, yeah. But th wow. Wow. Brand new, never seen before. Don't you dare. What are you doing? You're going to take, you, what do you do? You take, you, you make a recording. You're going to go make jewelry with them. Yeah. <laughs> going to go and take a recording <laughs> of them. <laughs> Five o'clock, okay. I know. We better see those again, Paul Demers. Don't go selling them to anyone. They're don't go mine. giving them to anyone. They're Definitely mine. don't give them to Jan Dwyer. Right. She, or she'll be gone. She'll be She's long gone. gone. Yeah. She'll be long gone. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, can't wait. Very excited. That's my excited noise. Ah, oh. and not my kids. Chocolate cake, <laughs> cake, <laughs> chips. 
I said to Hattie, as I said to Pippi yesterday, do you fancy sausages for dinner? Sausages! <laughs> she just literally, they lose their minds. Ooh, do you want to watch Tully Tully? And it's just kind of this shaking. <laughs> It's like the minute I get home tonight, John's going to say, Carol, do you fancy a gin and tonic? Gin! And it's just, <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh. Yes, I do. Here we go. Rose gold plated sterling silver shepherd hooks. Oh, my word. So, Deb, we could get an eye pin, yes. make it into a, an earring shape. Yes. And that's Charlotte. It is. But we haven't done that. No. This earring finding, you've got one component with a little loopy on the bottom. Two components because of the spring, three components with the bead. That means these have had to be put together. Someone's had to assemble them. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's not as simple as it's putting, a putting it, one person putting a piece of wire into a, into a machine and boom, done. Yeah. This has had to have been, uh, someone's had to put this together. Someone's had to assemble this. That means that these will be a lot more, I don't like using this word, but they will be a lot more expensive to make. Yep. They'll be less cost effective to make, but it gives you a much better finish, gives you a much yeah. more professional finish, gives you the kind of finish that professionals will use, that boutiques will use, that when you buy jewellery from your high street jewellers, um, if you ever um, feel the need to do that, then yes, they will have earring finding, they will use earring findings like this. Um, I personally, it's something I feel quite strongly about, particularly when it's a pair of earrings where you don't really see uh, well, obviously you'll have something hanging from the bottom, but this is, but this is, um, you know, this is it. You're not going to disguise this part of the earring finding within anything else. You'd be silly to do that because it won't work. Um, so it's really important that it looks as finished and as polished and as professional as possible. And it's rose gold plated sterling silver. That's all precious metal you're going to be getting there. Already collected in the West Midlands, Debbie, Kathy, uh, Deborah, Linda. <laughs> I don't know why I always say and I'm like, Kathy, Candy, Jackie. Uh, loads of people coming through already to get these. Um, at £7.95. pence, And, you know, we quite often say this, Deb. I mean, this is working out to 80 pence a pair. Yeah. We quite often say this, to be able to have access to a deal where you can buy a pair of these earring findings for 80 pence a pair, normally you'd probably have to buy about 100 to 500 pairs yeah. to, get 80, to achieve 80 pence a pair. You only have to buy 10 pairs here. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you haven't got such a, a huge upfront yeah. um, investment, if you like, in, yeah. into your stock if yes. you're making lots of pieces, which is... Which is good when you're getting started. Absolutely, because because when you start off making jewelry, you don't know if you're going to be doing it for a career. No. You're just doing it. To, you're doing it to uh, uh, because you're off work sick. You're doing it because you've given up smoking and you want to do something with your hands. Yep. You've, yeah. You know, you need uh, maybe you uh, maybe a partner works nights, so you know you want to kind of while away the evenings. A lot of people make jewelry just in the winter. Um, some people sit out in the summer and make their pieces as well. But you know, it can be a seasonal thing. Like so, I only do jigsaws in the winter because uh, I think it's a winter thing to do. It's a really nice. Yeah. to sit down and do um, um, but but you know and, and, and we make it affordable enough for you to be able to pick these pieces up make them and then and then you can pick it up whenever you want later on in the year can I just say the rose quartz the mystic rose quartz and the mystic clear quartz are going absolutely bananas I can't show them to you because they've, they've gone off for recordings but they literally arrived in the country today 250 of each it's not going to be enough Yeah, I can imagine most people will buy both. Yeah. I need them. And can I just say as well, the price point is not the price point you're going to see on the website when you come through and get these. Okay. Five o'clock, we've decided we're going to do them. Deb, when's your next kit? Is it in the next hour? Uh, four o'clock, yeah. Four o'clock. Yep. I never know with the midget. Oh, dear me, I've had a right oh. mess of this. Oh. Sorry. Adam, any more, any more jokes? Any uh. jokes? Have you run out on your, your printout? Have I run out on my printout? Ah. Jokes. When Santa got stuck up the chimney, he began to shout. One more joke. Here we go. What does a frog do if his car breaks down? He has it towed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dreadful. Oh. oh, look, I like the little... 
I like that. How these are separated out, because it's not even. It isn't even. You've got, it's like Morse code. So you've got. That's what you just said. I don't know, probably sworn in Morse code. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. I do not. <laughs> uh, so you've got this kind of um, dot, dash, dot. Oh, what if. We're not going to see it. I won't bother doing it then. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Look. There we go, there we go, we're ready. Dot, dash, dot, dash, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash. It's like threes and ones, yeah? <laughs> threes and ones. <laughs> uh, but fantastic. £24.95. Can I just say, doing something like this yourself, can you do it? Yes, you can, because you can buy the chain from Jewelry Maker, you can buy the stone silver wife from Jewelry Maker, you can buy the pearls from Jewelry Maker. Why would you want to do that? when we can do it for you. Is this machine made? No, it's handmade. The chain itself, as in the little sections of chain, that's all machine made. You can't make that by hand and make it look like that. Um, but the rosary linking, so the way that the pearls connect onto the chain, that's all done by hand. That's all done by us um, uh, by hand. So my, my question to you is, why bother getting it done? Why bother doing it yourself um, when we can do it for you? Unless you guess it's on a Mark Smith and he actually enjoys doing I love rosary stuff like linking. This. Do you? Do you yep. find it really... Yeah, I love it. I think that's very I do odd. tons of it. Really? Mm. Yeah. Do you just find it therapeutic? I like the way it looks. And oh, I like the way I it looks, but I'd rather get it ready-made from jewellery oh, maker. Oh, no, I enjoy doing it, because then I can customise it and put in exactly what I want. So, but I would, Oof, I would I'm buy so lazy. that. I would buy that and combine it with some that I've done as well. Because and if you think about it, Deb, it, when you tie... If you, if you make this into a necklace... You can sell it for 50, 60 pounds. Yeah. If you've had to rosary link it yourself, you've got to tie in your time, your yeah. energy when you've made the piece of jewellery as well. So it's going to, it's going to be totally, it, well, it, it's going to be, it could be totally unaffordable for certain people. But I, I wouldn't, if I'm rosary linking something, I wouldn't just make it into a plain necklace. Mm. I'd incorporate it somehow into a bigger design Layer it up, piece, maybe. a statement yeah. piece. Yeah, lovely. If I was just going to do an over the head, Jobby. Necklace, I'd get that. You just get that and put a jump ring. Just yeah. put a jump ring on the back. It's a yeah. meter in length. You may as well. Yeah. Pop it over your winter woolies. Uh, right. Oh, I love my winter woolies. <laughs> well, well, Ross. I was wondering when you when we were going to get to this bad boy. Oh. What should I have for dinner tonight? Have you got any? Have you got anything organised oh. for dinner tonight, Deb? I I won't get home until like eight o'clock. So, I don't know what I'll fancy then. Probably, I don't know. I might grab pizza on the way home. Oh, I've not, beauty! I've not bought a pizza for ages. Oh, you beauty! Yeah. So I'm thinking Chinese takeaway, but then I'm thinking. Oh. Wow. There, there, no, Look if you have a Chinese duck. takeaway, there won't be room for the gin. <laughs> Do you know what? You're absolutely right. Adam's going to have a breakfast yeah. tonight, aren't you, love? Oh yeah. <gasps> You're going to get the um, the um. The, What's that? Well, no, it's the sauce, but it's like, they're like, they're like udders, because they hang upside down, the sauces. What? Where? You hold what? your sausage there, and then you go, <laughs> like that, so rather than do that, I don't know why. I think it's Claire McDonald who told me about the sauce udders that they have. I've never heard of With this With mustard place. and ketchup. <laughs> oh, no. It sounds awful. Well, no, it's just a ketchup bottle upside down. I don't know why you'd do that. No. Don't know. Sorry, I'm sorry. The noise. I don't know. I'm sorry. I've been on air a long time. Anyway, Russian Amazonite multi-shaped cabochons. They look a bit like um, seagrass, don't they, or something like that, like a bit of a moorland. Um, uh, they're gorgeous. I do like wetlands. I do. I think they're really interesting places because the t you know they're tidal. The tides come in and out, and you see beautiful birds that you wouldn't normally see, yeah. like sandpipers yeah. and stuff. You see really awesome animals. Um, and it gives, it, it looks like brush, looks like beautiful kind of seagrass, I think. It's just gorgeous. They look like they've been drawn on. They, they haven't. Do. I was thinking um, that. It looks like brush strokes. It's natural Russian Amazonite. It looks, Russian Amazonite, I wonder if it's just another variety of jasper because Russian Amazonite looks completely different to any other variety of Amazonite. There's no, there's no resemblance whatsoever to Brazilian Amazonite or African Amazonite. Mm. It looks completely different. It looks chalky compared to other Amazonite, I think. I actually really like this because I like mm. the texture that you get. It, it does look like you've 
drawn it onto watercolour paper because you've got the texture coming through yeah. within each of those brush strokes. So each one's like a work of art. Or like when you and draw on paper on with wa with a wax crayon and then you paint yeah, over the top of it. Yeah, then you paint over the top, mm. yeah. That lovely effect. Yeah. £28.95. pence. have to say, you're getting 340 um, carats here, which, breaking it down, two, four, six, eight, um, I, I'm guessing here. If I just tip it to the side, actually, you'll be able to see, you get these kind of almost quartz-like inclusions. Can you see it's kind of sparkly? Kind of. It's like a... Oh, oh there, there. The, there it is. It's beautiful, oh. isn't it? It's like a quartz-like inclusion. I remember the first time I found quartz, it was, in, um, it was in France, it was at the side of a road and I was on a bike ride with my sister and I just found a piece of stone that had quartz inclusion, it's like mm. you find everywhere really and I, honestly I thought it was a precious gemstone and um, what you're seeing here, you're seeing those kind of, I, I assume, uh, it's wrong to assume, but I assume quartz inclusions in here which give it that lovely shimmer, that beautiful sparkle. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's stunning. It's awesome. Love it. And you're only getting that, I've never seen it in any other type of Amazonite, which is why I'm thinking, is it... Is it strictly an Amazonite or is it a type some of... Some sort of feldspar or... Yeah, or a jasper or, some or something. It's wicked, isn't it? This is Mother Nature, though, Deb, isn't it? Yeah. Aren't we lucky? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are so Magical. lucky. Awesome. So, can we put about 15 minutes time? We've got Deb's second kit. What's in your second kit, Levy? Um, Some uh, capuchons. Of course, um, the um, ne uh, nebula... Um, yeah. Um, um, uh, that's what they call it, isn't it? Black septarian is yeah. what it says on the back. They look like turtle shells, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they're beautiful. Actually, I found one, and the pattern on there looks like a cat. It's just, it's the strangest thing. Well, that's going to appeal to about 99% of our audience out there. If it's you're a cat so lover. Cute. Okay, everyone try and see the cat. Oh my gosh, it's a cat. It's a cat. It's a rabbit. It? A rabbit. It's a rabbit out of Donnie Darko, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> With the ears. Oh, such a weird movie. <laughs> Take me away. Um, but uh, yeah, that's gorgeous. That's coming up in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it is like the rabbit from Donnie Darko. It's <laughs> utterly terrifying. Right, okay, what are we doing now, lovey? Oh, that's. Ross, Ross, Ross. Ross, since I've worked with you, have you tried Ross Malloy yet? What? We've spoken What's about that? this before. It's not a cake. It's, a, well, it's an Indian um, dessert. It's made with condensed milk. Well, that was a short conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I tried it first um, on the... Now, where was I? I think I was Ladypool Road or something like that, having a curry. The Balti Triangle. Absolutely delicious. Um... It was, it was Lahore, that's what it was called, uh, the Lahore Curry House. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was the first time I had a Ross Malloy. It was absolutely delicious, like proper, oh, oh, gorgeous. I love a curry, don't you, um, Paul Demers? What's your curry of choice? Jalfrezi. Jalfrezi. What, chicken? Hmm. Chicken Jalfrezi. Hmm. Oh, I like a saguala. It's not very... Oh, is that yours? There you go. Oh, a sag paneer as well. Oh, cheese and spinach. Anyway... Rose gold plated sterling <laughs> silver. <laughs> Eat my hand! Rose gold plated sterling silver clip on bales. Now I have not seen these before. I haven't either. No. Here's your little hingy. Look, it does that. And then That's you. Fab. And then you. Hang on. And then you. Oh, snap it closed. It's got a little, it's got a little hole at the bottom. Oh dear. Uh, there you go. It's got a little, it's got a little hole there. Really right. secure. Everybody <laughs> calm down. Just calm down. Right? So it's got a little hole at the bottom. What would you do with these? Because that is to go, that is to clip, that is to clip on your, oh, there you go. That's to clip onto your ch uh, chain, isn't it? Just there. So you pop your chain on there so you can make interchangeable pendants and stuff like that. Yeah. What's that little hole at the bottom for? <laughs> You could hang things on it. Because I know, but surely the pendant bit goes... Oh, I suppose that's no. where the pendant bit goes, you, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, dear me. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, but then you're making a pendant to go on the bale to go on the bale. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, no? no? Am I 
completely. Am I overcomplicating this? I think you are. I think I am, aren't I? I think that's where you you attach your pendant on the bottom of that, and that then forms your your pendant bail. Okay. And then you can clip it onto you could clip it onto a leather God. necklace or yeah, a talk onto or, a ready-made necklace. Yeah. Or a chain or whatever. So. Whatever. 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 So. <laughs> whatever the weather. Sorry, I think I completely confused everyone there, including myself. Look, you just clip it on. Clip it on. No need to restrand with the all new clippable bail. <laughs> Call us now. Oh, it's 100, 644, it five. stuff to different necklaces, doesn't it? And get different looks. It does, Deb. Thank you for explaining that. Yeah. When I, I completely it's, it's ruined that. I'm sorry, simple, everyone. really. Can I show you something? Oh, yes. Don't, don't give that, don't use that tone those, of voice with me, Ryan. Those that, pearls actually that would tired look tone of that. voice with me. Yes, of course. Five o'clock, five o'clock. I'm going to show you these bad boys. 20 of these beauties have already gone. I've got 250 available. That means I've only got 230 left. Oh, Could this sell out wow. even before we bring it to air? Probably. Probably. Coming up at five o'clock, available for pre-orders. Loads of text coming in about these beauties. This is your Mystic Coated Rose Quartz. <gasps> Afternoon, JM. The Mystic Gemstones would make stonkers of bag charm, says Ooh. Margot in five. You're not wrong, Margot. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Yep, yep. Wow. This is from Deborah. So glad you're doing coated quartz again. It's wonderful stuff. Really magical. Yeah. There you go. That's from Deborah. Three of those cubes as a drop. Backless Ooh. top. Gee whiz. Ooh. Or deep V-neck. Oh, take that text off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your rose quartz. Who do you think I am? The kind of person who wears a leopard print cat suit. <laughs> so tempting, Mystic. Mystic what? Ice cubes. Do you know what that's that said I then? I, they look like the most glamorous ice, cube, uh, ice cubes or sugar cubes you've ever seen. This is, the, this is the Mystic Clear Quartz. Oh, my word. These are coming up at 5 o'clock. 30 of these have gone. Ooh, woo! I've only got mm. 250 in each available. Well, not anymore, because we've got 30 of this one gone, 20 of the rose quartz. They're available on pre-order. Fill your boots. Take them. The reason why, we were going to play them now, but, I, but they've only literally just arrived in the building. We want to give everybody the right opportunity and give them a good little, good little show. Amatrine. Do you like an Amatrine, Ross? What do you like a... It's in your top three gems, top is it, three. Ross? That's sort of cheating, because you got two in there. you got two gems only yeah. one, yeah. That's what it is in his top three. Go on, what's in your top three then, Ross? Amadri? Who? Oh, Rat the Kiri Third yeah. one. Oh, well done. Mountain Ridge oh. Opal. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Boldry. Is it nice? Is it? It is. You like an indicolite? We had some indicolite today, actually. Did we? Well, not on this show, on the morning show. Oh, wow. About 18 hours ago. <laughs> 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 so, here we go. Amatrine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> um, mm, here we go. Oh, that's 115 carats of pure, beautiful amatrine. The thing I love about this, Deb, you're seeing the very minute when two gemstones collide. Yeah. Two worlds yeah. collide. Yep. It's... When two gems become one gem, you're seeing amethyst and citrine become one gemstone, and it's so exciting. Some of these, if you're lucky, will be a 60-40 split of one or the other. Um, occasionally, you get a 50-50 split. I wouldn't expect that. Um, you know, it, 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 it's beautiful. Blended is very nice. Yeah, yeah when you don't get is, that kind of straight yeah. line and it's beautifully blended um, um, in. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Loads of beautiful clarity. You've got moments of amethyst and citrine through here. It's a really beautiful harmonious strand, isn't it? Um, it's so delicately coloured, this one. The clarity on this is extremely high. It looks very much like kind of your Anahi Amatrine, actually. It's really, really beautiful clarity. Um, loads of kind of adamantine luster and that's to do with the fact that it's got great clarity and it's got brilliant um, faceting so the luster's brilliant as well 
£12.95 pets. Again, this is another gemstone which has come on such a journey here at Jewelry Maker. Um, when we first got it in stock, it was probably the kind of strand where you wouldn't expect to get a strand, and if you could, it would probably be nuggets, and if they were nuggets, then they'd probably be about 19 95 Here, there are big, chunky, faceted rondelles, and you're getting them for under 15 quid. Yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Such the a lovely gem. amazing. amazing. Hmm? And when, when you get these off the strand, the same as the Morganite, they'll, they'll just come alive because the light will be able to get at each one Absolutely. of them. And just one of those, flat on as a ring, would be absolutely incredible yeah particularly if it's got that lovely blended uh, yeah. kind of color so yeah. you've got a very um you know you've got a lovely mix of the two i have to say the luster on this strand's really striking isn't it it's got mm. lots of lovely luster the fasting's been uh, beautifully applied has it all done by hand don't forget and in fact you know i think this would look amazing with the mystic um strands that we've got oh um with the nice. mystic um the rose, rose quartz, quartz all the mystic yeah. um uh, clear quartz but the rose quartz i think lovely because it's got that lovely delicate tone they're going to go together of course because you've got Three members of the quartz family here, amethyst yep. and citrine, both members of the quartz family, so is amethyst and rose quartz as well. So actually four members of the quartz family. One happy family. Aww. One big happy family. Just like jewellery maker. There you are. Uh, right. Um, let's do... What is this? Oh, wow. No way. I thought... Goodness me, it's amethyst. Can I just show you something? I was holding it here. It looks blue. 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 Look at that. That looks blue. I thought that was I thought that was blue dyed quartz. I don't know if you've seen any, any of the Moroccan amethyst. I'm yet to kind of see any in real life. Um, but it's so purple, it's blue. That is, is it? That, that's a bit Ooh, more like it. That's proper Zambian no. amethyst, that is. Or Uruguayan. We've had some Uruguayan amethyst in, no. uh, recently. Yeah, really? We've had one strand, and honestly, it is the absolute, it is the pinnacle of yeah. beauty. It's so amazing. I've got a ring in it. In Uruguayan yeah. amethyst? Oh, wow. Yeah. How fantastic. It's beautiful. It really is. Because you wouldn't attribute it with South America, would you? You wouldn't attribute uh, Uruguayan amethyst. You, you, you'd attribute this kind of, sorry, Uruguayan amethyst with the Zambian amethyst colour, yeah. not with the Brazilian amethyst colour. Um, yeah, you know, it is, it is absolutely superb. This is very similar to That's that Uruguayan gorgeous. strand that we've got, actually, colour-wise. Beautiful colour, beautiful quality. Yeah, really That's, nice. That's really nice. The more you look at it, the more it's obvious that it is amethyst. And I love these little kind of zones of colour you're getting here because it means that everyone's aware that that is a completely natural gemstone. We don't treat our amethyst here at Jewelry Maker. We might treat our green amethyst, but we don't treat our purple amethyst. Uh, most of it is untreated. Some of the rose de France we do, but th this kind of shade we don't treat. Uh, nine, well, there's no need, is there? 9.95, Mother Nature's done all the work for us. It's absolutely beautiful. That's amazing to think that's all natural and it's all consistent in colour, clarity. Yeah saturation hue it's all there and it's all completely mm. identical that could be a strand of dyed quartz couldn't it it's so identical it's it so could be a strand perfect, of dyed yeah. quartz it's so yeah. perfect in purple yeah that is amazing february's birthstone there that's a beautiful beautiful gem and also this will work beautifully with your clip on bales which i completely ruined sorry everyone <laughs> i'm like what's that for what's that do oh yeah so uh, yeah but uh, yeah brilliant rose gold and amethyst like this looks amazing doesn't that, it that would actually make really nice earrings if you use the clip on bale and pop your amethyst on the bottom and then a jump ring to connect it to the shepherd hook. Nice idea. Just a feature. Nice idea. 9.95, brilliant price. Well done. Okay, coming up, we've got Deb's kits. The jewellery she's made with it is beautiful. I love the wire work necklace you've done. Yeah. It's yeah. really, really fun. I really fun. enjoyed that. Really dramatic. It's very, very dead, but it's beautiful. Don't go anywhere. We've got that coming up in about an hour till our incredible um, um, Mystic Quartz. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. 
Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. Here at Jewelry Maker we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewelry Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. Well, we're back. Hello. 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 This is lovely. I like I, this kit. I love the jewellery you've made. It's Thank dramatic. You. It's kind of gothic. It's really, really cool. It's so striking, Deb. Thanks. Don't you think? It's, I've, I've done one um, similar with uh, Blue Lace Agate ages mm. and ages ago. And I just really love the way it looks because it's so chaotic, but it's mm. ordered at the same time. Yes, absolutely. That wire works lovely, isn't it? It's really nice, actually. The, um, the wire, it seems really flexible and easy to work with. Yeah, that's good. That's what you nice. want, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! It's one of your famous free range pieces, I think. It is very uh, free range. Yeah, free range and organic. Or as, uh, yeah, as well, well, that's what um, Jan Dwyer said about her jewelry today. Organic. You and her started organic. at Jewelry Maker around about the same time, didn't you? We did. That's what confused everyone. Yes. You were Jan, she was yeah. Deb, and yeah. no one knew Nobody who knew. anybody was. And then but we they do saw now. us in the room together. <laughs> yes. Isn't it odd? <laughs> um, the light of the silvery moon. Is, it, is that a song? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. is it? Yeah, it's an old one. Well, I can think of it as a Pocahontas Did... song. I'm yeah, not singing it. Mm. No? It is a song. 
I think Laurel and Hardy did it. Who? Oh, Laurel and Hardy. By the Lord, oh, yeah. The room. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Recordings from 1910. The Hayden Quartet. Thanks, oh. Russ. He's an encyclopedia. He is. Well, Google yeah. is. Uh, and other search <laughs> engines. So, lovely, lovely um, uh, kit here. Silver plated copper wire in two different gauges. You've got 20 metres in 0.4, 10 metres in 0.8. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So you've got your weaving wires, which of course you're, you're almost always going to need more of, and then your beautiful, more kind of structured wire. Then you've got seed beads. I love the fact we've got seed beads in this mm. kit. I think that's really, really lovely. Let me bring this a bit closer, actually. It is. You've got um, uh, Mayuki Opaque Black 8Os and crystal, uh, Mayuki Crystal AB 11Os. Nice. I mean, <laughs> this is a stash bundle right there. Yeah, definitely. And your wire is a stashable, you know, a stashable amount of wire you're going to be getting as well. Great um, base notes in here. Great kind of blank canvas beads to use in your jewellery. Nice that it's AB coated. It gives it gives the gemstones a bit of a a bit of a boost, I think. Yeah. The gems you're getting, black serpentine nodule. Very very odd name. I know it doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, but basically what you're looking for is. A gem which has got chocolate brown to black kind of base notes and then the inclusion should be kind of white or grey and a lot of them look like um, uh, either mosaic or they look like uh, a tortoiseshell. You know, if you look at a tortoiseshell from the top um, and you get those beautiful segments, that's the kind of quality you should be getting here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's quite rough on the back. There you are. But when you highly polish it and when you cut it in the right way, you get these really incredible kind of jagged lightning kind of inclusions coming out and that one's beautiful it's like a beautiful button they're all quite flat which makes mm. this brilliant to um set with your memory wire or your um or your um or your um your memory wire or for prong setting yeah, yeah. absolutely great for a prong setting joking aside these would be amazing skimming stones oh they would i love yeah, skim i have skimming would. competitions with my husband I that is so a good rubbish at it are you? It's all yeah. on the wrist. No, I, I you've can't got a, do You've it. got to hook your finger around the stone. Yeah. This one's a bit small, to be fair. My <laughs> brothers are brilliant. Jake do, 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 do. Oh, I love them. I love scones. Sc 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 oh. Skimming scones. <laughs> Get in! <laughs> Cheese scone. I would never, scone. never skim a scone. No, you'd, no, it's there for scoffing. <laughs> Scoff a scone, but never skim it. Um, they're really, really beautiful gemstones. I like the fact they're flat. It means it's much easier for everybody to set them. However you're going to set them, it just makes it easier. Once you've got a gemstone which is very, very domed, it makes it more difficult, more challenging, I should say, not difficult, more challenging to claw set. Mm. Whereas because these are nice and flat, they're really, really easy. You could even just glue them onto your backing fabric, couldn't you? Look at this one. This one's got like a, almost like a pyrite inclusion. Oh, now that's it, interesting. It, at the top, it's like it's got this right at the... Oh, hang on. Turn it the other way. See if I can catch the light. This little square is like a silver pyrite inclusion in there. Do you know what Ross has just said as well? They're like ancient drawings. They're they like are. cave paintings. Because I, I thought yeah. that, that way up, it looks like a dancing person. It does. It's just someone going like this, yeah. doesn't it? And then kind yeah. of with their foot kind of leaning out. Do you know in, in ancient cave paintings when they used to paint bison and um, yes. stuff like that yeah. and the brush strokes were very yeah. kind of simple and very and very kind of, it was all very one dimensional, wasn't it? They do look like cave paintings. And also... That's awesome. Uh, which one was it? There's, that one looks like a this, gecko, that big tall one you've got oh, there. Oh, it does actually. Some of these I thought were quite butterfly wings. The one on the bottom, the drop at the bottom here mm. on the necklace um i thought was quite butterfly wing like in terms of the pattern yes but also i think it's that one has got some sort of little sparkle almost like yes yeah, so is this inclusion. one actually yeah have you got some there yeah with a little bit of a sparkle they're really in, yeah. in gemstones i've not seen them before i have to say um these gemstones are so atmospheric aren't they they've got such a beautiful yeah. amount of a kind of atmosphere they, they they really make you look at them and kind of yeah. see what you can see i love looking at clouds with my kids and picking out faces and picking out shapes and all that kind of stuff and these and these kind of have that same kind of wonderment in them i think the price on this kit again you know our kits today have been absolutely superb 
Have a look at this, £36.70. Now, for a gemstone that we don't see very often on Jewelry Maker, with your seed beads and all your wire, that's pretty, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's not low enough, though. How do you fancy paying less than £20? Not beating around the bush today. We're going to go under £20. We're just going to do it. Because, honestly, it's a brilliant kit. You've got, I think, stashable wire, stashable, mm -hmm. stashable um, um, seed beads. Then you've got your gemstones as well. The gemstones are adding extra bonus. We're going to go under £20. Are you ready? Are you steady? I don't have millions of this kit. You've just got to get it now. Well done, everybody coming through to get this already. Lovely, lovely gemstones. I wonder what yours are going to look like. They're going to look, you know, they're going to have their own kind of quality. £17.95. Wow. That's amazing. Now, in this pack, I've got five. I've got five of the, um, of the um, serpentine. Um, you may be getting slightly more, slightly less. Uh, well, you've got I've your two loads five. of sea beads and your, um, and your 50, sorry, I beg your pardon, your 30 metres of wire as well. Did you have five as I well, I had Dad? five in the pack that I worked on and I've had five in the second pack yeah, lovely. as well. So, yeah. Beautiful. What, what do you want to demo for us, Dad? I thought I'd show you the basis of, of this necklace and how I built it up. Yes, please. Because it's really simple. Mm. And, and you can just play with the, the shapes. But I thought that... The wire I wanted to reflect shapes that were in the gemstone as well. Absolutely. Because it's almost like little bubbles and drawings yes, within them. Yes, definitely. So, yeah. Whilst you're good. getting set up quickly, less than an hour, I've got 50 minutes until these two. You, these are going nuts on pre-order. These are brand new strands. They arrived in the country today. They arrived in the country at lunchtime. Okay. And they've literally been rushed through our quality, um, sorry, not our quality control, our, our, our warehouse. And they've been rushed through uh, the signing off process. They arrived in the building about an hour ago. They were supposed to be played this morning. They weren't in the country in time. They literally arrived in the country this morning. These are hot off the press. Multi, uh, sorry, uh, Mystic Rose Quartz coming up and Mystic Clear Quartz. Now, of the 250 of each of these available, but can I just say we're close to 100 of this one gone and, 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 and about 70 of this one already oh. gone. OK, so just to let you know, the prices on these are amazing. The prices on our website is not the price you're going to pay. OK, it's amazing. OK, brilliant. So they're coming up at about five o'clock. I was thinking brilliant. I might be able to get some of those. It doesn't, I don't know the way if you it's will, going, darling. I might not. You might no. have to butcher one of the strands. <laughs> Cut it up. Let's Cut it up. it up. Cut it up. Yeah. Then she'll have to have it. Yeah. I mean, in a nice way. In a nice way, trying to help Deb out way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right, right. what are you doing, so, Deb? I'm making a what mess, are look. You, you are making a right mess. Such a mess. But that's what you need to do, because um, I did the mess like that. Oh, dear. Scrunched it up. And, and then... And you're done. Yeah. <laughs> there Fish you go. done. Finished. It's one of those simple to make pieces. <laughs> right. So, um, scrunch up your 0.4 wire. Mm. And it depends how big your gemstone is, your cabochon, as to how much of the wire you're going to need. But what you do is just mash it all together. Mm. And what you want to do is make a nice, solid base. It's almost like you're making um, a washing up scour thing. You know, do you remember those old? Oh, you are green, so romantic like with your yeah. ideas. I know. You know, you can pick up inspiration <laughs> from can, anywhere. Darling. Yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> so, mash the um, oh, my dear, come on, right, so. the wires. Yeah, just sit and snooze for a minute. I don't mind. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No snoozing for me. No snoozing. No sleep till Wake home up. time. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep in the dentist's so, waiting room yesterday. Did you? No, the day before yesterday. <laughs> no, you went, was that before or after you'd before, been in? Before, and I was oh. there just going, and I did this. <laughs> no, I did that. It's awful. It's really bad. And everyone was just... <coughs> yeah. I was kind of stuff. I was tired. Fine. Nobody noticed. And then, uh, yeah, I was told I can't have my... I can't have the, the teeth thing I was going to get done because I would have a filling. <coughs> I don't mind. I'm hard. I'm hard. You're hard. I'm hard. <laughs> right. Well, root canal surgery. I'd rather not have that, but yeah. Anyway, lovey, sorry. Anyway, yeah. Um, so... You've then got a disc of, like, a flat <coughs> sheet. Disc so of wire. Wire. Wire! Yeah. And it doesn't need to fit perfectly with your gemstone, so you can see there's bits and pieces around the edge. 
So then if you take a nice length of your 0 0.8 and how much have we got? We've probably got about a metre and a bit. And then I've looped it so that the um, you've got the um, loop here. And what we're going to do is almost like a, a pin, feed the two tails through the mesh that you've made. Lovely. Meshy mesh. Yes, mesh. <laughs> make, <laughs> make sure that the, um, the, the pin, if you like, has a gap in between so that <laughs> so that you're um it will come through like that there you go and you, otherwise if you put both the ends through the same um area on on your mesh yeah you'll end up with just pulling it straight through yeah not good okay so, okay. so now what we need to do is just wrap around it's really clever there. that little base you've made there it is it just supports it yeah so it means I like it. it's and it also gives you something to stitch into. Doesn't it just? So all you're going to do is take your 0 0.8 Thanks, Paul. and stitch. It makes good tea, actually, doesn't I like it? Paul in, Paul. I, say, I like Paul in red as well. I like Paul in red. That's it. That's it. You normally wear black, black, black. It's nice in red. Thank you. Matches your eyes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> So I don't know why I growled. Apologies. It's all right. So, I don't know why I do half just, the things I do in life. No. no. We're not live it's, anyway, so it's fine. No? no. Nobody noticed. No. So um, we're going through there, and then I'm going to come back around and try and just. What you want to do is almost like skimming pebbles, just yes. skim the edge with the wire. Yeah, right? and it'll hold it it'll in place. It'll hold it in place. So, you're, you're right though, Deb, this, this wire looks like it's really nice to work with. Yeah, it's quite fluid actually. Um, so if you've got, so the wire's cutting straight across your, your gemstone, yeah. then you can just pull it back off to the, the side. Uh -huh. And what we need to do is then I take just one of these instead of working with both of them I'm gonna lock that down so it's not gonna move and then I'm gonna bring the wire across at the back <coughs> and just make a little circle of wire so if you just make a couple of loops that's almost then like making a prong so Instead oh, of clever. sitting there for hours making individual prongs, a oh little gosh. loop will yeah. will will suffice. Act, will suffice. Yeah. So don't worry if your your capuchon moves while you're doing it, because you can then fit it back in to space. And then I'm going to bring that same piece of wire around and just feed it up through that gap there so there's obviously no recipe because <laughs> it is or paint it's numbers. organic it's, it's fine free range and organic free Bring range and organic yeah oh, dear me. <laughs> it's the best kind it is it is darling we're going to lock it off there so lock it, it up move. like a load lock it, lock it. Yeah. so that's fix that so just yes. that is more or less yeah. fixed in place. The only section is here that needs a little bit of support. Yeah. So I just then wrap it over there. Um, just keep building it up, and what you'll end up oh, with. Oh, mamma mia! Is Look at that. That and that's quite solid now. Cool. Wow, so that's so, beautiful, Deb. You're barely touching the the edge of the gemstone. Yeah. So you can see all of that pattern and texture and colour. And it's all because you've done that lovely base. Yeah, so the base. Um, the only thing to watch out for with the base is that you haven't got um, sort of the spike of the two ends on your 0 0.4 yeah. sticking up because obviously that's going to be sharp. So just tuck it in 
if if you can feel it on the back but it's quite smooth and also i imagine not to when you're making that base not to scrunch the wire up too much otherwise there's no room to there's kind no, of stitch yeah, into you can't compress it too much yeah yeah um, that's lovely so though isn't that a great of... way of making a base without so, having one in the kit yeah mm. yeah so you could then like finish that. at that point if you want or um just take the um, seed beads, so I've put the size Gosh, 11s. I thought that was some kind of a there. crazy new wire that we had. That looks <laughs> lovely, the seed it beads. It does, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then just stitch into it with your 0.4 and your seed beads. So, yeah, how lovely, um, Dad. You know, you can follow the patterns that you've got, or you can build up on top. And because you've got the 0.4 in there, it's, it's flexible, but yeah. it's supported, so... Just have a play and see see what you can create with oh, that. Lovely, very enterprising of you. I have to say, making oh resourceful, I should say, making that. And if you wanted to cover that up, actually, you could put some nice backing foundation or some nice ultra yeah. suede on the back, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, to cover up your Definitely. workings. But in actual fact, I, I think, think that's pretty quite cool. pretty. I mm, think yeah, it's, so do I. it's nice the way it catches the light. This because the quality of the wire is really really great, isn't it? The it kit is, is yeah. seventeen ninety five. I that's mean, it's a, a brilliant price. Kit. For all really of your wire, nice. 30 metres of wire, your, um, your gorgeous serpentine nodule and your um, two packs of seed beads. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, it's great. And it gives, that, it gives lovely depth. It almost looks like the wire work on that necklace has been done with um, chain, curb chain, because the yes. seed beads give you that yeah. lovely kind of texture, the don't texture they? texture in there. Yeah. Really beautiful. Well done. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, we are 40 minutes from... These. <laughs> I, honestly, they are going nuts on pre-orders. They are available on pre-order. I've got 250 of each. They arrived in the country today. They arrived in the building about an hour ago and they're coming up at five o'clock. Mystic coated rose quartz. I mean, it looks like Turkish delight, doesn't it? Yes, that one really does. Yes. Yeah. And then mystic coated clear quartz, which looks like ice cubes. It's, it's got a lovely clarity, this. And um, they are going absolutely nuts. I've got 200. Oh, yes. See? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Sea beads with that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, they're coming yeah. up at five o'clock. The price on our website, by the way, on the pre order thing on our website, isn't the price point you're going to pay. Um, we're going to go a little bit lower for you. And I've got 250 of each. About 100 of these have gone. About 70 odd of these have gone. Honestly, they're brilliant. They're coming up at five. I can't wait to do that. That's going to be brill. Right, what should we do then, um, Russ? The pizza? Oh, pizza mm. site. It's a pizza. <laughs> Let's go for the uh, pepperoni with the stuffed crust in number two. Oh, my word. Oh. What do you have on your pizza? Ultimate filling. Mm. Go on, hit me. I, I quite like veggie. I don't like you it You are a veggie, me. aren't you? No. Are you not I, anymore? I was, then I wasn't, and now I'm sort of heading back. back in that direction. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I like mushroom. Oh. I do like pe pineapple on it as well. And when I'm making it at home, I put onion and peas. Oh, yes, now that would be nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. What's yours? Your top topping. Pepperoni. Chilies. Hot, hot, mm. hot meat. Yummy stuff. Loads of cheese. Anyway, uh, pizza site. Not pizza, pizza site. Pizza site. <laughs> pizza site. Gee whiz. Pizza site <laughs> looks like a really cool um, uh, dark blue version of Charite, I think. Yes. It's got these beautiful striations going through here. It looks like a beautiful um, Hieronimo Bosch painting, doesn't it? With these gorgeous kind of, yeah. kind of yeah. ivy, viney bits going through it. What's that Lady of the Lake, um, Ophelia? Um, oh, the pre-Raphaelite one. Yes, it looks yeah. a bit pre-Raphaelite, doesn't yeah. it? It's a beautiful piece of art, that is. It is. Um, slightly haunting, though, isn't it? How she's just lying. It's Burne Jones who did pre-Raphaelite. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Did she drown? She drowned, didn't she? Uh, no, she, she was in a bath full of cold water, and they were, um, when he was painting it, so he could get the sort of textures and shapes right and everything, and she died of pneumonia, yeah. I think she died. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, she was very ill anyway. Well, yeah. It's a beautiful painting anyway. It right. is. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Peter Sight, gorgeous, nineteen pounds ninety-five pence. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at the gorgeous um, um, multi multi uh, mystic quartz we've got coming up. Honestly, it's just so beautiful. It does draw your eye, doesn't it? Totally. Completely. They're just beautiful. And that one, that little oh, um, the, the kind of browner one next to it, looks like um, tortoiseshell, doesn't it? 
Yes, it does. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Or like that 360 yeah, degree view of um, of a Martian landscape, which has been on Facebook recently. <gasps> How long would it take us to get to Mars? Do you reckon? Not walking, obviously, but in a uh, uh, on a bike. How long does it take a drone to get there? Not a drone, know. but you know, like a rocket. A drone. Uh, <laughs> no, it's still not there. <laughs> uh, out of range. <laughs> out of range. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. We had two drones land in our garden, actually. Did you? Yeah. One with lights on it. It was about that big, and another oh. one as well. Years ago. Oh right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not like dodgy. They didn't have cameras on or anything. But um, <laughs> well, I don't know. 300 days, there you are, in a rocket. That's not long, is, is, it, long really? is it? In what, though? Not in a Volvo <laughs> <laughs> or on foot. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's going to take light years, isn't it? Right, what are we yeah. doing now, lovely? Ah, now this is a bit more like the one that we've just seen on the recording. Thank you. Look. That one Ooh. is very much like the one that we've just seen on the recording. Oh, I like this one. Do you? With the blues yeah, in? Yeah, with the blues and in. And it's got like almost a, t a tiger's eye kind of chatoyancy to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look has. at these. Oh, see, it's the same gemstone, but totally different. That's got more of your burning kind of embery tones that in there. That is like the flares coming off the sun. It is like flares off the sun. Yeah. Like when you see the burning flares. kind of um, just the... Uh, the um the pools of kind of lava yeah yeah um, just crushing out yeah. from the edge oh yeah. isn't that amazing yeah. here's your gorgeous kind of reds as well that's all right as i'm oh you're right lovely um got your beautiful red uh, pear drop here the ones in the recording you're getting four i'm getting four here no i've got five, uh, one two three four i couldn't count them <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me uh but yeah i've got four here as well but i mean they're slight i mean they're different to the ones that you're getting on the recording but isn't that great it just shows you that's a nice one they're such rich colors though whether it's the blues or the or the um those caramel tones or the reds or the, or reds, the yeah. yes absolutely yeah. gorgeous just really rich colors <laughs> they're beautiful aren't they i do love this kind of slight chatoyant kind of edge yeah. that these have got going through them they're lovely and the fancy shapes we haven't said this must be a pair or this must be an oval we've gone hey let's let this one be whatever it wants to be that's nice, isn't it? Can it I, is. Can I yeah. plug myself back in? Hang on, I'm just yeah. going to plug myself back in. I'm going to have a look at that one. Oh, hang on. Where's that gone? <laughs> the old cable. That's there really... you go. Hello. Hello, gang. <laughs> Hi, gang. Do you know what? I'd hate to be without a talk back, so I can't yeah. hear it. I'd hate it. I didn't, I didn't like it when, um, when we didn't have them. Oh, no. It's not nice no. at all. It's, it's silence. No. Hello. Yeah, you just talking got the it voices in, in your head. <laughs> just keeping it on. Yeah. <laughs> Clipping it up to my pants. Don't worry. <laughs> I have done that before. Oh no. I was wearing a dress and I had my oh, talk back no, down the back awful. of the dress. Hook it onto your pants. Your pants no, come down. Your pants fall down. Oh, nobody wants that. No, I did that. Especially the other week. not on. <laughs> it's Ooh. a good job I was sitting down, is all I can Well, say. that, exactly. Yeah. It's a good job you're wearing pants. Yeah. I never risk I'm that not. now. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Maybe like 20 years ago. <laughs> not now. No, uh, no, no. You need no, the warmth, no. don't you? You really? need all the help you can get <laughs> to hold everything in. <gasps> Shake it all the. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, a lot of, lot of movement there. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> Number three, dendrite agate. Now, this has been very, very popular Ooh, over the nice last pieces. Um, couple of months. I like this one. Oh, dear me. Oof. It's nice too. Oh yes, this one's be a yeah, beauty. Yeah, nice shape for a ring. Beautiful shape for a ring. The ultimate shape Perfect. for a ring. I think dendrite agate looks like a snowy landscape, and this is the yeah. edge of a forest, or like the um. Oh, now what's it called in Game of Thrones? The army of the the army of the army of the dead, kind of trooping towards the wall. <gasps> oh. <gasps> <laughs> it's gorgeous though, isn't it? It's uncanny. Oh, isn't it just the song of fire and ice? That's what it's called, isn't it? Oh, I do love it. It's very atmospheric. But I do love, again, the way that, you know, we haven't focused too much on keeping these symmetrical. They're nice and flat as well. They are. Well, this one isn't, not so much this one, but, but the others are really nice and flat, lovely and shiny. And the dendrite inclusions that you get, or the dendritic inclusions, I suppose they're called, um, 
in um, agate or opal. They're like little ferns. They're like little hands that you get, um, hand or fern-like inclusions. You get encroaching in the gemstone. Um, they're really, really beautiful. It's not stripes. It's not bands. It's not as harsh as that. And it's not as frilly as like your um, uh, crazy lace agate. It's, it, mm. it's kind of... Um, they, they just appear, don't they? Yeah. They're just beautiful. I really, really like them. Such an unusual gem. I, lo I love this gem because it's yeah. so graphic. It, it's, yes. It's a really strong. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. Here's your price point, everyone. 190 carats in total. Here we go. Oh, look, you can see the different layers of the gem. Yeah. There. You know, you've got uh, this part here. It looks like, it looks like a river, doesn't it? It going, does it like a yeah. river. With a dog underneath it. <laughs> oh, so we're in Get the process of having that river. oh nine ninety five. There you go. This one here has got like a great big what? kind of canyon underneath it. Look at that! It's just incredible. It's like a big uh, what do they call it? A uh, I, I don't a ravine. Know. Ah, a ravine. With a dog behind it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in the process at the minute of talking about it with a crevasse. Thank you, thank you, Paul the Mears. We're in the um, we're in the process at the minute as a family trying to decide what doggy we're going to get, and we're oh. it's between three or I don't know. We do we would like a Labrador. We had a Labrador last, and I don't know. We don't know if we want to do a Labrador again. Mm. Not right now, anyway. But we we, we we like boxes. Do you? And we really like we really like Dobermans as well. Oh, I like a Doberman. I yeah. love Dobermans. I'm never yeah. beautiful. They're very friendly, actually, and, and loyal. Soppy. And just, yeah, soppy. Mm. Yeah. And leggy. No, Phil's family have got Rottweilers. They've got Rotties. Show, show like, winning Rotties. Really? Yeah, they're beautiful. Heads like pumpkins. We used to have a, um, a Rotty. Uh, I used to work on reception in a, um, a golf and country club place um, part-time, and we had one yeah. on reception. I mean, he was, was just like as soft as you soft like. Soft as anything. Yeah. That's nice. He was gorgeous. They are what you make them, aren't they? Yeah. They are what you make them. Okay. Blue agate chips. Ooh. Chippy, 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 chippies. Ooh. Ooh. They, are they agate, no, did you say? Not. No, fluorite. That's not agate. No. <laughs> there you go. Thank goodness. Oh, Ross. <laughs> it's a good job I've got GIA, AJP accredited, isn't I was, it? I was thinking, it's a good job there's somebody professional at the helm of this ship, isn't it? I oh. believe, Carol, I believe it's a strand of pearls. Mm. I may not know every gem on the planet, <laughs> know, yeah. Ross, uh, but... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, picking holes in Ross. I, well, well, we said it was fluorite. Oh. <laughs> Such a good impression of me there, it, Ryan. Well, you, you um, know, you're the ones there with the screen, with the information, Well, to be Ryan. fair, Ross isn't firing on all cylinders at the minute, are you, lovey? But his hair looks amazing. His mane of hair. How often <laughs> do you have to get your hair cut, Ross? How often do you get your hair cut? Every three months or so you let it grow. What stage are we at now? No. Oh, please don't do that again, love. No. Is it due another cut? Oh, oh I like long hair. Oh, goodness me. You're going to look like um, Team Wolf's dad if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> you will, though. You look like Team Wolf's dad if you're not careful. You mean you're very... Hey, Team Wolf. You don't know who Team Wolf is. Oh, get out, Ross. You've never seen Team Wolf. I haven't either. When were you born? 1990. Gee whiz. Anyway, appetite. Blue appetite. Boop, boop, boop. Gorgeous. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, Ryan's with me there. 3 95 <laughs> Adam didn't even bother. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Like, oh, I'm so tired of working with this crazy woman with the dogs. <laughs> oh, dear me. Please help me. How do you think I feel, Adam? How do you think I feel? Hey? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, bless it's him. Been He's been only though, standing there. Hey? He's only standing there. That's it, though, oh, Debbie. Oh, He's just oh, standing oh, there. Oh. He's not engaging. He's not there going, good one, Carol. 
<laughs> oh, he doesn't have to, though, honestly. I yeah. am. I, I, I frustrate and bore and annoy myself. I'm amazed you've actually got anyone watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I got three ninety five. Fantastic. And um, this is like a sea glass kind of colour, isn't it? It is. Yeah, mm. it is. It's a like really a nice one. It's it's sea foamy. It is sea foam. It's, yeah. The sea foam sea beads that we do is all. They're almost exactly this colour, aren't they? Yeah. All I those think it's beautiful really Mayukis. lovely colour. Yeah, it's really lovely, isn't like it? It's got a one. lovely, lovely edge to it, like a silvery, sagey green. And it would look incredible with the Mystic mm. because it's picking up those greens and the blues that are coming through on those gemstones. What's this? Yeah. Oh, gee whiz. Coming up, that coming up, makes coming me up. happy. I like that. Half an hour, half an hour, half an hour's time. 250 That's available. Perfect. We've had a load of these go on. Oh, we've had a load go on pre-orders, haven't we, uh, Ross? Oh, yeah. A load of these gone. We've only got 250. Oh! And rose quartz. See, with that one as well. It just looks amazing with that Super. appetite. And I like the fact that you've got a facet, you've got a, um, a coated facet, an uncoated facet. Yeah. A coated facet, yeah. uncoated. And we're back to the beginning. Super cool, isn't it? It is really cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Love it. The price you can see on the website is not the price you're going to end up paying. So Mystic Rose Quartz, Mystic Clear Quartz, coming up in half an hour's time. You'll have to wait, sorry. But it is available on pre-orders. But I'd get the appetite to go with it. Do you remember the days before pre-orders? Oh, yes. It see, wasn't I mean, those that long ago. Frustrating days. Ah. Oh, dear me. Yeah. I'm so glad we can do pre-orders. How many of these are we getting, Ross? Yeah. Oh, one. Now then, two, and there's another one. I can spot it just there, little tinky tonks. Come here, mate. Are they just Ooh. lurking in the corners? Stop mm -hmm. being a wallflower. I know. Show yourself. <laughs> here it is. Beautiful connector. Now. Oh, I like these. <laughs> I want to shove something on top of that. Do you? I do. I want to stick a gem on that or do something like that. I, I see that as a base. I mean, it's lovely. It's oh, really, really sweet. And actually, do. I know how you have kind of got these set into your... That, look, that one there. That one. Here we go. Yeah. Your myriad of beautiful bracelets. That one. She literally wears everything she's ever made. I do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, that's nice. That, that would work. Mm -hmm. would there that? you go. Yeah. Hi, Carol. If you like a Doberman, how about... A miniature pincer, Ooh. or minpin for short. They are brilliant with kids and good guard dogs. A miniature pincer, 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 like a Doberman pincer, I guess. Uh, oh, is it the grey fudgy coloured? Well, that's a Vimerana, no, isn't that's it? Vi yeah, Vimerana. Do it like a Doberman. It's black and brown, like a Doberman. <gasps> mm. I do like them. And I like, I, I mean, when they have their ears docked, they look really scary. And I, I don't like the, the tails being docked. No. But they've got big floppy ears. They're really lovely. Um, anyway, uh, fantastic. So um, thanks for that. Any more suggestions for doggies? Or a fawn-coloured boxer I'd like. Oh, yeah. Call it Flash. <laughs> ah. Oh. Hmm? I was doing ah. Oh. 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 No. <gasps> £8.95 pence well done everyone that's all sterling silver gorgeous well done okay okay oh it's easy for you to say Ross isn't it the mother of puffy pearl puffy oval oval miniature pizza <laughs> there we go all the words were there they weren't in the right order that's alright no. don't worry I very rarely say words in the right order it's underrated it is mm. I forget the names of my children quite often. <laughs> you! You! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, which one are you? <sighs> oh, uh, I, I know I've only got two. I was, gonna, I was just going to say, I'm Come so on. glad I've only got one. And the most annoying thing is when they correct me. So I'll say the wrong words. Go on, eat your dinner and it's breakfast time. He said dinner and it's breakfast. <laughs> just eat it! Just eat it! Sorry. <laughs> It's when Pippa asks her very poignant questions. Mummy, have you 
have you ever seen a flying sausage? And things like that. She asks that almost every time she has dinner. <laughs> no, Pippa, I still haven't seen a flying sausage. But I'm going to throw one at you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> there you go. Oh, right, here we go. Um, beautiful mother of pearl puffy ovals. These are a lovely shape. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, oh. Ah, yes. Ah, Mr. Bond. Here we go. <laughs> That's my specter against your specter. <laughs> so you've got your mother and <laughs> Oh, oh, it's just amazing. Oh, yeah. What time does Sean Connery get to Wimbledon? About tennis. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favourite jokes ever. <laughs> Five ninety-five. Uh, You've got to put them together, haven't you? Yeah, they work really nicely, actually. They Similar do. kind of they shape. Do. Yeah. Coffees and cream. Oh. Ooh, and then you've got your gorgeous kind of um, creaminess of the mother of pearl there. Oh, it's just so lovely. Looks like it's full of calories, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Looks like your sticky yeah. toffee pudding with caramel sauce and with cream and with ice cream and maybe a bit of custard. That's what my husband would go for. Really? STP. STP with, um, with extra... Oh, now what does he... He always calls it an STP. Because he, he, he looks on the menu and, and, and he decides what he's going to have for his meal. If he can see that there's sticky toffee pudding on the pud menu, he's like, right, I'll go down to that. And then work backwards work from there. Work backwards, yeah. yeah. Bread. And then sticky toffee pudding, <laughs> side salad, <laughs> and then two sticky toffee puddings. Five ninety-five gets you. These are lovely, aren't they? Really beautiful colours. Well done. It's like double cream, isn't it? Or clotted cream. That stuff in the, in clotted, the um, yeah. yeah, the clotted stuff. But it's got the it's got the women on the front of it. It's got the women What's on the front of it. The blue women on the front of the packet. You know the one I mean, don't you, Adam? It's got the blue women on the front of the packet of the cream. <laughs> <laughs> Avatars. He's a chef. Clotted cream. Somebody text him. Clotted cream. Okay. And it's on all the, right. And on the it's, packet. It's, it, right. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go and eat into it. Clotted cream. Blue, blue women. <laughs> don't even go there. Blue. <laughs> don't put that in. Oh yeah. This could be oh, very. No. This could bring up all sorts of different. No, Carol. Don't put that oh, in. No. Oh no. That looks nice. There it is. There it is. Rod Rodders, Rodders. No, it's a lady. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Rodders, I think it's called. Rodders. Rodders Cornish Clotted Cream. There you go. And the picture on the front of it is of blue ladies. Anyway. Ooh, she was I'm glad never said that's anything. been cleared up. <laughs> Good TV, isn't it? <laughs> Coming up. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Till these two bad boys. Mystic coated quartz and mystic coated rose quartz. Beautiful, beautiful. Are both available for pre-orders. They're so new. They arrived in the building about an hour and a hour and a bit ago. Uh, they arrived in the country earlier on today. They weren't in the country this morning. I mean, that is so cool. So cool. The price you're seeing online for pre-orders is not the price you're going to be paying today. I want them all to go. I've got 250 of each, and I have to say, they are flying. Okay, brilliant. Peanut wood. Now. Peanut wood's an amazing gemstone. This is effectively petrified wood. Mm. And it's beautiful. The inclusions which you get are like, are like peanuts, aren't they? You get these really beautiful kind of... Um, it reminds me a bit of nougat. Oh, yes, with the almonds in. Yeah, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of nougat. I love it. The inclusions you get are really different, aren't they? It's not like a stripe. It's like, um, it, it, uh, they're like... A lozenge. A lozenge-shaped inclusion. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what they are. Or a peanut-shaped um, uh, kind of inclusion, like a, you know, half a peanut. They're really, really beautiful. It's all the way from Australia, um, and it is petrified wood. Um, you know, when you get um, uh, wood which has been, um, uh, which has been fossilised, um, it will turn to stone. Things do turn to stone. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. See, look, oh, look, oh, look at the ones on the recording. They're, they're beautiful. Yeah. They Gosh, are. that's really nice. It looks Australian, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't, don't you think it looks Australian? It looks like, it looks like um, kind of... Um, um, uh, like the ground. So you've got, yeah. like, the air's rock colour and... The, and yeah, you've got Uluru and you've got oh. the Australian outback and flying doctors and... Sorry, yeah. not flying doctors, but you know. <laughs> oh, that was such a great series, though. Uh, £14.95. Absolutely gorgeous. We used to do loads of peanut wood. We haven't done any for a long, yeah, long we time. Did. Yeah. It's nice to see it, isn't it? It gives you a different kind of texture, a different kind of gemstone again. Really interesting story. Um, 
and and these three are completely different to the ones in the recording it's it's really nice so if you can multi buy please do please please do just gorgeous isn't it well and it done would work amazingly well actually with mookite because you get some of those you get some of those um colors in mookite as well don't yeah, you so you it do. would work brilliantly it would wouldn't it and also yeah. with wooden beads yes yeah with wooden beads but I, yeah with mookite it does look like a a more well, kind of monotone mukai. Mukai's yeah, got more reds yeah. in it and more kind of mustard yeah. tones, more variation, I'd but say. The the colour that you've got with those dots there, or mm. the lozenge shape, yeah, yeah. sometimes you do get that in the mukai as well, mm, that yes. same sort of... Oh, yeah, but the brachiated topi, mukai you do as yeah. well. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done, everyone. That's a lovely, lovely selection of gemstones. If you could be any gemstone, what would it be and why, Deborah? What would it be? It'd be an emerald, of course. Colombian emerald. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, that's my favourite gemstone as oh, well. well. We could both be we'll the same. Arm wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we arm wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you. wins gets to be the emerald. Oh, but you've done arm wrestling before, haven't you? I can beat Leah. <laughs> can you? Mm. She's strong as well. Right. Okay. So let's not arm wrestle. <laughs> Tiddlywinks, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> connect four, I'm a whiz at connect four. Oh, okay, I like connect four. Speed connect four. <laughs> <laughs> no time to think. No time to think. <laughs> Just put them in! <laughs> it's just a game of luck then, isn't it? So here we go. Um, coming up in 15 minutes time, honestly, I'm waiting with bated breath for these bad boys. They are absolutely, they are beyond amazing. Five o'clock, these are coming up. Oh my word. Um, so, um, uh, so mystic coated quartz, mystic coated rose quartz, they're both coming up at five o'clock they're amazing the clear quartz is a little bit more popular at the minute the rose quartz um is not far behind though honestly they're both very 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 popular i've only got 250 of each they're amazing oh pull. there it is oh you are so lovely you are aren't you hmm oh we had a beautiful strand of opal rounds this morning and i have to say these are very similar in their kind of amount of opalescence um i can't remember how much that strand was actually 10. ross that's not going to be enough is it wow. Jeez, look at that opalescence that's very beautiful nice. isn't it mm. blues greens the reds as well the warmer the tones you get, the rarer the tones are. So, so sorry, let me rephrase that. The warmer tones are the rarer tones. Uh, you're seeing um, light shining from the small and larger silica balls inside the gem. So, and if you ever get to the point where you feel your opal looks a bit lacklustre, just submerge it in water, just for a, just for just for a few minutes. When you take it out, it'll look rejuvenated because opal is made up of, of a lot of water. Um, and that over time will um, will kind of not dry up, but it but it will become more dehydrated. It's a bit like treating your emerald and kind of re-oiling it and kind of uh, resealing it. Um, it just rejuvenates a bit like when you put moisturiser on it. Just kind of it just helps uh, moisturise your skin and kind of rejuvenate your skin. And um, these are beautiful opals, I have to say. Yeah. They're on a strand where they're all bunched up together. And I sometimes think it's a little bit like being on a tube in London or on a train where it's standing room only. Everybody's on the tube. Everybody's on the train. It's rush hour. Everybody's jam packed. You've got your face in someone's in someone's armpit. You know, it's, it's horrible. It's really, really horrible. Nobody looks their best. The minute you get off the train, everyone goes, ah, oh, that's better. Now, on this strand, they're all like this. So they're not going to they're not going to have the maximum impact. As soon as you take them off the strand and you get them into daylight, their natural habitat, they're going to love it. They're going to absolutely love it. And they will look even better than they do. I mean, they look pretty amazing here anyway. Yeah. Um, but they're going to look even better. I mean, what I can see and you can see is yeah, just, it, it's it is, it is it's really good. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And I yeah. wish we could bring that across in cam uh, um, um, by camera. They're just incredible, aren't they? £34.95. Mm. I've only got 10 interest there. Facet opal is lovely. It's something which has only been done re really for the last decade or so. It's not something which has been done yeah. for um, hundreds, thousands of years. Um, you know, opal faceting is something which is relatively new. I think maybe it's quite an unusual process for opal to have um, um, applied to it and the kind of thing that um, you need specialist tools for because it's a very, very um, 
different gemstones. It's got a different kind of composition to all other gems, to many other gemstones. It's made up of a huge um, kind of density of water. So it, 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 will, it, will, it will be very, very different to facet than, a, than an agate, for instance, mm. or a lapis lazuli, which is a reasonably kind of arid gemstone, or even a turquoise, again, which is a very, very kind of um, dry gemstone. Beautiful quality. Well done. 34 95 Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. What would you do with this, um, Deb? I, I would get sterling silver wire and I'd separate it out by rosary linking. You, you know, like the pearl chain that we had mm. earlier? I'd do yeah. that with this. So That's little nice sections of, of sterling chain in between and then just dot these throughout because you'll get the movement, you'll get the light coming mm. to them. Yeah. And you'll just see all those colours just pinging out. Imagine wearing that layered up in the, in the summer and you get all the colour and it'd just be beautiful. Absolutely. And mm. I'm thinking about, you know, the, the beautiful bracelet yeah. that you have on here. This kind of rosy yeah. linking suits so many of... gemstones. If you've got a gemstone that's got loads of intense colour or loads of in yeah. unusual inclusions or it needs light, this... Do, it, it works so well. Oh, gosh, it does. It really, yeah. really does. It's the ultimate way to kind of set your gemstones. If you've got the patience, which Deb has. Or find someone who has the patience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> find someone who has the patience. It's funny, I've got lots of patience in certain areas, but um, but I don't have patience in other areas. I've got patience with doing things like jigsaws. I love doing jigsaws. See, I, I, I can't do jigsaws. Can you not? Nope. I don't. I just get irritated. Do you? Yeah. I'm oh. really annoyed with them. I love no. it. No. Oh, dear. Never do it again, Dear then. me. Nope. Stroppy poodle. I am. Um, yeah. Right. Not long. <laughs> Would it be wrong to eat these gemstones? Yeah, well, yes, it would mm. be. But I, I just, I look at... <gasps> that is a treasure. That is a handful of treasure. You're yeah. right. Oh, I just remembered. I had, <sighs> years and years and years ago, probably about 25 years ago, a plastic necklace... Don't listen to her. The, the yeah. was were cubes, rough cubes, and had those sorts of colours on. And I loved it and loved it. But all of the colour wore off and it was light and a bit feeble feeling when you wore it. Flimsy. It's shoddy. Flimsy it was. Well, these aren't. But those, oh, that's just like, that would feel like heaven instead heaven of flimsy. Heaven on a strand. Don't touch them. It's like the elf in our house. The elf. You can't touch the elf. He'll lose his magic. Oh yes, yes. Don't touch the elf. Uh, is it right. naughty? Hmm? Is it naughty or what? Not behaved, really. Elf? No. Not really. To be honest, I'm so tired before I go to bed. I don't <laughs> yes. have time to. I don't have time to kind of uh, put him yeah. in interesting positions and you know, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Just sit on the shelf and Elf be quiet. on the shelf. You know yeah. what Paul Demers, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ross, I am listening, darling. Where am I? Am I in jewellery maker? I am at jewellery maker. Do you know what? I'm doing a double on Wednesday as well. Are you? I don't know who the um, guest designer is. There's no guest designer in the morning show. <laughs> Please. That's not me. Any of our guest designers no. watching? Do you fancy? No. Why is there no guest designer? On I don't know, but I've looked at the schedule today. There's no guest designer. That I, I mean, could on see. the 11th. That's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's no good. No. Soz. 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 Sozer. Here we go. Adam, it might be you. <laughs> Making his. Oh, I wonder whether it's going to be. Um... Oh. What's his name from York? Mm. Oh, that could be exciting. Ooh. Ah, that's who it is. There we go. Ah, that'll be why. Well, that is exciting. Here we go. So, Tanzanite micro fasted rondelles. Um, they are under a what? Under a fiver. You really? cheeky little tinker. That's amazing. <laughs> 20 of these for £4.95. pence. How dare you, wow. Ross? This is Tanzanite. How very dare you. This is Tanzanite. 
You're making Tanzanite disgustingly affordable, <laughs> aren't you? He's laughing, an evil, an it evil was laugh. Quite an evil little. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Get those. Any any more horrible puns? Have I have I offended people? I think I've offended people. They stopped texting in. <laughs> I've literally used all of these. <gasps> I've used that one. Who delivers presents to baby sharks at Christmas? Santa Jaws. Um, I've done all that. I've done 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 all those. Oh no, this is really bad, isn't it? A bin lorry. Yeah, I've done that one. Uh, ice caps. Yeah, I've done that one. Logbook. Tinselitis. One day my prince will come. Yeah, Nervous Wreck. Elvis Presley. Oh, what? Yeah, I've done that one. Oh no. How many letters are there in the alphabet at Christmas? 25. There's no L. <laughs> Yeah, I have. Oh, there you go. What do you get if you lie under a cow? A pat on the head. <laughs> that is, that is it. That is, oh, there we go. What time did, what, what, what time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? Time to get a new one. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I do like what, what happened to Santa when he went to, when he went speed dating. <laughs> he pulled a cracker. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, so there we go. Those are my jokes. That is, I'm completely out now of jokes. Sorry, everyone. Deborah's messaged in. Regarding the what? Does anyone else think they look like magical Turkish delight? Yes, mm. they do. What these, Deborah? <gasps> Deborah. Deborah. Yeah. Mm. Magical Turkish delight. <whistles> they are absolutely amazing. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. Trying to multitask, <laughs> which generally isn't, you know, gen it's not normally a problem. It is. It is at the minute. E -b 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 -b. E -b 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 -b. Right, okay, let's do very, 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 very quickly. Oh, what is this? <gasps> oh my. It's a Herkimer. Herkimer. <gasps> I have not seen Herkimer quartz for about a year. Have you never heard of it? Oh my gosh. Ross? Ross? Guess where this gemstone's from? Guess where it's from? Guess where it's mined? No. Guess where it's mined? The most unlikely place for gemstone mining in the world. No. no. Not Alaska. Not the moon. No. The city that never sleeps. Didn't it? New York. I was, was going to yes! say. Carol's on her way back from there on a flight. Now. I am on my way back. I'm just, I'm in the turning circle yeah. outside Heathrow. Still talking. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Everyone's around me is asleep. Oh, God, no. Um, Herkima Quartz is astonishing. I love it. It's mined. Um, it says it's from Afghanistan. It's not. Oh, no. It's from New York. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. This is where you get these really amazing double kind of... Dub, uh, they've got these beautiful kind of spear-ended at uh, 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 both ends... Um, quartz inclusions they are oh, honestly I love it it's absolutely incredible we launched this gemstone when we did my last show before I went on maternity leave the first time uh, before the first sproglet was born and <laughs> look at this one here I mean that, yeah, it's, I, that I, one's I adore gorgeous. I love this that. gemstone yeah. <gasps> look at that whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. 15 chances available. If you love your uh, rutilated quartz, this one is an absolute dead set. You've got to get it. It is amazing. It looks like something from the future. It looks like it holds the key to the universe, I think. It's just incredible. Look at the natural facets you're getting on there. It's exquisitely beautiful, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's lovely. Love, 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 and love, I lo love. I love the shades of and tones that you get in there yeah. as well. It's and it looks quite gritty. I yeah. really love that grittiness. It looks so yeah. imperfect, imperfectly perfect. Please mm -hmm. do not go anywhere. You can't afford to go anywhere because I've got two of the best strands of the day. My two favorite strands of the day coming up in about three minutes time. This is gonna rock your world. They're available on pre-orders, get them before they go. But this is absolutely superb. Mm -hmm. Mystic clear quartz and mystic rose quartz coming up in just a couple of seconds. Do not go anywhere. These are gonna sell out in seconds. It's gonna be absolutely superb. Don't go anywhere.
buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. If you'd like more information on up-and-coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewellery Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? For a limited time we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Wake up and tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our early bird special. We have some great offers, amazing deals and great prices to bring to you. So that's 8am every morning and you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. Our Jewellery Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. I am seriously so excited about this. This is, this is, I tell you something, this is the product I've been waiting for all week. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I've been so, I've been so excited about this and it's only been in the building for the last hour and a half. I was kind of building this up, this up in my head as to what it was going to look like. I thought, are they going to be rounds? Are they going to be nuggets? And if they're nuggets, are they going to be a regular? Are they going to be, this has exceeded all of my expectations. I'm excited. I am, honestly, this is amazing. We've had so many texts in about this as well. Um, I've got two strands. I've got two strands of mystic coated quartz. Um, I've got rose quartz, which I have to say, I love the colour on. It's very obvious that it's rose quartz and it's got that beautiful, delicate pink tone to it. Really beautiful. You've got, this is so cool the way it's been done. You've got a, a, a coated facet, uh, sorry, an uncoated facet and a coated facet. It's honestly, it's just, it's just so been, it's been so beautifully thought out. Now, this one's beautiful. We're going to play this one in a minute. But first, 
We're going to do the clear quartz. Now, I've only got about 220, 250 of each one of these, OK? I'll be honest with you, the majority of this one is already gone, OK? But if you're on the phones now, I'm going to guarantee that you can pretty much get it, OK? But, well, I say that. It depends how quickly people come through on the website and get it. But Because a load of these have already gone. This is honestly... This is one of my strands of the year, and we're in December. You know, it is absolutely, I'm so gushy over this. I just, I just, I love, 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 love the quality. This is Christmas in a strand for me. This is a celebration in a strand, whatever yeah. that may be. It's absolutely exquisite, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. It's like all of the unicorn and all of the mermaid and all of the sort of magical stuff and yeah. fairies and everything all in a strand and to be honest um deb whenever we do anything to do with unicorns or, or mermaids or dragon's eye like lovely laura mm. binder who's on mm. the late show tonight mythical creatures it always absolutely flies it evokes yeah. such a, an excitement it brings out the child in everyone doesn't it it, yeah. it brings out the wonderment in everybody um Again, when you look at a strand like this, you'll be a bit blinded by the beauty of the whole thing. There are, on this strand, approximately, we have, we're not bringing graphics live yet, it's not fair to do that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, so 16 on here. Um, each one of these has got its own beauty. Some of these are more coated than others. This one here is really, really, really coated. But again, we've only gone for every other facet being coated. And I like that. If we'd have gone for every single facet, I think it, it might be, be a bit yeah. overkill, to be honest. So that's been facet. Sorry, that's been um, uh, coated. That hasn't been coated. That has been coated. That hasn't. You can see the kind of the chisel marks on them. You can yeah. see the ch the way the chisel, or uh, maybe it's not called a chisel, but you can see how these have been cut into rough shapes. When you get a gemstone which is a rondella around. It doesn't start off life like that. Obviously, it has to be mined, and then it's cut, and, and then it's brought to um, the cutting house in the rough. It's then taken and it's cut into um, blocks like these, and then it's cut into the rough shape, and then it's drilled and faceted and all this kind of stuff. So this is kind of like this is how a lot of gemstones look before they are cut into the um, into the shape that they'll end up being. Um, this is a really really lovely way to see a gemstone, though. They look like ice cubes. Um, you can see the chisel marks on them. I love the way they've been drilled. They've got very generous drill holes going through them, I have to say. And I'd love to see these with um, um, something completely different. So mm. something with a very regimented shape, like a Swarovski. And a Swarovski oh, yeah. AB coated, you know, would be lovely. Similar kind of a, a similar kind of rainbow colour, but a really regimented shape. Mm. Might be a nice way of seeing it. Or something like jet black or something. Oh, I don't know. Spinel, maybe. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just over the moon with these. Somebody, we've had loads of text in from people. Text us now. Let us know what you're thinking of them. But please make sure that you get yours before you even think about texting in. I have 250, sorry, 220 available. I, it, sorry, it was 250. Already... I've had dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens have gone, okay? We're about to bring the graphics live in three, two, one. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Honestly, this is, this is my product, my strand of the week, of the month. I, can, I, can, I can't think of many strands that I've been, oh my gosh, look at that! <laughs> I can't think of many strands that have excited me as much as this over the last 12 months. I adore this, Deb. It's absolutely yes, insanely beautiful. Now, by the way, yeah. if, you're, if, you're, if you've got this on pre-order, or if you're coming through on the website now, the price you can see is not the price, okay? So it's going all over the country. I've got dozens and dozens of names. Really, I've got too many names to give everybody name checks, but just to give you a few uh, places, Somerset County, Durham, East Riding of Yorkshire, West Midlands, East Midlands, uh, Merseyside, Essex, North Yorkshire, Devon, Glamorgan, Berkshire, Hertfordshire, Norfolk, Dumfries and Galway, Leicestershire, Isle of Wight, Coventry, Derbyshire, Berkshire, Essex, Devon, County Armagh, Lincolnshire, County Durham, Cardiff, East Sussex, Cardiff, County Durham, Derbyshire, London, County Cork, Staffordshire, Middlesex, oh, oh it's just loads, I mean, far too many places, far too many people to give you all names. Checks, but honestly, it is absolutely beautiful. Now, 
Let's have a think. What would you use these as? What would you do with these, Deb? Would you do anything with them? Nothing? Would you put them in the bottom of a vase? Uh, would you keep Ooh, them in, that would uh, be in nice. lovely kind of antique or kind of retro style champagne glasses? You know, the big kind of um, yeah. wide ones. Yeah. Would you... Um, have them as a table decoration would i mean uh, or would you use them in jewelry or light pull I, a light pull made out yeah. of these would be exquisite that would be amazing wouldn't it something yeah. big what yeah. would you do with these lovey um i would with Gosh. with that one i would actually recreate the necklace that i bought years and years and years yes, ago okay, and looked yeah. really awful and tatty and all it was was um it was on a basically beading thread with crimp tubes that were pinched mm. to hold each <laughs> of the blocks in place mm. and spaced around them. It was so simple, but it just looked really effective. But these would actually, they'd have um, like a, a weight about them. Yeah. And you'd put it on and you'd just think, yeah, I love these. Yeah, they're absolutely. I'd, so I'd make, yeah, they are absolutely perfect. Okay, first off, I'd have to get two strands. Fact. I mean, I've got people buying twos and threes. Cillin in California, you've got three, darling. Kirsten in Surrey, you've got two. Carol in West Midlands. I mean, names are going off the screen, so I can't say all the multi bidders, but a lot of you have come through to get twos and threes. First of all, I'd have to get at least two, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I know that whatever I make, I'm going to make for me. And I know that people are going to see that. My friends and yeah. family are going to see that and go, can I, can I, can I have, can I have what yeah. you've just made. It's so unusual. You know when you see something that looks so different and you go, I've got to have that. I've got to, got to, got to have that. I really want one of those. So much inspiration coming through from you, which is really lovely to see. Thank you so much, my loves. Um, I'd make a slider bracelet with these and Shirovsky either side. You see, that's such a lovely idea, but such a simple mm. idea. I'd definitely put this with Shirovsky. That for me, I, I, I definitely would. Because you're seeing precision cut versus rustic, aren't yeah. you? Um, Charlene says, um, I would, uh, I would what? I would set them with sterling silver tube spacers oh, to nice, really yeah. make the most of them. Space That's a map. nice idea. Set them with yeah. flex right. One on a piece of yeah. flex right would be enough, wouldn't it? They are, I mean, all together, all together on the strand, they are very powerful, aren't they? But do you know what? I think, let's just ignore all the others. The smallest one on the strand, that one there. That's a beauty. That in a ring. Definitely a ring. That in a I ring. Yeah. Can you imagine that in a ring? Yeah. Cool. I would love one of those as a ring. That is, an, that is a galaxy in a ring. Honestly, it's just amazing. Okay. Online. Now, brace yourselves, everybody. Online, this is the price you can see. I think this is hideously low, but anyway. Now... This strand is so new that this morning when I spoke to lovely Carrie from our scheduling team and I said, have you got anything sparkly? Have you got anything a bit, ooh? She said, no, nothing. She said, if anything comes in, you can have it. This landed this morning in the country. This arrived at our warehouse about lunchtime and it was sent over to us. It was rushed through the vault. <clears throat> All the stock's been allocated and it arrived in the building about an hour and a half ago. That's how reactive we can be, okay? This strand didn't exist yesterday. It wasn't in the country yesterday. It was still in transit yesterday. That's how new this strand is, okay? We have not done anything like this. And actually, if we just sat down and if this had gone to a, to a, to a meeting, because quite often we get strands in way before they're due to come to air, which mm. is lovely. But this is one of these cases where this has literally been on and we're putting it to air straight away. Normally, this would be part of a meeting and the scheduling team would sit down with our managers and we'd say, right, so this is going to be the deal of the day, because this is deal of the day material, isn't it? And it's on a mid-show. I mean, this is really special stuff. This is, you, you know, you sit down, you sit down here, um, you know, with a strand like this in a manager's meeting and you say, right, so this is going to be deal of the day. We've never done anything like this before. How much do you think it should be? 50 quid. 50 quid. Well, already we're at £19.95. I'm not being funny, but if you use these, if you use these as individuals to make pendants, to make rings, solitaires, I mean, stuff it. I mean, I have, I'd have to get two strands. I'd have to use one. Um, and make individual rings. I mean, that is exquisite. Do you remember in the 90s, the big trend for mood rings? Yes, um, yeah. That is, you know, that is, that is even more beautiful, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's just incredible. And that doesn't, you know, that, that colour isn't... I mean, that colour is fleeting. It's beautiful. It's moving. It's alive. It's absolutely exquisite. Each one of these in a ring. I mean, the larger ones, 
That, I mean, that's a, for me, that's a 20, 30 pound ring. And you're getting on this strand. Did I say 18? I think I said 18 or 16. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, 14, 16 on the strand. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of money you can make there. Mm. Liz says, wowee, I need these brilliant Christmas designs uh, buzzing in my head right now. Earrings, rings, pendants. Do you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you look at a strand like this and it just takes a really special strand and it just, it's like yeah. lighting a touch, uh, lighting the touch paper. It just yeah. ignites, it just ignites inspiration. We've had so many inspirational texts coming through and it's so lovely to know that we've got this to know that we've got this product really, really right. A lot of people texting in saying that they match this with pearls. Yeah. Now that's a nice idea. You've I got serenity and dazzling Christmassy-ness. Those silver pearls we had earlier. Yes, perfect. the silver with pearls these. earlier on. Yeah. Now, 19 pounds 95 is great. It's not your price. How low do you want to go, Ross? Oh my gosh, gee whiz. Okay, right, before we, before we do this, you see this strand? If you think you can afford another one today, can I just give you a bit of advice? Just do it. Just do it because you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. But each strand is gonna be so different to the next one. Just do it. We're gonna take the price down for you, okay? This is a strand, I mean, I've worked with gemstones for almost a decade. I've never seen a strand of gemstones like this. This is, this is like something, this is like a re, this is a rekindling my, my love with coated gemstones. I have never seen, I have never seen, I've never seen a strand like this in my life where you can physically see the chisel marks, where you can physically mm. see the, the connection of the lapidrist with the gemstone. You can see that partnership. Yeah. You can see yeah. the effort that goes into cutting these gemstones. You can physically see the physically see the effort. When you see a beautifully faceted agate and it's been beautifully checkable faceted, yes, you can appreciate it's a beautiful thing. What you're seeing here is the effort, is the physical taps, is the actual stroke marks. It's like when you buy an oil painting or when you look at an oil painting and you're seeing the physical brush strokes. That's what gives the you the connection to the piece of art. It's that connection with the artist. And you're seeing the connection with the lapidrist here. Now I've got millions of you coming through on the phone lines. Do you know what? We're going to save you a bit of money here today. Um, I think this, if this is a deal of the day, it could have been 50 quid. But do you know what? It's not a deal of the day. It's on a mid-show. It's quarter past five. Um, I'm so excited that we've got this for you today. The price you're going to see, honestly, I've got so many people there. You've got to do this now. Do it now. Don't leave it to chance. If you can multi-buy, please, please do. It'll be well worth it. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. Best price ever, I think. I think this is the, one of the best deals we've ever done on Jewelry Maker. Ow. £14.95. pence. That is yes. amazing. And do you know something, Deb? If we'd have, if we'd have left this at 19 95 and if we'd have recapped it later in the show, if they'd have recapped it on mm -hmm. the late show, mm -hmm. it would have completely sold out. Yep. We've taken it to 14 95 because we want them all to go now. Let's sell this out now. I've got loads of people. No, so many names. I still need mine. Oh, Deb, I know. I don't think you're going to order it. <laughs> Andrea Francis, Helen, a collector, Christine, Kathy, Christine, Sh Sharon, Stephanie, Brenda, Leslie. The amount of multi bidders is off the scale. Sharon, Carolyn, Mary Ann, Molly, uh, Pauline, Tina, Linda, June, collector, Marjorie, Linda, collector, Tina. Christine, Susie, Pamela, Sally, Collector. These are the names. I'm reading these names off as people are coming through. I'm not even reading the names that came in kind of 10 minutes ago. I'm reading the names as they come through. Gail, uh, uh, um, uh, Collector, Sally, Tina, Christine, Susie, Pamela, Pat, Doreen, Brenda, Sillin, Yulva, Collector, Stephanie, Joan. Oh, my word. There's about a queue. Uh, sorry, there's about a minute queue on the phone lines there. Just, just be patient. We'll answer your call as soon as How we can. Exciting. That is Christmas. That is a celebration. It's a beauteous strand. And we've still got the rose quartz to do. Okay, just let you know, I've still got the rose quartz to come. I've still got the rose quartz to do. There. Oh, mop, 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 mop. So gorgeous. Well done. And um, of the 250 that we had, I have to say, I mean, I've got, I've got double figures left. I've got double figures left. Um, the phone lines, if you want to give us a call now, you should get through reasonably quickly. Our call centre team are on it this evening. I have to say they are on it. 
Well done. Loads of people using baskets. Rosalind, Rose, Gail, Pi, um, um, Helen, Lynn, uh, Collector, Encarna, Angela, Mandy, Collector, Celeste, Marianne, Collector, Sue. You've all got this in your baskets. Don't leave it to chance as Gladys has just bought two. So is Malcolm. So Charlotte, so Sharon, Liz has bought two. Christine's got two. Stephanie, oh my word, there are far too many people coming through to multiply for me to oh. name check you all. You know what would look incredible? If you, if you decorate up your um, dinner table for Christmas. I know exactly what you're going to say. Candles. And these you could just make little suspended oh, of candlesticks. Almost oh. like little um, chandeliers for your candlesticks and things. And all the light That's from the candles. That's such a lovely idea. That would look incredible, wouldn't See, it? See, I, I, I was thinking of something completely different then. I was just thinking about just scattering them on the, on, that would, on, on yeah. the table. Oh, I'd need some for that as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they are that beautiful. And then the rest of the year, you can have them in a lovely vase. You yeah. can put them at the bottom of a vase of flowers. Because flowers look a bit icky, don't they? When they're just, you know, it's just the stems yeah, and the flower. The uh, sorry, in the yeah. water. Excuse me. That yeah. is amazing. That is absolutely superb. They're glorious. I love it. You'd have to test it with, is it vinegar you test the gemstones with? But you'd have to test it to see whether you can. I don't know if you, mm, no, maybe not. I was going to say you could put them in your, uh, put, put, put them in your, um, in, in your fish tank. That would be amazing. <laughs> some gemstones you can. You put them yeah. in the bottom of your fish tank, yeah. I don't know about these though, because they're coated. Probably they're coated, not. yeah. Probably not. Nice idea though. Well done, it's going all over the country, it's going all over the world. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, oh, I'm just honestly, that is, that is one of the best strands I've seen this year. I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. Well done. Superb. Still got some left, still got people coming through. Oh, with those, um, the pearls, the long pearls. A lot of people are saying that they'd set these with pearls. I, I totally would, get that. I would, because you've got all the pattern and colour and texture. The pearlescence. You've got the pearlescence. The pearlescence. And it's the same colours, complementary. Oh, mamma mia. When are we doing these beautiful The rose quartz. Wow. Of this strand of pearls, seven oh. chances. Gee whiz. Right. Oh, well, that was exciting. Oh, my goodness me. Look. Oh, nice. That is amazing. Let's just look. Let's ignore all of these just for a minute because otherwise okay. you end up getting pearl blindness. You know, when you get pearl blindness, you look at the entire strand. Yeah, it's a bit like snow blind, yeah. You get, your brain can't take it you all You can't in. see them all. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you're in a perfume shop and you smell too many perfumes. Yeah. They all smell the same then. So you have to yeah. smell um, uh, coffee beans. This that is, is really nice, actually. That is, that because is, I, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely it's, love that. It's like the sort of dress that a fairy would wear on oh. top of your Christmas tree. Oh, you're amazing, yes. Isn't it? Do you remember mm. the Angelina fibres? Yes, that's, yes. It's that yeah. colour. Yeah, it is. Coated, uncoated. Coated, uncoated. It's nice. We haven't we haven't over gilded the lily. Don't over gild the lily. Look, <laughs> coated, uncoated, coated, and again, you can see the physical effort, the physical brush strokes, if you like, yeah. of the lapidrist. There's who's, a strength to them, isn't there? Yes, today? that's exactly it. You can sense the strength yeah. of. It's like when you see a piece of hand-turned wood, isn't it? Mm. And it's really beautiful. And it's not going to be perfect. It's imperfectly perfect. And it's just perfect. They are exquisite. Had we coated all of the facets, the side facets aren't going to be um, um, uh, coated either. Had we coated all the facets, you wouldn't be getting a sense of the gemstone no and you'd i don't, lose the shape you would and form. i don't yeah. think you'd get the glow that you're getting because the glow no. no light would be able to get into these facets if they were if they into these sides had they been coated yeah um some of them this one here 
I think that is one of the most beautifully coated gemstones I've ever seen in my life. That one right there. The colours in that are like a sunset. I've never seen colours like that. That's absolutely exquisite. It's like Pampradasha Sapphire, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's yeah. the way that that's been coated. This is the way that this one's been coated. It's like a sheet of metallic it's, it's like foil neon, almost. Um, yes. Yeah, like a holographic foil. It's like the Aurora the Borealis. It's abs Wow. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have got a decent quantity of this. Can I just say that the rose quartz, um, I have to say, oh, I am drawn to the rose quartz a little bit more than the clear quartz. And the reason for that is, for me, rose quartz is a really special gemstone. It's a gemstone synonymous with romance, friendship, unity. I would love to get this strand. And on this strand, there are three, six, nine of your rose quartz i would love it's a bigger carrot weight as well than the rose uh, sorry than the coated uh, mystic coated um, um uh, clear quartz there's 20 carats more you're going to be getting here i would love to take each one of these and make it into a little key charm or into mm. a little into a little kind of trinket that i can give to my friends my nearest and dearest my sister my mom you know people who i really really care about they are so beautiful. I'd love to make something for my daughters as well with this because they would just, ab they'd absolutely love these coated gemstones. And for me, it's a really powerful gemstone. Rose quartz is a really powerful gemstone. Now, again, on pre-orders, this has been immensely popular. Like, ridiculous, okay? Unprecedented. Considering this, normally, a strand, a deal of the day, will be promoted for... A week maybe depending on what the price is depending on what it is whether we've got it in stock whether it's landed you know whether it's arrived in the country if it's arrived in the country we'll promote it for about a week okay these arrived in the building these arrived in the country at lunchtime they arrived in the building about two hours ago that is it that is it so without even without that enormous big extended promo mm. it just shows that when we find the right strands mm -hmm. boom oh mm. my word now, graphics are live. You're just going to have to go for it. It's a free-for-all, okay? Quantity-wise, here, I've got slightly less available. I don't know about you, Deb. I am drawn more to the rose quartz. I'm drawn more to this strand. I feel, I don't know, I feel more of affinity with this strand. This I'd, one here is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. I, I feel that this, that the rose quartz looks more like a gemstone though it's softer yes it's almost like the the fact that you've got the the rose quartz <gasps> color in there oh, has wow. has softened the edges yeah of of the um the coating if you like if that makes sense and the other one is a bit sharper yes. in terms of of the color play. yes yes you're right i have to say i think we've been very lucky to have either of these strands oh, on today's show yeah. you've gone absolutely nuts for these already it's going to essex west midlands north yorkshire cheshire berkshire hertfordshire monmouthshire california lincolnshire cardiff hampshire devon yorkshire wiltshire surrey wiltshire merseyside leicester essex i mean it's gone absolutely bananas and i do have multi bidders coming through to get this it is absolutely incredible and um, imagine what you could do with this so, so again you know whether it's going to be oh my word you need to call in early please don't put this in your baskets please don't put it in your baskets because it will literally it will literally sell out you've got to start checking out now beat the cues on the phone lines most of the people coming through to get this are web bidders one pmp don't forget of just 395 this is a brand new strand this is how we do it mm. you know if you're a new customer you'll get this you'll pay for your pmp which is just 395 and you'll get two free strands of genuine gemstones as well isn't that the most gorgeous quality the most gorgeous color i have to say i'm drawn more to this strand here just because of its delicate pink kind of ballerina kind of colors it, it, it's just yeah. it's just really really pretty it's softer yeah now uh, the price you can see on our website at the minute oh I'd pay £20 for each one of these. Sylvia's just messaged in. How can you pick? Just get them both. That's what she says. Do you know what? You're right, darling. You're right. You're absolutely right, lovey. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those gorgeous colours there.
magical, ethereal. And I never, ever, not in my wildest dreams, have you ever seen a gemstone strand like this before? I have never in my life seen a gemstone strand like this before. This is different to anything I've ever seen. Mystic mm. coated gemstones, normally they're very, very heavily faceted. Yes. Very regular sizes, whether it's rondelles or pear drops, you know, whatever they may be. They're never big chunks like this. They're never no. kind of chiseled chunks where you can see the connection of the gemstone to the lapidus, where you can see. And back to the earth yes. as well. You can see that whole story in cool. each single gemstone, can't you? Oh, they're just Which incredible. Is and sometimes, you know, this is, this is the whole thing, Deb. We bang on trend with this because quite often, yeah. you, know, you, you know, we talk about, you know, recently, the beauty of wearing rough nuggets, mm -hmm. rough gemstones, raw diamonds, you know, that kind of yeah. thing. And that's yeah. really, really lovely. Isn't it nice to give this a really lovely spin, a really pretty spin? Something which is very rustic, something which is really kind of earthy and giving it a really beautiful, it's like giving it a lick of paint. It's like giving it just a bit of, a bit of an edge, a bit of an air of grace, isn't it? Mm. And it makes it look like a completely different gemstone. They go from looking really rustic and really earthy and really stony to looking like magical beings. They really, really do. Yeah. Now, we are going to take the price point down on this. I've got a lot of people there. I've got tons of you putting... It's gone, it's gone to California a couple of times, actually. Celine and Nina, well done to you both, my loves. Loads of you with these in baskets. It is unbelievably beautiful. Um, uh, you'll get this in time for Christmas. Definitely, if you're in the UK, you'll get this in time for Christmas. Imagine what you're going to be able to make. we put the other strand at the bottom of the screen for you as well, which is great to see. Um... How would you feel if I was to say to you we can do the same price for this that we did for the uh, clear quartz? Now, really, this should be, this should be more considered because it's rose quartz. It's 20 carats more. The gemstones are bigger. Mm -hmm. It should be more. It should be more considered. It's not going to be, okay? We're going to do it for the same price. I don't know how we're doing this. And honestly, I, I, thank you very, very much to our scheduling and our buying team for, for popping this in our show today and entrusting this with us. We knew it was going to work. We knew that everybody was going to absolutely love this. Please come through on the phone lines as quickly as you can. Your deal today, £14.95. That is amazing. Any other day of the week, this should have been the deal of the day. You know, it would be a deal of the day and it would be maybe even twice the price where we are today. This has literally arrived in the country today. It arrived in the building a couple of hours ago and we're, we're lucky enough to be able to do it today for this incredible price point. But that is, that could be, I mean, if we'd have had more strands of this over the year, this could have been product of the year. It's so yeah, different. Yeah. It's so avant-garde. It's just so, it's so out there. It's so different. But sometimes the strangest ideas work. You know, let's take a gemstone where you can see the chisel marks, where you can see where we're not saying it's a beautifully faceted gemstone, where you can see the really gorgeous rustic shapes, the very essence, the very soul of the gemstone. Let's do that and let's put a really gorgeous, pretty coating on it. It's just incredible. There's loads of people texting and saying that they've got both of these. You know, this, this, this is a big, That's brave great. strand, a big, mm. brave strand. But do whatever you like. You know, you can, you can use them as individuals, make rings, make pendants out of them sell them as individual gemstones, make marla necklaces out of these, or, you know, use a whole load of them, make a really beautiful beaded bead and make them into a gorgeous light pull. You know, it's entirely up to you. Just one, if you take the last one on the strand and yeah. hold it up so you've got the tassel hanging down, yeah. just one on a long line chain with the tassel on the bottom, <laughs> and it's, it's absolutely perfect the way that works. Oh, isn't that stunning? Look at that. The light is going to love that. The light yeah. is going to catch that so, so beautifully. You, yeah, it's going to move all the time, constantly. You'll have people just coming up to you in the street if you're wearing that. Yeah, you really will do. It, 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 goes, back to, it goes back to kind of um, uh, primitive man, doesn't it? Um, mm. what, what, what are we attracted by? You think about what are the, what are the fears, what are the things and the, and, and the, um, and the uh, what are the characteristics, not characteristics, what are the... What are the natural things that we are born with? We're born with three fears. I think it's three fears. A fear of loud noises, a fear of falling, and a fear of something else. No, not the dark. I think it's a fear of loud noises and a fear of falling. I think those are the only, yeah, three, three kind of natural th things that we're born with. The natural instincts, there we go, that we're born with. Yeah. 
But from primitive man, and this is through evolution, what are we naturally attracted by? We're naturally attracted by light, because light can mean fire. It can mean, it can mean um, you know, when, when we used to go um, hunting for prey, um, light can mean the reflection of, 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 of sun off an animal's back. It can, it, it can mean a number of different things. What you're getting here is light, and you're getting loads of it, and you're getting loads of color. So naturally, it's going to bring out the inner magpie in you, the inner kind of primitive man. It's going to be appealing. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be enchanting. And you're going to look at it. I mean, I'm looking at it now, and I'm getting lost in these gemstones. They're exquisite. So yeah. many people coming through to get this. Honestly, you have you have shown your enthusiasm so much for these two brand new trends, and I'm so pleased, and I'm really, really relieved actually, because um, you know we so wanted to bring this to air today. And I'm so glad we, hung, we, we kind of hung off until, until this time to bring these to you. But well done. Massive congratulations. You can still get both. There's still a little bit of quantity left for the clear quartz. Um, and, and the rose quartz, again, 14.95. But wow. I think we've made jewelry making history there. Yeah. I honestly think we really do. That is cool. amazing. Well really done, cool. everyone. Gorgeous. Thank you very much for getting those recordings as well. Amazing. Ooh. And breathe. <laughs> Thinking about my dinner now. Are you starving? Are you right, right? What do you think you're having for your dinner? Chips or pizza? Fish and chips. Go on, run through. What do you have? For, what, what what do you have from the chippy? Big bit of cod. Chips. If you can afford it, I know it's expensive, isn't it, cod? <laughs> I'll go for haddock. I, I prefer haddock. Scraps? <laughs> Do, can you just ask for them? Scraps. I, I don't think you could just go in off the street and say, I'll just have scraps. <laughs> I love scraps. They're my favourite bit. Oh, no, I won't want them for free. I'll pay for them. Oh. I love scraps. Oh, they're my favourite. Curry sauce I love. Gravy I love. I just love it. <laughs> Food. Yeah. Just general food, yeah. yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Anyway, here we go. Pearls, we've got like 10 of these. Seven? Seven, Ross? That's not going to be enough. Well, you say you're sorry. I don't know if you really are. Oh, right, okay. Seven available. Graphics alive. This is one of our strands from our newest pearl supplier, who's UK based. Lovely bunch of people. They're lovely. Um, they are awesome. They do look good enough to eat, don't they? Mm. And they've got a rectangular shaped um, nucleus. So you've got this really lovely um, shape. The nacre on these pearls is really high quality, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is. It's satiny smooth. It, yeah, yeah. Silky and glossy and just the colour seems to... The, the colour just seems to be on the surface but then deep into it and as well and the you've got yeah. almost layers going on. They are just glorious, aren't they? They've yeah. got some really, really beautiful qualities going through them. Um, right, so your freshwater culture pearls. Um, uh, seven, well, not anymore, um, available. Um, right, um, price is amazing. Can't actually speak in sentences anymore, sorry. <laughs> Those two strands really took it out of me. Do you know what I do? I just take a sterling silver head pin and pop one pearl on, leave the head pin long so you've still got that elongation, elongated sort mm. of length, mm. elegant, and loop on the end and you're done. It take you, I don't know, make a pair of earrings in about 30 seconds. And they, they would look so expensive. They so would, wouldn't end. they? Yeah, really classy as well. Nice. Susie and Pat, well done to you, my lovelies. I've got five chances left. Um, when I was talking to our pearl suppliers about this strand, um, and I said, how popular, because they supply pearls to lots of different retailers, I said, how popular are these kind of unusually shaped pearls? And they said, they're really, really popular. They're really contemporary. People yeah. love something a bit different sometimes. You don't necessarily yeah. want your classic pearls. They're Bewa styled. They're definitely not Bewa pearls, because um, uh, they're, they're rectangular shaped pearls. But there's a little nod to that kind of elongated Biwa shape, isn't it? But yeah, with a really yeah. lovely, smooth, glossy appearance rather than the kind of the tree bark appearance of your, um, of your beautiful Biwas. They're gorgeous, aren't they? We've had some absolute beauties on today's show, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We've got these beauties coming up as well. Um, is that bronzite? I don't know. I don't, is it, it looks bron like bronzite? No, it's not. Is it bronzite? Gore, wowza. Yeah, I've been looking at that. And looks thinking. like... 
Looks like gold in a gemstone. Yeah. Have you seen the spacer beads in between these? No. Let's see. The spacer beads are like amber. Oh. They're gorgeous. You I love those. Are so beautiful to <laughs> me. Can't you see? Ow. Complete silence there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, miss my doggy. Old Maxie Moo Moo. Pippa told me yesterday, Maxie's in heaven, mummy. I said, yes, I, I, I know, sweetheart. Gee whiz. She brings it up just every so often. Oh. He's in heaven with Monty. Monty's my mum and dad's dog. Oh, dear. Oh. They're all there in an amazing time eating bones and sniffing whatever's <laughs> you know the things that dogs do hmm. and you always say stop doing that but um yeah they can just do as much of it as they like can't they they can they can yeah. now in the big yeah. dog kennel in the sky oh uh, anyway side drilled freshwater pearls look at that look at that Ooh. they've got flat bottoms which is actually quite good for a pearl uh, because it means you can glue it onto things. It's a lovely anchor point um, um, having the drill hole um, 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 in the pearl yeah. as well. Keeps it steadier then. And for a ring. Yes. Because it sits against your finger and you, you've got the majority of the pearl then on show. You do, don't you? Mm -hmm. More of the face of the gem. Yeah. There you go. There you go, Deb Rudge. And that price doesn't look right. No, is that the deal? Ross, what are you doing? Seven ninety-five. He's like a one-man, one-man bulldozer Demo yeah, with these prices squad. today. Mm. He's out of control. He's out of control. <laughs> How are you feeling, Ross? Do you feel like you want to curl up in a little ball? Oh, no. oh. Maybe you're like Samson. Maybe you shouldn't get your hair cut. If you get your hair cut, you'll lose your strength. <laughs> That's it. Maybe he does need that long, luscious locks. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe he does. Have you ever had your uh, your hair long, Adam? Um, probably. Oh, sort of that oh, oh that goodness longest. me! Have you really? Yeah. <gasps> Can't imagine. That. <laughs> How long ago was this? Oh, uh, must have been about eighteen. You must have been about eighteen. Oh, gorgeous! It was a thing back then, wasn't it? The kind of the curtains, and uh, you know that was. Do you remember all the boys who had curtains? You had a what? Do you had a fringe? Oh, you beauty! And a big moustache. Oh gosh, I bet you look like a member of the um, of the. Uh, oh, what was that amazing band who I used to love? Oh, the Counting Crows. Oh, yeah. Great band. Brilliant band. Such a great band. I always want to say the Black Crows, but the Black Crows yeah. weren't were nowhere near as good. Counting Crows were awesome. Uh, right. <laughs> Uh, right. Brums I yes, let's do it. Is it a star by or something? It's been sitting there for mm. Star by? Should we do a star by? Star by? Star by? Star by? Ride, ride just told me off. Mm. He's had enough of me, that's it. <laughs> and I've had enough of you! Right. Oh, I said that the other day. Not to my children. I mean, I didn't say that, those exact words. But it was literally, mummy, mummy, all day. And at the end of the day, I'm changing my name! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mummy anymore! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm changing my name! It's like water off a duck's back though. Mm. You know, they just, they just later. carry on. Mummy, mm. mummy. Anyway, right, here we go. Oh, mum, as Hattie calls me. I hate the fact she calls me mum. Oh, mummy, please, uh, call me, please call me mummy. Bronzite. <laughs> this is like a gemstone hybrid. I love bronzite. I it's... bet there were lots of people wearing bronzite at the Viking event that you went to. Uh, not that I noticed, but they might have been. If a Viking was to wear a gemstone, it would be bronzite, wouldn't it? Or um, obsidian or something. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. This is like a, a metal gemstone. 
isn't it? It is. It is. It, it's, it, and it just looks like it. Prehistoric and It does. It's ancient totally awesome. Looks like it's got kind again. of filings inside it, doesn't it? Like yeah. golden filings. Magical golden and filings. Do you know, I like bronzite as a gemstone, but normally when you look at it on, cam on screen... It looks muddy and horrible. Oh, and no. Oh, no, disgusting. it's not. It's not, but that's what it looks like. But here, you can actually see what it is. Yeah, because it's so big. Yeah. Normally, they're rounds or nuggets yeah. and, and, you know, little it's sizes awesome. that you can't really focus on the gem. These big faces, though, they're gorgeous. Looks like the kind of gemstone that's forged by an anvil, doesn't it? You know, imagine a big anvil and like a dong, 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 like forged in a, like Thor's hammer. I oh. don't know what that is, but... Is it the hammer that Thor has? Yeah. By any chance? And he throws it. And, yeah. He throws it, does he? He does. Well, that's not very safe. What does he, who does he throw his hat? Baddies, you know. What does it do? Do it squash them? Yeah. It comes back. It's like a boomerang. It's like a hammer, boomerang. Isn't it, so you right? just go, and it comes back. But only Thor can control it. Indeed. Nobody else can pick it up. That's with, amazing, with isn't Ryan, it? Ryan, like, talking like we've seen it, and, yeah. It's just the ban magic. Yeah. He sounds Half like God. an amazing guy, Thor, doesn't yeah. he? I wonder what star sign he is. Oh, I reckon he's Pisces. Do you think he's Pisces? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, strong <laughs> like bull. Anyway. Anyway, back to the bronze eye. What does it matter what, we what star sign he is? Gee whiz. <laughs> he's a Leo, is he? <laughs> What star sign is Thor? <laughs> Seriously. And he likes windy walks and crochet. Windy walks by the sea and crochet. And he loves sushi. Yeah. <laughs> sushi, windy walks, and a bit of crochet. Oh, ow. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. You can make Thor's hammer with this, couldn't you? You could. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I mean, it could be like the head on a hammer, couldn't it? I'm talking about, I'm, I'm now into territory I know nothing about. Is he an Avenger or is he the other, the other one? No, he's... He's an he's, Avenger. Well, I don't, I don't oh, even care. Did, I don't even care no, why I'm talking join, about this. He did join them, yeah. Yeah. Iron Man's an Avenger, he? works he? with them on a consultancy basis. <laughs> <laughs> on a freelance basis? <laughs> yeah. He's a consultant. <laughs> Non-exec, been a non-exec work. <laughs> he's what? Yeah, Who's he's gone with the thunder. <laughs> does it thunder hit his hammer? Actually, yes. Thor does go with thunder. Yeah. And Thursday. He can isn't summon it? thunder. Well, that's going to be on your CV, Thurs isn't it? Thursday is Thor's day, isn't it? <gasps> it is, Carol. No, it's it is. not. Though he's. David. It is. Dig, 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 dig. Is there an actual god called Thor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why You're don't having you me believe on. us? No, we're not. Right, it's this, true. this is 20 quid, basically. It's Just true. get it. Seriously? <laughs> is he like, is it like a Greek god or something? What's Norse? What does that mean, Ryan? Stop <laughs> saying that. I don't know. Viking. There we go. Right, oh, now I have no idea no. what Norse means. <laughs> I know lots of other things. <laughs> Am I thick? Am I really stupid? No, no you're not. Oh. No, you're clever. <laughs> Sorry, um, Ross, I felt like we... <laughs> anyway. That's going to be shown at a training session, isn't it? <laughs> the worst. <laughs> You know, the yeah, way not, not to, to maximise your beautiful strength. Oh, Thor, yeah, who is he? You had a hammer. Oh. <laughs> I had a hammer. Oh, I had a hammer in the morning. Right, what are we doing now, apart from, apart from just... Really? Mm. I don't know if it... Oh! Do that. Well, I'm guessing. Rodocrosite, I haven't got the strand, but I do have the jewellery. Beautiful jewellery made by in-house designers today. Look at this. This one's in the shape of a country, isn't it? I don't know what country. Let's not get into that because otherwise I'll, I'll expose <laughs> no, myself don't. for being completely useless <laughs> at geography as well as knowing about... <laughs> 
Norse or whatever it's called. <laughs> Vikings. Um, amazing deal of the day today. Rhodochrosite forms like a stalactite. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, I think I had five on my strand, four or five on my strand. It was 24.95. It's absolutely gorgeous um, quality. Really, really beautiful. And a totally unique gemstone as well. Look at those gorgeous oh, inclusions. Nice. They're so beautiful, aren't they? That would work surprisingly well, actually, with the bronzite as well. I was right, just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Oh, look at him wandering around now. Get back now. in your seat. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> They're absolutely gorgeous, though, aren't they? They would work beautifully well, I think. Mm. Um, I'll tell you what else it looks like. Um, you know, the original cameos were done with carnelian, weren't they? Yes, they were. It yeah. looks like that kind of carnelian kind of gemstone yeah, or aragonite sort of almost. Aragonite. Now, there's a gemstone that's... I haven't seen for about a thousand years. I know. We, we used to get it every now and Waxy again. Waxy kind of Wax, aragonite. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah, it was lovely. It? Beautiful. I've got some in um, like a cushion shape on a Do strand. You? Yeah. Still. Still. Gee whiz, it's, it's just. I don't it's want to exquisite. use it. I, I know. It's I love so it. Nice. It's so unusual, isn't it? Mm. Black Ethiopian opal. Where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? <sighs> here we go. Black Ethiopian opal. What are you laughing at? My face. <laughs> the singing, you like my singing? Oh! <laughs> Peter Pointer, Peter Pointer, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how oh. do you do? Ruby ring, ruby ring, where are you? <laughs> here I am, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Black <laughs> She's lost it! That's it. She's Lisa finally Golden. lost it! Security! Um, yeah, so black Ethiopian opal, um, beautiful. And do you know what? I love the fact that, yes, it is, it's is—it's got that jet black kind of background, but when you look a bit closer, there's some lovely russet tones, a bit of opalescence in there, lovely greens. That are coming through, yeah. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. And I would say definitely a unisex variety. Oh, <laughs> definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know why I'm slamming my fist <laughs> on the desk. I think I'm getting, quite, getting into, think I'm quite like, tired now. Being Thor. Thinking no. about Thor. I'm going to do yeah. some reading about that yeah. tonight. Lots of messages about Thor. Yeah. I know. That is totally our viewership. I knew that I knew this was going to happen. Ooh. <laughs> Norwegian. Ooh. Norse. Yeah. Norwegian and Thursday does, does come, come from, from Thor's, Thor's day. day. Thanks, Michelle. All right, Michelle. All right. <laughs> Fran. Deb's correct about Thursday. Thanks, Fran. Norse roughly means from north relating to the cold countries this is fascinating <laughs> isn't it Yay. i'm with deb thor is amazing and he's like the norse god of, of and he's the norse god of mm. thunder i never said i didn't like him i've just never seen it <laughs> Ooh. can sense the pitchforks outside <laughs> Down with, <laughs> down with Carol. Oh, dear me. No, I think Thor, who plays yeah. Thor, by the way? Chris Hemsworth. Oh, I love Chris Hemsworth. He's got well, long there. hair. He's got long hair. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's the, it's the only film I like mm. him in. Mm. I'll watch it now. I'll watch it tonight. Which, food, okay. which, which film is it? Is it Thor or is it The Avengers? What have I got to watch? Oh, is yeah. he? Okay. There's four Thor films. Goodness me, That's where have I been? To say. That's food for thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, gee whiz! Oh, the wheel's fallen off yet? Uh, oh, it's I so think one's sorry. A bit wobbly, mm. wobbly, mm. wobbly. Right, what are we doing now? Come on, Ross. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, three strands. Three strands in a fountain. So here we go. They're all the same. <laughs> what? Three coins in a fountain is a song. Oh. Oh blimey. I'm on the edge, you can uh, tell. Yeah. <laughs> Anything could happen. It's best that I go home. Can she last another five minutes without completely disgracing herself? Uh. Probably not. <laughs> $12.95 for your triple, triple Labradorite graduate. Now, this is the kind of thing which 
we get I, I'm sure that um, the idea for these um, 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 mystic coated strands I'm sure yeah. the idea must yeah. reside from having gemstones like labradorite which so mm. naturally have that gorgeous kind of mystic quality don't yeah. they yeah I'm they sure do. we must get inspiration from them just I mean just just a bit of food for thought here you don't have to do this but just a little a little bit of I an idea twisting them together to feed them onto 0.25 or 0.4 millimeter gauge wire and twist them together that would make the most awesome necklace or the most it awesome would. bracelet yeah normally you'd have to buy all three strands kind of separately but in actual fact you've got all three today for just 12.95 you know it's a great great deal fantastic savings you're making today plus you get your 30 day money back guarantee um four pounds 31 each thanks ross please tell me you work that out in your head <laughs> Oh, Ross! My you, he is ill. Does both. There we go. You got the abacus out for that one. Do you know what? I don't know how to use an abacus. No, I don't. It's meant to be really easy, isn't it? Or those um, Chinese counting boards that you get with the tick, 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 things on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to use either of them. And they're meant to make it easier, aren't they? It's like tens but, uh, and ones, They only isn't make it? it easier if you know how to use them. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not, is it? It's a bit like a calculator. It's like, yeah. Unless you know which buttons to press, it's yeah, not going to be easier, exactly. is it? Exactly. Twelve ninety-five, fantastic, um, absolutely brilliant. Well done. Okay, we've got time maybe for a couple more. Peachy, peachy, peachy. Oh wow. Oh yes, peach moonstone. Here we go, lovelies. Oh wow, these are like beautiful badges of peach moonstone. You know what I mean when you see them. Ooh. Ooh, they're lovely, aren't they? They're really nice. As soon as these start tipping forward and back, oh, mamma mia! Look at those! Look at that gorgeous shiller. That's I do like beautiful. a peach moonstone. Yeah, it's I do. warmer than your rainbow moonstone. It's a lot. It's a lot softer, I think, than your the, than your rainbow or your white moonstone. And oh my gosh, actually, I've only just noticed this. Sorry, silly silly um yeah. kind of thing not to notice when you got them upside down they look like the um the profile of the kind of the anatomy of a gemstone yeah, don't they? that is they so cool look at that and i i bet you could wire them so that they actually make a fan shape oh oh yeah that's and a lovely idea together, have a great big uh feature in the center yes, of the necklace absolutely that would be gorgeous wouldn't it, it? Would. really nice. isn't that awesome just tipping it on its Tipping it on its on its on its top on its bottom, I guess you know, just tipping it the other way up um, mm. uh, to the way that it's drilled. Um, so many opportunities arise, and what you get with beautiful moonstones sometimes is the beginnings of like um, the kind of qualities you get in a gemstone like sunstone, which are the copper platelets yeah. inside the gem, which gives you that lovely copper shiller as well as a. Look, look, there it is. There you can see it, like that gorgeous sparkle. What was it we had earlier that had that as well? Oh, the Russian was, Amazonite. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. That was so cool. Those gorgeous kind of quartz-like inclusions. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done. And this is like. I warm. think we've got time for uno más, por favor. Um, got a nice chain. Should we do a chain? Rose got with twenty-three. Ooh. Wow, sir. Ooh, that's a bit of all right. Oh, look how long. Oh, look, it's a long one. <laughs> she said. What link? Hmm? What links that? That's. I don't oh, know, like a wow. twisted, a it, twisted yeah. something or other. It's got real movement to it. It doesn't take a, a, a genius to work that out, does it? A twisted something or other. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm quite tired, I think. Rose gold plated silver, twisted curb. Ooh, oh. only 11 chances. 12 95 that's an amazing price. What's the, um, what's really the gram weight on this, um, Ross? 3.4 grams, that's absolutely superb, isn't it? Nice wide links as well, isn't it, on there? So, so you, the, the play of light. Oh, with that peach moonstone, just, just put one of those on there. Yeah, that's a lovely got, idea. Yeah. All that and it's movement. that contrast between a sparkle luster yeah. and a gentle and the, kind of luster, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Well done. 12 95 that's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Well done. And it is, um, and it's 30 inches in length, which is, which is brilliant. I mean, that's a really, really lovely long chain. It does mm. have a clasp on the back, doesn't really need it, unless you put a, unless you put a pendant on there. Um, you can just pop it over your head. That's yeah. fantastic. Deb Roach, thank you very much for your support today. I'm sorry, it's gone a bit random in the last hour. Oh, my life is random, so I'm used to random. Oh, that's all right then. So, Thanks, yeah, darling. Lovely jewellery. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching today. We've got well Laura Binding you. on The Late Show with... Who's the presenter on The Late Show today? Becky. 
Oh, I haven't seen Becky for ages. Oh, fantastic. So Becky's going to be joining you in lovely Laura Binding. Deb, awesome to see you, darling. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you too. Thank you for bringing with me for the uh, for the 10 hours. I know, I'm going now, so that's good. <laughs> uh, but fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us and tune in for the Late Show now. They've got some absolutely beautiful things and some lovely jewellery. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>